interesting. It's just what happened. Um, because uh, ah, oh, damn, I can't remember his name. But the guy who made one was the director of two, and I think he did Brotherhood as well. And then he left Ubisoft. Um, and so Revelations and three, which I guess you could bundle those all together as like the original plan. Um, kind of ended without him. Uh, and, and I think it's safe to say that that guy had a pretty significant influence over um, the way that those games turned out. Because I, then again, I do like Revelations a lot. Um, that game's super cool in terms of being like a full circle conclusion for uh, Ezio and Altair. But yeah, 3 is like, I was so excited for 3. 3 was, that was before, that was a game that probably should have turned me off of pre-ordering, but it was until Destiny that I realized that I needed to stop. Um... Damn, I was so excited for that game, and then you spend like the first five hours playing as this different dude. <laughs> it's like takes like seven hours to get to the game that was advertised. Yeah, I, I know. I don't think I ever made it there because you did. You did the prologue where it's like, oh no, yeah, you, you're not an assassin. You're them. a Templar. Oh my goodness! Right. I was like, that's interesting. And then it's five hours of a tutorial, and I'm like, I just don't. I don't. I don't fucking care about snaring rabbits, man. I'm. An, I want. I bought an <laughs> Assassin's Creed game. I. I could not fucking care less about Coco. I'm out in the woods. I. I really I just uh, do not give a shit. If Assassin's Creed at that time, and I think even now, feels like feature creep. There's so much. There's so many of these things that they've added in that you can do that I would never want to do. Mm -hmm. um, it, instead of just focusing hardcore on the stealth and and even the ship sections, you know. Is Revelations the one where you stab your girlfriend, or is that Brotherhood? Uh, I Revelations was the one in Constantinople. All I remember is like you, one. you find like the missing MacGuffin, and then the alien is like, "I'm talking to you, player, oh, not the player true. in the game." That's a, that's a stab true. your girlfriend, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I'm so <laughs> lost in this game. <laughs> the, in, yeah, the aliens want me to be an incel. <laughs> oh, no. that, that, was, that, was, uh, that was brother. That was brotherhood. Okay, uh, I was like, "This is silly." <laughs> well, yeah, because. It feels like the modern plot started to get really lost in the weeds. Like I, I, I didn't, the problem was problem too. I didn't care about the modern. I didn't care about Desmond or the modern plot at all. I was just like, I'm done. I, I don't mean, think anyone did. Like the I whole the whole animus thing seems pointless. Just it should just be a story about like you know your Ezio or your whoever back I mean, in the time period. I can appreciate the effort to uh to try and contextualize it like in some kind of universe why this is happening and to go for some sort of broader story, but it feels mm -hmm. like um whatever idea they had was lost um by the time that we get to three because I remember I distinctly remember that three was an incredibly disappointing ending. Uh just like kind of hit a brick wall. And um and I, and I think after that point, they just kind of gave up on the modern story. They they still have it as an element. Um, and if it was like either commit to doing it or just get rid of it. Uh, but then again, Assassin's Creed was probably never meant to last forever. But, you know. Well, it's like their Madden is going to come out every year, every couple of years. Well, yeah, it seems like at this point. Well, now isn't the thing that they're making a live service Assassin's Creed game? Like this <laughs> year or next year, I think. I hate live oh, yeah. service. It, <laughs> I won't buy it. Wait, well, what, what does that, that even mean? mean? A live service? Uh, like a, a continually developing online multiplayer, like, Assassin's Creed game. Oh. Um, yeah, because Ubisoft like, really wants one. Um, they like have an Rainbow Ass Creed Six. Momopurger? Uh, Momopurger? I don't think it's going to be an MMO. Momopurger. It's going to be, like, what... It's going to be what Destiny and The Division and, and these types of That's games weird. are. Where it's like... Well, the problem is that um, for every... You only need one live service game to like blow up to justify yeah, yeah, yeah. basically conti continually. It's the reason why I kind of get annoyed when people talk about these things where they look at um, they they'll look. It's like ah, see that one failed. It's like yeah, but Call of Duty Warzone makes like a billion dollars every three months. Like mm -hmm. everybody wants like a Warzone. They want Warzone. They want Fortnite. They want like that's the reason why every major publisher is investing. And yeah, you right. can keep failing, but you only need one to do really well. And then, and then you you're good. You got permanent money, like forever, with very minimal investment. Well, not minimal, but definitely smaller than developing a brand new game. Oh, I mean, I, GTA I remember, Plus, right? <laughs> yeah, I remember right. liking the multiplayer for Brotherhood. Did they still have multiplayer in Assassin's they Creed? They had it for they had it for a time, but I think after like Unity or Syndicate, they dropped it 
I thought it was really cool as well. It was super unique. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't know how you can make like a like it's 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 very contained. I don't know how you can make a Fortnite like this goes on forever. I don't know that, that it's gonna be like that. Maybe I co-op think it'll focus, maybe. Maybe like, you yeah, know. like you you get a group oh, of assassins okay. and you congregate. Well, like like uh, Destiny, right? There'll be like an assassin headquarters. Um, or maybe it'll be like the live service part is that it is in the modern world, and then like you use the animus to do missions, so they can have missions in a variety of different times. That's that's exactly what they're going to do, is it? They're not going to no, restrict you to be. one time period. And then hey, we're adding feudal Japan. Hey, we're adding yeah. Rome. Hey, exactly. we're adding Those will be the you seasons. know. Yeah. Oh my god, it's perfect. Except I hate it. <laughs> so you're going to be like a tank it's... assassin and a healer assassin. So you Maybe make yeah. Of five. Maybe there'll be different types of tank assassins. With different that abilities. Interesting. Tank assassin. A tank assassin. It's just yeah. M1 Abrams with legs. It's, it's just a guy with like giant no, loud tank. suit of armor down the road. <laughs> just a tank no, going a down tank. the road, but no one thinks and anything. He's... he's like, "Oh, that's just a tank." Oh no, and it's an assassin the... tank. Run it's, away! It's got, it's got the assassin cloak on as well, above its like barrel over it. It like when when you're driving in traffic next to other cars, it's like when you're in a group of people, it like grays out and you're like hidden. Yeah. At the end of the at the end of the barrel, there's just a little knife that goes shink 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 that sticks out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stab you. I'll um, get you good. Hello, chat. How you doing? We're live. We're we we're, we're, we're live, ready and in chat. There is no Adam. Uh, people I already know. asked me why isn't Adam here. It wasn't my fault. I asked if he could come on. Okay, it wasn't my That's fault. Actually, Mahler is, is not being honest here. He's <gasps> like, Sitch, I want you to come on and don't invite that fucking asshole Adam on. Look, his opinions on some things are a bit weird. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but no, I, I, we totally wanted to be here, okay? He's just, he has better things to do, apparently. <laughs> my god. So rude. And uh, as for <laughs> Dev, he's, he'll be coming, I think, right? Yes. Two hours mm, from now, uh, Dev shall be joining us, which oh obviously, as everyone should know, two hours will not be how long the show is, so you'll be fine. Um, one more thing before I can introduce what it, what it is we're even talking about today. Um, Halo and its first mm -hmm. episode released. Um, oh, fuck. We would debate whether or it. not we would talk about it now. I think, uh, Sitch, do you have any consideration or care for Halo? I know nothing about Halo. In that case, right. I think it would be <laughs> Lucky smarter Lucky for us to um, talk about it on Wednesday. As, as sure. The, we, will, we will give you guys a big ol' chat about how fucking awesome and good that show is. Yes, it is That's so... Right here. It is so good. Um, I can't get enough. I really liked how uh, they drained the oxygen out of Chief's suit to knock him unconscious instead of just locking his armor. Uh, th lock this his is armor. all, of course, about? and and of yeah. course, this is this is all because he defied an absurd order, an absurdly <laughs> evil order that he would never follow. <laughs> uh... And then they had to remote control his pelican to get in, and then. Dr. Halsey told the other Spartans to freaking kill the other Marines if they tried to kill Master Chief. There is lots <laughs> but, for us to talk about. But this then, thing. he touched the Just Forerunner clear, artifact, everyone. and then it locked out all the power to, like, the, the city on Reach, except for the, the suit that he's wearing, which is mechanical, and the Pelican, which it somehow restored power and to. And it didn't fuck up the other Spartan thing. suits. Exact well, or anything, or any of the electronics, presumably of the weapons, or just any number of things. There were probably some people in hospitals on that planet. Oh yeah, who oh yeah. We don't like to think about well. that though. But I mean, hey, it's pretty cool that a forerunner artifact that was made a hundred thousand years ago is somehow able to interface with modern human technology. Uh, that makes a ton of sense. I also, <laughs> just, yeah, j just so we're clear, and there's no confusion, chat. Halo is fucking trash. Yes, it's um, really bad, and it's not just that it's a bad adaptation, which it is. Which uh, is a well, as, terrific. As someone adaptation. who doesn't really know the arguments so or how to how to rate it as an adaptation, I thought it was fucking garbage as as a sci-fi show. So yeah, it is. It something that I have been pondering over the last day is so, an observation that has become very amusing to me, but also a little bit depressing. Um, Halo when it came out wasn't like that unique in terms of a lot of the things it did like master chief as a template wasn't very unique at that period in time 
like a you know a stoic man of few words guy in a suit of armor who just is a hero and 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 helps people and saves the day that wasn't that was very common back then now you would honestly be doing something very unique if you had the main character of a show be a man of few words who always is in a suit of armor and emotes purely through interacting with people and is just a good guy who saves the day and doesn't really introspect that much like, like that would honestly well, what the Mandalorian <laughs> was supposed to be. Yeah. Um, but I mean, man. Oh, yeah, they took off Chief's helmet in the first episode. Yes. Um, and the reason why he took it off nudity. was because someone was pointing a gun at him, and he took his helmet off uh, <laughs> to try and make them not shoot him, even though he's in <laughs> fucking Mjolnir armor. There is, there is, is a lot for us to go through it, for why it's yeah, terrible. Yeah, sorry. We, we this said we thing is talk absolutely right. <laughs> for being ripped apart. There's virtually nothing good about this show. Um, uh, I mean, I guess there are aspects have... of, like, the props and stuff. Some like, of the props and, and look the good. Effects. Some of the props look good. Some of the props look good. There is one shot where they forgot to paint the uh, plasma pistol, though. Like, you see it. The plasma pistol is a gray piece of cardboard because it was meant nice. to be a visual effect, I guess, and they didn't notice. And the CGI, oh oof. The CGI sometimes. a lot sometimes. of wonky CGI, yeah. Yeah, uh, the animation. Yeah. And honestly, yeah. Uh, with our, we watched the, the, the first episode as a, as a... It was us three, right? It was... Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for, uh, so we could easily have... It could have been recorded and it would have made an, a pretty good mini, I think. Um, mm -hmm. From how fucking oh, yes, awful absolutely. it was. Oh, uh, yes, yeah. But there's still no real intention to do that. Um... Mainly because no, I've got nobody who can edit plans. those right now. Not myself. There not... may be other plans, though. Oh, yeah. We're, we're probably going to have some form of... Um, well, like I said, at least Wednesday you'll hear us talk about uh, episode one well, in much more detail. Well, I, I don't know. It's just... I don't know. This Endgame video, I'm making some good progress. Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty bad. Um, anyway... We're not here for that today. We're here for something mm -hmm. else. Oh no! Something that happened. I don't even know what, when this all. I need to check Jay's upload date for uh for. God, this saga. It's so long. There's so much history. Where do I even begin? Fucking idiot Twitch streamers got upset because YouTubers realized what their racket was and was like, Do you know what unethical this is? You piece of shit. And then it was like we went through this before years ago. And then Twitch streamers were like, but but. But I want to be lazy. Stop being mean. And um, that's 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 actually that's literally what happened. Yeah, that's a good summary, right? Um, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Yes. And so Jay uh, collected all the things that happened to that point, and then said, uh, did did like a stream satirizing Hassan, and then said, I'm gonna make a video. Um, but Jay had other videos to make, and then eventually got around to it, put all the pieces together, made the video, and um, three streamers. Uh, 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 who we're going to be looking at in this arc. There was probably more that looked at, at, at Jay's video than three, but uh, the three we're looking at are three people who reacted, let's say, to, to uh, Jay's perspective. And when I saw them, because I saw some pieces live, because I just heard about it happening, I was like, oh, this is terrible. And I look forward to covering it on EFAB several years from now, because I had so many other things to do. This was before, or at least during, I think, Boba Fett. Um, and then, obviously, the Batman, and uh, Arcane, I think. They all got in the fucking way, uh, unfortunately. It, it, well, I said, you know, it was nice when Arcane got in the way of things. All right? Arcane was neat. Um, that was nice. That was a nice little reprieve. <clears throat> um, funnily enough, the only thing that anyone should recognize are relevant for in relation to me or Sitch is that uh, I was on you guys' stream uh, commentating on his debate with Vorsh on something, right? It was so funny. I was, I was wondering. I was like, I could have swore we covered him, and I don't remember what it was about. And now you're saying you I were remember. there? <laughs> we yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, it was me and Duma. We were on the stream with you and Adam, and he oh, was relevant. debating Vorsh on um, consistency and ethics uh, or principles and and remember Vorsh is so basically he saying the like correct stance on, also on Vosh? he was taking the correct stance yeah he told Vorsh okay. that it's important that we actually hold people to the principles they claim to have and Vorsh said it doesn't matter as long as the principles are good ones wait I, I, wait are you t i was there wasn't i this was the consequentialist man stuff right no nope. uh, consequentialist man was oh. destiny in Vorsh. okay who was this with our relevant in Vorsh. okay right 
Oh, that's, Vosh, I guess that's Vosh simps for Hassan, an insane debate featuring Doomer and Mahler. Yeah, that's, that's wow. amazing how you remember that off the top of your head. I know it's amazing how I Googled it, but uh, <laughs> um, it's amazing how I can spell the words with the buttons on my keyboard. And yeah. so that was like my only exposure to the streamer R relevant, and I thought he was he was fine, pretty neat. He says a lot of stuff. I've seen a little. I've seen a couple of clips of him. I saw a funny one where he was talking to a guy who was who was like screaming at him just constantly. <laughs> well, we also <laughs> he also was he, he like constructed a little YouTube show I think of laughing at Hassan when he said the Andrew Ryan quote in favor of socialism. Um, oh yeah. man, <laughs> we that was on the multimedia medley. We showed that. So yeah, I only had a good impression of him. And then I saw his reaction to Jay's video, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's uh -oh. retarded. Oh, no. <laughs> it's retarded. <laughs> oh, no. And so there's no reason not to basically get started. What I've done over the past, what feels like weeks, is tear up all the streams that are relevant to all of this, and put them in an order of the things that we can actually respond to, cutting out all of the useless crap. Now, there's a lot of useless crap with Twitch streamers, okay? They're not quite the same quality as YouTube streamers. There, I said it. I'm super racist Whoa, to the Whoa, there's our the EFAP bias. Um, there it is, there everybody. Be, you found there it. There seems to be a distinct difference between the Twitch ecosystem and the YouTube ecosystem in terms of, I uh, guess, an approach um, to a lot of things. You could say that. I would a, call it, there's a difference in pride in your work. Well, do you wonder if there's anything, because like, oh, I wonder YouTube, what pride in your work means. YouTube just m more strictly enforces a lot of things, like, True. With, regard to, uh, with regard to copyright, for sure. Th mm -hmm. Though, admittedly, YouTube is a lot more uh, friendly to, uh, I guess, uh, different perspectives than, than Twitch. Um, I, guess it's, it, I guess it's an interesting sort of combo, isn't it? I've is been it? surprised with how fucking lazy the lot of them are. Let's just put it that way, because I don't typically watch Twitch streams outside of Metal, Fringy, and a couple of others. And they all yeah, do it the way that we, we do it on YouTube. It's, there's no difference. These well, fuckers, no self-proclaimed yeah. Twitch reactors, mainly specializing in politics. Holy crap. They could do a little better. Just saying. Is the wow. problem that they do it every day? And so they're just uh, so constantly hung I mean, up for content. As someone who has, at the point for the past like year, has been streaming almost every day, I don't mm -hmm. think that's an excuse. And I, I well, honestly think. I mean, Metal. Metal's been playing. Metal streams Elden every Ring, day, yeah, like, pretty much. Every day for like the last month, and he's managed to continue to just be playing Elden Ring and doing his own thing without well, doing. It's, it's insane. Metal hasn't stuff. even stolen a single video. I don't understand. What? I'm so lost. Well, impossible. Wow. How was that? Was yeah, I, I guess that would be. How's he not dead? <laughs> That's the thing to probably <laughs> emphasize right now. In terms of is he like not eating? Plat <laughs> uh, Metal, if you need eating. help, message us. We can talk about this. We can help we you. Can we have you. good doctors. We can get you some nuggies, stat. Okay. Oh yes. Um. So I've been dramatically unimpressed, and um, that's before I heard the I arguments. Was... Holy moly! So, uh. I figured we'd do it in order of severity, starting with the least uh, controversial and offensive nice. in terms of coverage. It's like a journey through the circles of hell. It gets progressively worse. A little bit, yeah. Kind of. The first one, of course, being uh, our relevant. And so nice. I made a super cut. It is 40 minutes. I have chopped out a significant portion of the coverage, as well as just useless crap. Um, and I've also cut in a lot of contextual pieces to help you guys understand just how piss poor his coverage of Jay's video is. Um, and yeah, uh, this whole thing is kind of frustrating because Jay's video was pretty good. It uh, was quite good. I liked it quite a bit. Not only was it really good at making the point clear, it covered all the kinds of counters you should be able to come up with, and it was incredibly civil. Well, it didn't have to be, and it very was. very civil. But before before we proceed, might it be worthwhile to, I guess, give the TLDR on the topic? I suppose, yeah, if people are completely unaware, and this is like the first they're hearing of any of this, it's, um... Right. It all starts when Jay makes a video looking at a house that's really fucking weird, and Jay commentates on the whole house, edits together a video that's got the standard Jay video. Hassan reacts to it, 
by not reacting to it at all, plays it for his stream, goes away, makes food, comes back, eats the food, and has like two comments, or three or something like that. And that means that the whole video basically just entertained Hassan and his audience while he was having food. This mm -hmm. is not cool. There is actually, I was about to say there's no difference, but I was actually, it's like, no. It's worse than Jinx, because Jinx would actually react to the whole thing, he just didn't react very much. Um, yeah, he basically just smiled, and giggled mm -hmm. every once in a while, and went. Well, what? And also, Hassan didn't credit Jay in the title. I don't even think like the title <laughs> he didn't was even visible credit on Jay. Hassan's yeah, stream yeah. for no, people to see. No you would be forgiven no for thinking he went out of his way to make sure Jay didn't get credit. Right. Well, he does. There's that one moment where uh, Jay starts to promote the channel and the future of the videos, and Hassan quickly like struggles to get the video stopped and off screen. Fuck that. <laughs> Next video. And uh, you'll be surprised at what our relevant has to say about that section. In fact, most of this will probably mm. be pretty surprising. Um, how I, amazing! It, I'm it, so excited. I think the perspective would be like, how could he possibly have an incorrect thing to say about that? It's like, oh, you'll find a way. There's a bit I'll of a need. you might call it bias uh, because Jay, by going after Hassan's sort of you know operation. He has co committed severe collateral damage against a lot of Twitch streamers whose bread and butter is literally this sort of reaction style. Um, mm -hmm. And so a, a lot of people got upset, and they feel that they do this thing, and I've been trying to point this out more and more as we go, but um, online argumentation, this just, I don't have a word for it. I feel like someone will coin something eventually, but Shit. people just dig for motivation immediately instead of addressing the argument. They just instead rush to why you're doing it, and that reason being nefarious. Yeah, well, it you're seems, because this on the political be, spectrum. It's because you are da 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 da. Or da, da something da. that, well, yeah. so rags, it seems that a common interpretation of why anybody does anything in the Twitch ecosystem is clout. Clout. It is specifically that you want clout. You are doing mm -hmm. things to get eyeballs Loud and shock. attention. Um, so wait, are they going to say Jay's like a Nazi? Is that what you're... No, no. they'll say we're Nazis, oh. but not Jay. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, not Jay, of course. It's us, <laughs> don't you know? Like, I guess uh, on, on, a, on a matter of the principle in question, I guess the problem is it, it gets wonky because it's like, it's both law and principle as far as I'm concerned on this one, but like, when you create something, you know, when when you gain copyright for something that you've created, that gives you... It makes it your property. It's yours. You made it. It belongs to you, and you have the right to decide how it's used. Fair use is an exception to this general rule. Mm -hmm. The idea being that if you transform something enough to where it is not the original work by critiquing it or like parody or educational purposes, that then you can do, you can take that work, but then you've essentially turned it into your own thing. That's like the idea at play. This means that. There's really no question about whether, like, it's not, it doesn't matter whether you, you watch someone's video in full and then they get a bunch of views from it. Doesn't really matter if they're, like, even cool with it. Uh, the, the, the starting point is that you need to ask for their permission or alternatively, you need to transform it. That, that's, yes. that's it. That's it. If but they're cool with it, good for you. But, like, if they're not, you know? Mm -hmm. You're forgetting one get. thing, though. That Hassan and all of the sycophants, they're all communists. They don't believe in private property. Okay. They have a they <laughs> have a, a very inconsistent view on yeah. property. <laughs> on property. And it rights, often right? has to do with is it mine or is it someone else's? Right. If it's someone else's, then it's really for the It's people. mine, okay. comrade. It's ours. Yes. But if it's comrade. mine or if it's my money, well, Andrew Ryan all the way. <laughs> A Andrew rare Ryan is basically L, all a art should be right? open source. Do you really believe that? All art should be open source. That's a very you, damn, if, no if, fuck, if no. Fuck off, picture, no. If you draw a picture of a stick figure on a napkin, it belongs to everybody. <laughs> it's our <laughs> stick figure, <laughs> comrade. <laughs> <laughs> That's ours. I'm just, That's I'm just ours. very. So we all art missed. should be open source. Like, fuck no, no. Fuck off! I made it. It's mine. I mean, if you want, if you want no artist to ever be paid ever, yeah, then they have a hard enough time to... making a living. <laughs> Don't well, as... gonna say it. pay them in clout. Come on, pay them in clout. That's... Oh yeah, yeah. I retweeted no. you, dude. 
Yeah, see, someone said, Friggy, your goo is all ours. No, see, this is... <laughs> no. A, it, I, you can't be trusted with it. This is why, this is this is why it's important 40 that we have... 40 Mahjong Tiddlywinks chess. Well, so, well, so I, I, you know, like, the, the point of copyright is to essentially give intangible stuff, like intellectual property, is to make it property in the same way that, you know, physical things are recognized as property. That's, like, the point of the system. And, it, um, and well, the general the training, idea... Like... Jay's videos, that, you know, are, Jay's videos are like a tangible property too. Well, I mean, the the videos exist, but it would be the idea that copyright is what means that like creative works are sort of recognized as people's right. property. Um, that's like the system for it, and the whole idea with property generally is that uh, you have exclusive rights against the whole world to enforce like as you please. It's your decision how it's used, uh, distributed, unless. And and I feel like that's the important thing to preface. It is an exception if you if you do fair use. That is the exception to the general idea that you, as the owner, have the right to do with it as you uh, whatever you want. And anybody else who uses it, they need to ask you unless they transform it. Uh, and I guess an interesting thing that I think comes up in the R relevant bit is there's this perception. I think there's something that like some of these guys struggle to understand is like, well, what do I do if I've watched it in full and I haven't transformed it? It's like, oh, you you just screwed up. That's it. That's yeah, all that's, that's you there. realizing you after the fact. Up. Oh, I took something yeah. that didn't belong. I was going to say, like, we don't have to do much preamble because every possible argument will come up, and we will go through them no nice. problem. Uh, the only other thing I just wanted to add was that um, it like there's there's all the law reasons, but uh, as Jay puts in the video really early on, just don't take the piss. But they do. Well, yeah, they take I, all I the piss. Matter... All well, of the I piss has like... been acquired by these people. Uh, I feel like it I have should none be. I have no more piss Cause, left. Because, of course, there is the it's whole copyright taken. and... There is the whole the copyright and fair use and, and everything like that. But, I mean, sh the, you know, the reason why that exists, I feel like it should be a pretty easily identifiable principle. If you make something and then someone, like, plays it for their own audience and gets all of the benefits afforded to that work with none of the effort put into creating that work, you know? Yeah, and mm -hmm. you didn't even have to mention anything to do with anyone benefiting from exposure or anything, because why the fuck would you? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, wow, it's, it's unethical, it's, irrelevant of that. Um, it, well, yeah, even... It, I think I think this is the uh, another important thing. Even if someone were to, like, play your video in full on a stream and you got, like, a million subscribers, like, that... You could still not be cool with that as a principle because yeah. it's your... It's your thing. Well, I guess, I guess it's good I made a million dollars, but, like... I mean, you could be mm -hmm. stupid, sure, but. <laughs> so, you guys ready? Hit mm -hmm. it. Yeah, go. I guess we're ready. I think I guess um, we can begin. cringe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the name. Uh, so, I think I play a little bit of Jay's video for context, and then it just runs into just just we hit the ground running with our relevance arguments that I want to respond to because I was trying to make this as short as possible, and this is like video one of three. So, um, yeah. In reaction to this weird little tan uplifting stories video, they add their own jokes and commentary. Even if you'd already seen the video they were reacting to, you'd have plenty to gain from watching their reaction. It's a different piece of content now. Here we go. Oh. Wasting time. Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what a story. <laughs> Writing a story. in style. This is what we're doing. Fuck like, that great kid. Story, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have included, yeah, this is called Ted Uplifting Stories, this video yeah. they're watching. Cripples are just, funny, yeah. Is it, it's mm -hmm. just, it's a great one to react to because it's just bizarre. It's like, what the fuck is this? Reach for the- Ted Uplifting Stories, <laughs> Child in Chair. Just fucking take pictures off some random- Bro, yeah, 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 yeah. Do they kill themselves? <laughs> Soot House is exceptional, and the whole cast clearly all understand that reaction content is something that it requires effort to do properly. Now, their particular style is by no means the only way- They to just make jokes. What? What, what a great style. Yes. <laughs> like, they no, just what? make jokes. Ah, oh, dang. So, yes, well, that he's is- saying that, He's saying that confused, almost. Like, what, well, they're just making jokes. It's like, yeah, that's enough. Well, like, because, that's... uh, Jay described them as exceptional, and, uh, and I guess our relevant has taken that to mean they are, they are an exception in how they do things. They are that good. And, and I think Jay simply means they're really good. Uh, and a lot of people are really good. And the way in which they are really good 
is that they make jokes. There are many mm -hmm. ways to be good at reaction content. Um, and it's so weird because he talks over Jay basically saying this and then doesn't catch it. Plenty of reaction people make jokes. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, be in for some low effort <laughs> reactions, so man. <laughs> He's not so impressing me. What is happening here? He just made jokes, you just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is jokes. <laughs> <every day. laughs> jokes. Have you guys, did you guys see the, um, What's that old movie he's in? Like, uh, Stop or My Mother Will Shoot or something I like haven't that. seen it. I assume <laughs> it's... Years ago. Is that, like, perfect for, like, EFAP movies, or is it not? I wouldn't know. I think it might be, but I'm not sure. I've seen a lot of parts of it. It might be. I don't I know. So. I, I, I was worried that that movie got memory hold and it just disappeared into Sylvester Stallone's filmography. <laughs> I wonder what his brother's up to, Frank Stallone. I don't know. I wonder what he's doing these days. Action people make jokes. I don't understand. No, that particular. <laughs> you can hear his breathing. This labored <laughs> after after he just sort of like I don't understand. understand. Well, you know, all that that brilliant commentary requires a lot of CPU power in the brain. So what it is nuts, right? It's like, oxygen. hey, you are a performer. You could like. Yeah. Perform just a little bit. I you could, know. yeah, you could. You could. Um, but yeah, so I'll um, play what he cut in half just so that you can see what Jay said. I don't understand. Now, that you. particular style is by no means the only way to do reaction content, it's a very diverse medium. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Does this person shit on his son in this video? Essentially, they're just just reposting something Does he have the correct opinion in this video? They are anti-low effort reaction content and seem to have never looked past Hassan beyond, oh, man, I love that. beyond the interaction they had personally. Uh, something else I've come to learn about Twitch reactors is they do not give a fuck how much weird shit comes through the microphone outside of the I was voice. about to say, remember, god damn, like the ambient way, room would... noise, his breathing, well, in between it's it. Just... <laughs> yeah, so, those of you in chat, get ready for a lot of <laughs> these sorts of sounds throughout the whole thing. It's very... <laughs> <laughs> and this is like I don't want to hear that, man. And it's like, yeah, well, <laughs> dude, just, just, no, you just will hear don't it. Swallow Give me money. God, just don't swallow saliva hard. Well, I it's keep it's coming ASMR, back to okay? have some pride in your fucking work. I beg you, please. I want to hear your words, not your mouth. Yeah. Beyond. Beyond the interaction they had personally, I don't think Hassan has low effort reactions. What's like, man? <laughs> instead of making <laughs> jokes, he's one of the worst. Well, don't worry, guys, because I have cut in a previously on our reactions to the Twitch fucking sphere in here. He talks about it's, politics. Well, it's not just his reactions, though. Like, everything Hassan does is low effort. His political Stupid. arguments are bafflingly simple. You, what, I just I don't understand how people can keep making these claims. Like man. he he That's he's true. a guy who pauses loads. It's like why do we have these examples? Los Angeles, California, like, South Central, South Central. When yeah. when we cover Hassan, we have a joke because when he uploads videos to YouTube, you can tell he'll he'll say like one sentence, and you can see there's like three cuts in the sentence. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> watch it live. It's because oh, he'll I mean, say like three words and then just stop. And then say like another three words and then stop. <laughs> it, just, it takes him so long to finish a single sentence. What what confuses me about this here soft white underbelly? First off, can relate, but also, <laughs> is he a is he a pimp at the moment? I or think his, his pimp is name is ATM. Automated. What? His pimp I thought it's soft like white a, underbelly like was exactly his pimp name. I think ATM. soft white underbelly might be. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I think right. I think they call him ATM in this interview. So oh, I, now now I've just got an idea of a dude wearing like a very elaborate, colorful coat, but it's an ATM that's <laughs> just walking around. You're pretty cool. <laughs> like he's, or is oh, literally he's an ATM well. who's just being he's interviewed. Got his hat and his cane. He's he's a very stylish pimp. This ATM. <laughs> oh, maybe an ATM got like struck by lightning, and Dom yeah. DeLuise becomes the voice of it. Yeah, and then and he decided he, that he's he wanted a pimp. to be a pimp. Exactly, exactly. he becomes <laughs> a pimp. This ATM voiced by Dom DeLuise. 
and it can dispense money out of its dispenser. And so it convinces ladies of the night to go out and turn oh tricks so that, you know, he could, you know, get, you know, it, so I want to see this. Movie. This is what I would like to highlight as a pretty clear example of how you can transform stuff. Oh, um, yeah, we've right. only we seen it. a couple of seconds oh, boy. of this particular screen just, here. We just, saw it. We, we just saw a couple minutes. minutes. We went on a. Couple we minutes on from a, now. A movie idea about Dom DeLuise voicing an ATM that was struck yeah, by lightning. Now, who becomes a pimp in the Chicago underground. We are struggling something, to make our points over each other, chat. Can you see this? <laughs> <laughs> something that you will notice as well is that there seems to be a lot of re oh. resistance to the idea of react harder, but you should react harder. Like, yes, because yes, you, you need to, to transform something. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know why that's such a weird, like, just react harder. It's like, yeah, just drive in the lines instead of going off onto the curb and crashing into a wall. Yes. Like, yeah, you should do things that, like, that actually transform your job. the content. Yeah. Because if you don't, it isn't transformative and you've screwed up. Well, that's that's you it. Should, you should stay under the speed limit. And it's like, but I need to get home. It's right. Like, yeah. Well, <laughs> then right. you have a choice sure. to make. Um, you need to stay under the speed limit. Just drive slower forehead? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing. Just do something forehead. Yes. Like, uh, all right, whatever. And uh, tell me about your... Uh, yeah, we would have seen this a while back. This is just a reminder of how much... Not only that this happens, but how much content gets uh, siphoned is a word I suppose you could use. Down the La Brea and shit. We walked down no the short amount of time. Oh, he's gone. Man. And see, I think I've sped it up enough that you could never say that we are reusing this content, you know? Like, right. this is this is transformed on its own. So today I'm going to take you on a sightseeing tour. Oh, look, you guys remember this, this one? HQ. Hold on, I I'm going to be back in one second. He pauses to tell him that he's leaving and then replays <laughs> Purposefully clicks to play it and then leaves. <laughs> It's amazing. He knew to pause it when he said, I'll be back in a little bit, and then unpaused it as it's just right before he left so it could play purposefully oh, yes. so that it could play while he wasn't there. Oh, well, we'll get all the reasons for that, right? All the defenses for that in, in these sure videos. Sure, mm -hmm. we will. Like, come on, man. I don't think Hassan has low effort reactions. <laughs> 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 This with no health insurance. The job doesn't offer it, and our affordable marketplaces aren't very affordable. If I get sick, and I can't go to the hospital, 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 I can not Here's a compilation I put together of everything, everything that Jinx says over the course of- Did you guys enjoy that? <laughs> <sighs> like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? React cleaner? <laughs> React prouder? What was that? <laughs> 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 I find it so distracting. It's like, here's a compilation I put together of everything, everything that he <laughs> says is the source of his reaction to this compilation. Are you ready? Here. He would be terrible at hide and seek. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you walk into a huge room, you can just hear in the distance, like, you hear the breathing, and you just find him. Ah, oh, you found me again. Dang. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see, Rox. Really? Wow. What? what? What were those words that he said? I don't even know. What? I don't know. Wow. I, we, really? we, we yeah, have me, to me... sacrifice them because they're just. Here's a compilation I put together. I want to hear what he everything, says. Everything. No, not the says over the course of his reaction to this compilation. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Let's see, Rox. Really? Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what were those words? I don't know. Uh, have we got any translators in the audience who can? <laughs> Help. Does anyone speak mumble? I don't know. I don't know about that one. And just, yeah, in case you didn't pick it up, uh, Jay made a compilation of the amount of 
things that Jinx did when watching ASDF movie compilation, just to show how little he does. What? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell? Not the buns! To be fair, the ASDF movie compilation and shit is very hard to have like critical analysis of because they last like five seconds. Um, I don't so know. We got it. We got quite a bit out of long. your mouth noises. They're about a minute <laughs> long, and also I would hasten to guess that when they were creating Astiff movie, they spent a while going through all of those jokes and trying to refine them to the shortest amount of time possible. That was um, kind of the gimmick. Right, I feel like there's like, plenty that you could talk about there. Yeah, and that's not Ooh. an excuse. If you use if you it. watch something that's super What's, hard, quote unquote, to react to, well, that that was the choice that you well, made. Ex exactly right. right. If like if and I watched did. a video that was talking about I don't know like something that was completely that I know not, like lacrosse and I said nothing, it's like well, that's my fault for watching it. Like, <laughs> There's so much wrong with the anything. argument. It's like not the content's fault. Number one, you don't have to provide critical analysis. You can talk about why you're laughing. You can talk about who created mm -hmm. this and why. You can talk about the medium. It's a fucking animation. Do you know how much you can say about an animation? We recently did this we with did. Arcane. Um, mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> no, Fringy, speaking, speaking of lacrosse, do you know lacrosse is Spanish? I didn't know that, but see, yeah, it's Spanish for that. the cross. That's something cross. That you could say. That is, that that is something he, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Gosh, rags to transform in a Jesus. theoretical video that Free failed to transform. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so you got that aspect. S secondly, there's so much you can say whether or not you're doing critical analysis. Thirdly, if you fuck up and you can't say anything, then don't put it out there. And also, you should probably apologize and then make sure you credit where you should, uh, where you can. But like, all of this is garbage. It's like a, an attempt to try and rationalize this. Just because you have nothing to say about animation. Right. I, I find it so hard well, to believe that there's nothing to say. It's an inherently dishonest argument because, I mean, there are plenty of videos people send us. They're like, oh, you and Adam should cover this. And I watch and I'm like, I just agree with everything they're saying. I don't really have much to say, so we don't cover it. And you know that Jinx only covered this because, you know, oh, he knew that ASDF movie in the title would get a bunch of clicks. Like, it's, yeah, it's not because he's looking for critical commentary to add, you know, his insight in the world. Yeah, he, yeah, that's basically it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You, it is not an excuse for you as a reactor, as your job, right, to say, oh, that was too hard for me to react to. Well, so don't react to it. In tough, the first place, yeah, though. tough titties. I don't think this is the greatest display if you want to, like, show somebody not react- Because what am I supposed to go? Like, oh, big text! Oh, gun funny! Man, that's, uh, <laughs> wow. What, what is big this? Big text! What? Gun funny! <laughs> what are you doing? Blow up the llama! Cops at the dough! Word! Soft white so, underbelly! So, represent, like at the moment. I'm pretty sure I remember enough of Aztec movie. I think there was like a thing where he says, hey, look up there. And he's like, or like it says gullible on the ceiling. He's like, oh, it's right. Ah, oh, you stole my lungs. It's like, okay, you can talk about how that joke was constructed. You know, like you can talk about everything. It, the yeah, works a lot like of how the... It subverts your expectations twice. A lot yeah, of humor a lot is of, of a particular right kind. gullible on the ceiling. Absurdity yes. and unexpected and, and yeah, just just things that you don't think are possible are possible and it's all with the characters in universe reacting to it as though you almost would, at least a lot of the time. Um it keeps you on your toes. That's, that's, that's the whole style. And then of course you could talk about what did he make it with? It's like and then we could we could probably tangent off probably into flash. oh guys, do you remember working on yeah. Pivot back in the day? Do you remember that? These mm -hmm. would have inspired a lot of stuff like that. And he said you're like you can talk about God the... large words. <laughs> Yeah, it just feels like, I don't know, man, it's animation, there's so much you can talk about. Even though it's a minute long, it's probably, it was something that would have taken months, at least weeks, probably months to create. If they, it, ah, No yeah, way that several of the jokes wouldn't have an underlying point, possibly, to be drawn out of them, too, that you can talk I about? Just... You could talk about how do you think that I'm it works better with or without color? Long... Yeah, and with how... Oh man, now I'm just getting because like with how long it would have taken to make it, and then you just watch it and you get all the utility from watching it, yep. but none of the effort that it took to make it. And somehow you look at that and like, yeah, that's chill. Come and on. He, and he's like, oh, this is a bad example. It's like, no, it's a perfect example because even you think that you should just steal it because you can't do anything else with it, which proves <laughs> the point.
You don't understand. It's not even about whether or not you can react to a thing. You shouldn't be if you can't. Mm -hmm. yeah. Combat door! Oh, horse exploding! That's so fun. Like the, these are literally manufactured to Wait, be so fast Obama? that, like, you have. What are you supposed to say? <laughs> All the stuff we just said, just as a start. What are you supposed to say? You know, That's, I'm that doing, is a Hassan I, argument. What am I supposed to say? I'm sure that when Tomska made uh, these, he was like, "I expect to see zero comments because there is nothing, <laughs> There's to, say nothing to say." I expect zero so. comments. Deep. What is the good reaction? All right, guys, let's go frame by frame. Let's go frame by frame, okay? Here we go. So we see as the particles of the horse start. See, it's so funny. Man, he's doing it is, thing. Animation is the worst thing to try and mock exactly. for going frame by frame. I know, I know. What a fucking idiot. Why would you go to <laughs> animation to say you can't go frame by frame? What are you doing? I already am like, oh, isn't it interesting <laughs> how all the pieces aren't just uh, copy and pasted? They're all individual of the creature that's being oh, yeah, that's blown true. apart. All the little clouds, they are different. This is a. How do you create motion? Like, How do you on. simulate? Dude. Why would you say this? <laughs> like, well, I mean, what's going? What's the motivation here? Is this just to defend money? Because he's like the daddy of BreadTube, or is this just because he has similar low effort content? He's very. I think it's. He does I the same stuff to that, some degree. Yeah. Yes, he's the king of it, and if the king can do it on his golden throne, then, then I, I can think, do it. Yeah, then I can do it. I mean, it's right. a valid thing to do. I mean, Hassan does it, and he's. Shockingly, like a huge streamer, so that mm -hmm. means it's okay. It's about defending the thing that they're doing, right? To um, give it the legitimacy. Problem is that if if you don't, the house of cards is gonna fall, and it probably will fall eventually. All it's gonna oh, take yeah, is to. Watching, hope so. Yeah, watching the wrong. I mean, how long before Fox is like, actually, you know what? Can you stop watching Master Chef, please? Like, how long before that happens, and then it, it just kicks the off? The, the the I thought that already happened, didn't it? Well, I, I, I um, guess it is more so that what it will take is, like, Twitch actually getting sued will probably be the thing that prompts them, right. or at least, like, they, the legitimate real possibility of it happening. They haven't been stopped watching Hell's Kitchen, um, but they have mm -hmm. been stopped watching anime. Uh, they they right. tried to watch several shows, several... Bit, and I think X XQC was one of them, and, and he was, like, told this is um, copyright infringement, you, you can get banned, blah, blah, and I'm pretty sure his response was, I don't give a fuck. Does... Does Twitch not have the content ID system YouTube does? No, it's not uh, as... They have, they have some kind of system, but it's it, not yeah, the it's quietest not, mm -hmm. It's not as cruel as YouTube's. And the, the YouTube's has trained all of the YouTubers to be very aware of all of this. Uh, Twitch mm -hmm. one's so much more lenient, to the point where you can just do whatever the fuck you want in oftentimes action. on a stream. If you nuke your stream after you've done it, like they struggle to get the evidence they need to actually be like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. Meanwhile, YouTube, you know, we, we've said several times, I can't even stream, like, some copyrighted stuff, because the stream will just go down. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, we've, we've played videos on YouTube and commented on them, and still they give us flack for it. It's, it's unreal, and they realize, the Twitch streamers, that there's some holes. For example, if you played, like, a movie in full, I think your stream would be taken down. But if you're playing a TV show, there are some yeah. that you can just get away with. Because they just don't have the content ID system applied to it. And uh, Hell's Kitchen is one of them. We will see. That, that's foreshadowing, folks. You'll see what that's all about <laughs> at some point Damn. later. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's just funny to, to, to really bring this home, right? If you're if responding to someone's political take or whatever uh, in vlog format, he's pretending as though going frame by frame in that would yield more results than doing it in an animation. Funny. It's a complete opposite, but all right. Funny. Yeah. Disintegrating, like, this is not, like, you're not going to get the high end top shelf shit here. Is that because is of like, him? We or already the know. He's watching? We already know what I'll get the high end top shelf shit. We already know that. <laughs> We're the high end top shelf shit Yay. here at EFAP. We are top shelf react content. Like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Click that bell. Like, get us fucking love. The whole thing is just like. What? I said, Troy, where are you going to get this? I'm going to get this one back and forth, like, and, like, one through eight, like, one at a time, but it's kind of hard to find each and every one of them, like, it's kind of hard to, I'm sorry, to, to quote you, what?
That's what I mean. Like, there's already so much to talk about. He complains. There really is. Like, I can't be, I can't be dealing with reacting to each ASDF movie. Joe hard it is to find them. It's like, are you insane? (laughs) (laughs) You didn't look, did you? You actually didn't look. You made that. That's a lie. I know what that is. That's a lie. That just, yeah. How funny it is that he said it, and then you could debate whether or not you think he's just trying to lie, or if he's that idiotic that he just like believes this or he typed in the wrong thing sp- and couldn't find he it. misspelled asdf <laughs> maybe but uh i wonder if you can tell what point i'm making right now yeah <laughs> just, oh my god that's hilarious i've sped up jay just enough that i don't think we can understand what what he's saying because if we did we'd be paused already talking about what he said because we have stuff to say i know like our relevance com- background is shit yeah he, he's complaining that jinx doesn't have enough to work with commentating on the aesdf movie but He's not commenting on Jay's argument at all here. He's just even though there's all the references. Dive into. Yeah, Prime even Twitch Tom Scott gold. himself talking about transformative stuff in relation to ASDF movie and people copyright and so it was like, nope, got nothing to say about any of this. And you know for a fact he would, if say for example you played just one portion of this was Jay saying. Um, it, it should be considered unacceptable to just simply steal someone's video. I'd be like, all right, what do you think about that? He'd probably be like, um. Uh, no, 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 no. He'd be like, um, um, I'm sure he'd have something to say. Is my point? He's just he can't be asked to speak right now. He's yeah, yeah. Whether we would be able to understand him would be a different thing. replayed my video in its entirety. Someone, what's amazing is that means that somebody (laughs) sat there as he did nothing and was like, This guy, this is the content I I want. More of this, I gotta get more of this shit. How many fucking times have I come across this where they don't say anything for ages until they go, Like a (laughs) resolution? I really worked hard for that one. I'm gonna savor it. Mm -hmm. I worked so hard. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Jesus, if man. you remember, say something. I mentioned Jay saying something about taking the piss. I feel like this is taking the yeah, piss. Yeah, like, d- d- does it need to be said that, like, say a you word, watch, you bastard. <laughs> if if a video gets played in full on like a stream with little to no commentary, why would anybody go to watch the original video? They've received. Yeah, the video. this is it. They have received the video in full. Why do you with, not feel shame no for shame. doing this? <laughs> Where I was is your shame? shame? Does it feel bad? Like if if I'm watching a video on stream and like thirty seconds goes by without a commentary, I'm like, fuck, I feel bad. Like, yeah, your brain <laughs> notices like, on? oh, say something, say mouth, 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 down there, do something. Why are we here otherwise? Just watch the original video then. To get subs, yeah. boy. Oh, that's yeah. that's oh, the whole oh, it'll point become of- so clear as we go forward exactly why they that's- do this. That's the whole point of why transformative is a thing that you you can do with other with stuff that isn't yours. Yeah, it's like that's why it exists because you can transform something in such a way that they are getting a new experience because of what you've created, whether it be through the re- the commentary, whether it be through <laughs> the way that it's chopped up and edited. Like, it, that's come on. Just want to highlight so in chat. Laugh my ass off. This happened to Jay again on a video about it happening to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the rabbit hole. It the is, inception, it is the uh, reacting. Yes. And I guarantee you, if our relevant were in this call right now, he would get incredibly angry and defensive after seeing this part. He'd be like, what the fuck? At least he'd be doing something. I'm trying to take in the video. I'm watching <laughs> it. God, you guys are crazy. They'd be like, Pause it every two seconds. You don't know what they're talking about. God, we are crazy think, nuts, though. Do you think he'd have a moment when talking to us, eventually looking up in the top right of the, of the stream screen and being like, every frame of... Po- oh... Wait a minute. You guys are crazy. <laughs> if a part of your work relies on you uploading other people's content, then you better make sure that's not all you're doing, otherwise you're just re-uploading other people's content. 
It's fine to do that if you have permission. <laughs> but it's he's like not even there. noticing he's anything. Noticing. He's, he's like phone. the person that okay. you're talking to and you're like, yep. Uh, well, uh, someone who can't pick up on any social cues, you know, like an autist. Well, like, like, you, like you you're, just... um, you, you know, you've had a fun night and your friend's still there and you're like, oh, I'm probably going to head to bed now. And they're like, cool. Yep. Getting real tired. Oh, wow. It's been such a long day and they're stretching their arms. And they're like, oh, did you drive here? Oh, or did you, yeah. did you, did you, did you walk here? Yeah. yeah. You watch the new Picard series? I heard that's really good. <laughs> no. Yeah. So I guess, I guess next time you come by, give me a, yeah, we'll do a thing next time you're over the next, uh, yeah, next time that you are here. Yep, because boy, I am tired. I feel like I could fall asleep right now. And then, and then he you, just goes, oh, oh, do yeah. you guys know? That's uh, do you guys know where we get the expression to give someone the cold shoulder? I don't. I don't know. Well, back like in put them the out day, in the cold or something. Uh, back in the day, whenever somebody was overstaying their welcome. The hosts would give them a uh, a shoulder of beef or pork, which is generally not like a good part, and it would be cold. They wouldn't even heat it up. Just sort of just tell them that you're overstaying your welcome and that you should go ahead and leave. Interesting. I think off. you you may so, have told us this before, but I completely forgot. Okay, so familiar. would they just randomly give them a piece of meat, or is this only no, it would be for like for a break? It'd be like a for breakfast or a meal or something like okay. that. Yeah, they'd give him. Like, they they wouldn't just like, that throw a random cold shoulder of an animal. <laughs> just hit him in the face with some meat. <laughs> you go. And they're like, "Is everything okay?" Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. Everything's great. Everything's they just great. put ice uh, on your shoulder. Just... And they're like, "Do, yeah. do you understand?" <laughs> they'll give you the cold <laughs> shoulder. That's that's the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mister Freeze thing. <laughs> I'm going to give you the cold shoulder. I think he says that. <laughs> I can't remember if that's one of his things, but um. Yeah, shoulder. and you know, they don't pick it up forever, and eventually you just go, fucking leave! <laughs> like, that's what I'm trying, they're like, oh, okay. Uh, and yeah, it looks like Jay just couldn't get through to poor our relevant here. Just, just, no. not messaging no. again. It makes, yeah, you wonder, I wish I could be inside of our relevant's brain, just to sort Do of observe, what really? is, what is he listening to in his head? What is, is he, does he know where he is? I don't is know, he man. lost? People always complain about the swamp levels in Dark Souls, and I feel like that's going to be equivalent. Just like low rolling and poisoned, and you don't want to do that. It's not if you don't. So let's take this back. Are you saying all relevant is the swamp levels of Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you know what? That'll be a compliment compared to the, the next two people we will cover beyond our relevant. Uh, okay. I, just, just... I have received many previews for what's what's to come uh next guys brace yourselves yeah and, and and it's it's a it's really a matter it ramps up this this is the chill good reaction in a sense okay relatively oh no <laughs> back to the golden rule how as a react content creator do you avoid taking the piss well i think that so long as you're clearly trying it's fine look at that how <laughs> good faith is jay being right now as long as He's you're trying so... i know jay you are there yeah. is being nice and then there's people then there's <laughs> letting yourself be taken advantage of. oh the funny thing <laughs> is rags Jay He's could have so been really nice. mean, and the reactions he would have made more sense because Jay's been yeah. so nice, and yet all these streamers fucking rip into him for yeah, a lot like, of this. Jay, I feel like Jay yeah. was very lenient um, by comparison lenient. to how much harsher it could have been. Um, because the whole thing of like, hey, I really don't mind as long as you shout me out, or like it, it, that you watch it without saying anything. And, the, and Jay's like, hey, I don't mind as long as you just shout me out. It's like, that's more tolerant than you can be uh, I, I, of that. I genuinely believe what Jay is saying here is that if someone didn't react for about a minute long and then paused and said, I'm so sorry, I can't like think of something to say right now. I'm just so impressed with the video. This video is made by blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll link mm -hmm. it in the chat. Go check them out. Uh, I'm just going to check out a little bit more. And, and, you know, they do another minute and then they're like, okay, I just, I really like this. This is a really yeah, fucking something. good. I think yeah. if they did that, Jay would be like, Oh, that's that's okay. Oh, they, it's flattering at least, and at least they sort of have realized what they did, and they're trying to make up for it, yeah, and really promote it, and like that's that's well, definitely have no something. Ill will. They yeah, have no ill intent here. There is yeah, no they're like my bad. I didn't. My work. I got, 
Yeah. yeah, I got so engrossed in your amazing content that everyone needs to go check out right now. Link in the description. Here it is. Exactly. Boom, that yeah. I didn't even notice. It was so I mesmerizing. feel like that's to, to emphasize. This was so easy for her son. All he oh. needed to do was just say, yeah, I screwed up. Here, here's a link to Jay's channel. I'm really sorry. Go check him out. You know what? I'm going to like. Uh, he might even go like, um, we're going to watch another video, but we're going to pause and react super duper hard to this one to just give you an idea of how long, like well thought out and cool the content is. Make sure you go check out Jay's channel. Link in the description. That's it. That, that's that's all that needed to happen. Yeah. It was so easy. And yet. <laughs> well, dude, yeah, I think, I think you're onto something in the, if you watched all, I think it's 12 minutes or 14, whatever, of Jay's uh, house video. If, right, if you said nothing, but at the end made a big deal about who made it, how good it was, and where to find him, Jay would have been chill. Yeah, yeah probably. I mean, this all implies the streamer cares and is moral and ethical and wants to do a good job and doesn't want to just put on something and stare at the screen and eat food. Um, someone said, this has but to be a joke, right? Die. This show is the only way I've experienced Twitch, and it's a millionaire that doesn't even show up to his own streams and a mumbling reactionist. The caliber indifference to reactions of EFAP versus these people is going to be staggering. This is not the kind of thing you guys will be used to, let's put it that way. Oh, Adam and Sitch. Or oh, Sitch and Adam, I'm sorry. Sitch, since you're here. Wow! <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> it is Adam I, and Sitch, right? I think so. I, it's he doesn't right? even he's show up. He doesn't even respect you guys enough yeah. to show up. Okay. Oh, so true. boy. Like, we even, we even arrange every time on Discord before we go live, we have to rearrange our icons alphabetically just so it sort of <laughs> has a, some consistency mm -hmm. to it. Uh, but seriously, though, if you watch Sitch and Adam's show and this show, like, that's unusual if you watch right. which stream is reacting to videos as well. It's it's a completely different experience, and uh, they will even they will even touch on why that is eventually too. You don't have to knock it out of the park every time, so long as there's clearly a respect and understanding there that you are working with someone else's content. I think you're good. I agree, the chair is disrespectful, but this oh. to act like this is even honestly. A, a, a trackable amount of time in every one of his streams is a bit like laughable. Not the point. <sighs> That's not, not the, the point, point. Even if it is. If, if, he's <laughs> yeah. sitting, if he was sitting in the chair and saying nothing, it's still bad. And mm -hmm. it is trackable. I tracked it. And it is. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, but, also, if it's during Jay's content, I mean, it doesn't matter if he does it regularly. Like, yeah, you can yeah, do it. Like it's it during the content you shouldn't that you're do it doing once. This. It's just like I spend most of my time not murdering, and you're like, okay. Did you bid it? You don't <laughs> like, get a gimme. Why? I don't know why you're being so strict here. It's uh, it's weird that this argument even comes up at all. But all right. Like in some of his streams, he has like twenty minutes of this. But in like most of his streams, he's not like gone. In some of his streams, he has like twenty minutes of it. Twenty minutes. Of That's the point where your brain goes, playing. "Oh shit." He said that like that was a good mm. thing. He's, yeah, uh, like, he it's fine. It's only like twenty minutes of it. Well, because they got the wires are completely crossed now. They think Jay's argument is getting up from your chair should never happen in any way, shape, or form. And he's like, "Wow, that's so unreasonable." It's so unreasonable that there should be a thing in your head that says that's probably not what he said. <laughs> like, exactly. He Why would you think that's Jay's point? Why would you think that's anyone's point? Of course, you can leave your fucking chair. Just don't steal people's videos. I demand that you do not leave your chair. If you're going to leave, then you're going to scoot your ass on that chair across the house <laughs> to wherever you need to go. Mm -hmm. I knew it. For like an hour or two, and it's just the chair. To my knowledge. Um, to my knowledge. It could be the case, but I, I've yet to see any content where he is he has gone for such prolonged periods of time. Um... Well, we've shown it here on EFAP, so... Yeah, we have. <laughs> it's actually funny in a sad kind of way. Mm -hmm. Well, and if you it's... if you combine the him not being there and him being there and being silent, I wonder what the ratio is. Well, yeah, because um... yeah, him being in the chair or out of the chair is not... It's just funny that he's not even here. But right. if he's in the chair and not saying anything, that's bad enough. Yeah, well, um, if you remember, that's the reveal that everyone found funny, right? Because we're all expecting to see clips of him just not reacting at all. He fucking leaves. You're like, so I can't even judge his reaction. He's not here. <laughs> like, yeah. It's usually less than that. If you want to make the argument he's eating a lot too, like... 
I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> For what? Oh, what was this meme? It's a fun meme. It is one of the many oh, good yeah. memes that our that our dedicated EFAP, uh, our 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 meme garrison, has been creating for the, the war effort. However, you you do that. See, what I'm going to do now is because I'm not the only person here. I can leave to go prepare myself a beverage while you guys discuss the when a uh, with things, and I'll be discuss back. Discuss so things and memes. We can yeah. discuss Absolutely. things and memes. Discuss um, things and memes, and have a good time. I'll be right back. Thank now let's just put an empty chair on screen. We, we, we so we, we literally did gone. that for the 150th. We all changed to <laughs> nice. chair avatars, and then we played a J video in full. But the B big J knew about it and gave permission, right. and it was all quite fun. It would be really cool if one of these streamers found that and used it as like, <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> They're just as bad. They're hypocrites. And then I'd be like, "What do you mean? That's like one time. Where all the other times we're fine, so it's fine." Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Rags is gone. Shh, you have to be silent. There's, there's nothing for us to do. Where Rags is gone. Yeah. Game over. We have a video lined up that we can play until it gets back. Well, you know, I was tempted to cut in the ASDF movie like at least ten minutes. Well, no, uh, ten seconds of it. Just to see... <laughs> Ten minutes of the ASDF yeah, movies right. in the middle of it. That. that would fuck us over because we would spend so much time talking about it. My point was just going to be to cut it in and see what we would say if we were watching it. Just, just, mm -hmm. to, just nope. to test it. But I realized, just... no, it'll be fine because we'll just comment on it within the video within the video. That's all that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And we did. Mm -hmm. And we spent way longer talking about it than he did about Jay's video in total. So, interesting to say the least. I can hear the beverage <laughs> being made. I, I can know. hear it. I suppose those are better sounds than. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, I do like the. <laughs> like these sorts of sounds right to your ear. Love it. Love it. It's so bizarre. Why? Why would you have a setup that avoids that? Why? Just move away from the microphone a little bit, man. Like, come on. I mean, you could also right. breathe lighter. You, you can actually control you that. You could. You don't have to do these massive, <laughs> heavy sighs. React yeah. harder, breathe lighter. Come on, make up your mind. This is... They do that. You're being unreasonable. They're so like, oh my god, chat says we pause too much, but then also says we don't react enough. This is horrible. I don't know how they survive. <laughs> I didn't snort my goo. You don't snort it. Can you, can you snort goo? I mean, I guess you could, but I'm not. I'm not really sure what the utility would be there, other than having a gooey nose, which that can happen naturally, you know. Mm. So what's the point? Oh, I want you to know, know this, Fringy. I don't know why yeah. this is, but on the unofficial Sitch and Adam Discord, whenever we play Gardic Phone, if there's ever a drawing of anything that's green, it will always end up becoming a Fringy face. Well, that that tends to happen on uh, when we do it too. It yeah, just our... seems like green is the color that people are like. Oh, that's fringy. He's <laughs> it's green. It's obviously fringy if it's green. Our additional oh, meme is man. that he always gets naked for some reason. Everyone just keeps drawing him naked. Oh, naked fringy. Well, we'll add that. I'll add that to the next fringy. time I see a fringy face. Are you, are you talking about a um, Gardic phone? The drawing game Gardic yeah, phone. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is often naked and a penis. <laughs> so you guys, um, I was. I was thinking while I was gone, I wish that I that we had like muscles in our bodies that would allow us to like change the bore diameter of our urethras. What? So that yeah, so you could like when you're peeing, right? You could really kind of relax and really open that sucker up so that you could pee real quick, you know? But then if you were gonna let I don't know, maybe something else was happening down there, you could choke it up like a shotgun and kind of tense it. So you can get a lot more distance, you know. To to what end? <laughs> to what end? I thought it would should be obvious. <laughs> but... Rags is like there are so many ends to this. There's, <laughs> there are so many ends of there's. Wow. Back in the uh, before times when humans were evolving from primates in the hunter gatherer societies, they used to often try to appeal to the females of their species with pee distance. Yeah, uh, and not just pee. We'll so we'll just leave it there, but just to be to be able to have that kind of control With spunk distance. Absolutely. <laughs> if you, you, you have that decision to be like, are we going to do like short distance, but a lot more, you know, together? Or are we going to go for distance and have the, you know, just go for it?
you like Morse code, you could you start it and stop in it. Ooh. So like a long, like a, like a, if you needed to call for help quietly and stealthily as you were ejaculating. <laughs> dun, 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 tsh, 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 dun, dun, dun. Have you seen people SOS who do that really Morse fast? Code? Morse code. I think with the their, issue with, with. Not with the penis, with the hand. <laughs> In what way, like tapping? Yeah, yeah. Well, they just like I, I saw a video. Yeah, that's... it was like the top Reddit with guy. He was like super old guy, which makes sense, I guess. Uh, but he, he was like an expert with Morse code, and his hand was mm -hmm. like fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. It was just going nuts, and I was like, oh, I want to see what he's he's saying. Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose, though? Like, no. If it's too fast, how well, could you differentiate? You're going, if you, well, I mean, if it's too fast if it's fast but you're still clearly like it's all consistent i would imagine that mm. it can get picked up yeah there would still be the the longer gap like there's still a significant difference between the short and long right you know well but here's the question i mean that only works if someone else is fast enough to understand what he's saying otherwise it's pointless i'm sure he understood it that's true unless there was unless it was being written out because like a lot of times oh, yeah, you, come you out write and, it out yeah. and then it sends it out through on paper and it spits out on the other end. Mm -hmm. So even if they can't read it as fast. Oh, as I guess you're through, right. You know? Yeah, it comes on the little ticker tape. Belch. Sorry, guys. We got to go back to our relevant. What are we um? What are we talking about here? I was. Um, we didn't actually continue it without you, Ranks. We managed to find a way oh, yeah, to yeah. fill the time between you not being here and being here without playing someone else's video. Can you believe it? I can. I was just actually noticing that. Look at the cat. You see that cabinet on the still image? That part on the right? Yeah. What is that? What's looks, that? Looks you have, odd, the two, you have the two sections where I assume you grab it at the bottom and open it up and it swings outward. But then you have that that fucked up little growth on the right hand side, <laughs> which is just for. Like, why? Why would you go out of your way? I need an extra cabinet spacer. Right? Yeah. <laughs> But, like it doesn't, but it looks like the bottom of the cabinet is is angled. No, I know what you mean. So it's, you it's hard to square it away in your head, well, sort of thing. I think it's, if you look at the perspective of the shot, it's like a bizarre slope. No, I, I like, don't. Because you see how like the, the refrigerator is like not straight. Like it there's looks like a, a fun a house weird fisheye lens. That, yeah, on, yeah, yeah, there's like a weird fisheye yeah. lens happening. But still, it wouldn't. It wouldn't distort it that much because generally with a oh, fish eye lens, you know what it is. You get to the center. This is the house picture, so it's probably comboed up, maybe two. Because look at the f the fridge; looks like it's oh, like duplicated it's at the top. Oh, ah, of so course. So I think it's doubled up the cupboard. I don't think that's the way it's supposed to look. I oh, think it's cool. okay. okay. You're probably right. Wait, yeah, why is that doubled up? So if you look because at the top of the fridge, it's, it's like duplicated. Yeah, it looks like it's stacked. Right. I think it's okay. just a matter of how they did the photos, and this one fucked up a little bit. Probably. Oh, well, is, is that really two sinks, or is it just, like... I don't know. Well, that's distorted <laughs> or something. I don't know what's going on here. Well, now this house became a little less interesting. What if the two bathroom, the two toilets were just one, and it was a screw-up? An optical I think, illusion? I think it looked pretty like clean in that photo, illusion. but you could be right. Yeah, mm, it did. Like, I, 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 just double. I prefer to believe that this world is a, uh, this is just a portal to another dimension where we have the <laughs> cabinets and two toilets next to each other. This is an SCP house. Oh, yes. Like, you just come I, on. I don't know what to say to you. Well, it's kind of like how, <laughs> like, uh, like Yellowstone National Park is like an SCP. Or it's like this phenomenon where, like, uh, I, I can't believe. I it's I, I can't remember it, but something about all of Yellowstone National Park is an SCP, and like no one knew about it, and apparently it existed, but no one just kind of like a Wakanda sort of thing, where no one just seems to have noticed that Yellowstone National Park was a thing. Mm -hmm. Like one day, everyone was just aware of Yellowstone National Park, and apparently it was there the whole time, but no one knew about it. Just something. Wait, like is that. this a true story? Like, no, all of this is I'm bullshit. So confused. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Well, yeah, how it's an SCP. You brought up SCPs. That's no, why I made my I comments. You, so well, no, like real. there are real places. Like there's a place I, I went to called the Mystery Spot, and it's like I don't know why, like gravity or something works fucked up there. And this is like a real place. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like a real yeah. SCP. A real. Um, I, I was curious yes. what he actually said that comment on. So I'm rolling back a little. Bit. Oh, are you? He's gone for such prolonged periods of time. Um. It's it's usually less than that. If you want to make the argument he's eating a lot too, like 
Don't eat a lot. I I don't know what to say to you. I well I yeah. wouldn't know what. I, I yeah, I've got plenty of things to say about that. On stream. I don't so, know. I've actually consumed food whilst on a stream before, so I'm an expert in this subject. Uh, have you guys ever Likewise, done that? Likewise. Uh, oh, many times. Wow. Have I ever consumed while on stream? Yeah, have you ever had anything to drink or eat while streaming before in your entire existence? No. No? Dry. Damn. Well. Oh, I meant- I wait. do my streaming like I do my sex. I, Dry. I just- there are so many things you can do, but apparently he's completely unaware of any of them other than leaving and then playing someone else's video. That's just the only option. Maybe we'll get more information on that as we go. 30 minutes every 8 hours. 24 minutes. So it's 24 minutes every 8 hour stream. I- I don't think that's ridiculous. <laughs> If you're stealing I, I, 24 minutes of content, that is ridiculous. And we never, well, nobody ridiculous. mentioned a ratio. I, it was never about a ratio. I, yeah. Something I do like, though, is how we've ignored, if you are the person who had your stuff stolen in that 24 minutes, Fuck like, you. to you, it's every, it's all yeah, of it. Like, yeah, for oh, well, I, I, I didn't do that to other people. It's like, oh, thanks, buddy. I, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> That's what I mean. So it's, it's, I suffer, uh, I lose because you felt like well, eating. How does that like, argument even work? It's like you get your stuff stolen, you get mugged, and then you're like, well, that guy didn't mug everybody, it was just you. I mean, what? he's only a thief <laughs> like 10% of the time, so, you know, it's okay. I think that is fine. It's not. Um, well, it's not. it doesn't matter whether it doesn't matter whether you think it's fine. It's not. It's just it not. Well, I don't know. And you shouldn't think it's fine. I don't know where you got the argument from. Like as if someone said he does it too much in general. It's not about the act itself for any particular person. It's just the general ratio of time he's away from his stream. Okay, that's the problem I have. It's like nobody said this. What are you talking about? No, mm -hmm. this is not an argument that Jay put forth. But yeah. maybe. Gosh, maybe Jay should have repeated himself. And, uh, like, just I don't, made I don't the video know. twice over, just, just loop it well, again, just, just in case you didn't understand. I'm just gonna put it in our little, again. in a little pin board that we've got evidence now that Jay would probably be worthwhile repeating himself. You know, just, well, just, just mm -hmm. a little bit of evidence there. Maybe this is why he does, he didn't respond to any of Jay's arguments and then waited till they were all done to then just make up BS arguments. I was gonna say, I mean, I don't, we don't need to point it out, but like, that would be a straw man in an essence. Responding mm -hmm. to a point Jay did not make. I, it's too much. Pot I I think twenty four minutes every eight hours is fine. Of it's AFK not. time, it's not. No, yeah. no you, you don't be AFK. Free. It's the it's the nature of the AFK. Yeah, it? it's it's not like your employer who has to give you thirty minutes of break every eight hours you're employed. That's not how this works. Nope. You just you I, pause I, it before you leave. That's- you click a button and pause it before you leave. Shouldn't you be do the opposite difficult. of what Hassan did, basically. Should not be this difficult. I'm not- It shouldn't. Yeah, I'm not going to the bank on that one. This- yeah. I don't know what that means, but alright. Does it mean that he's not, like, dying on that hill? I'm not taking that one to the bank. I'm not going to the bank on that one because I'm not sure I about it. I don't accept it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, like I- I'm gonna this, go to the bank. I, <laughs> this payment might be fraudulent. I see. Or- or perhaps this is a- a a check that is overdrawn. I suppose it could be all of those. Though you wouldn't know it was overdrawn until you go to the bank and attempt to cash it, right? He's tried to cash it personally in his own little head bank, and it just he didn't would. go in. Didn't go in. I suppose so. Yeah, that's how you could tell. He is his own teller. He is he's a teller at his own bank. Uh oh! Someone in chat said BRB screens are a thing. Don't worry, we will get the counter argument to BRB screens. I don't think that's true. We will, we will get a counter argument to such crazy ideas as a BRB screen. Madness. Whatever Madness. Yeah, I mean, Madness. I mean, I don't know what that is. It's not like I have one. No, no, nobody really uses those anymore. They're an antiquated piece of tech. They're antiquated like... compared to just playing someone else's work. <laughs> yeah. These, these three chuckle fucks here are my BRB screen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'll just leave whenever I want, and I tell my screen, just, uh, do a song and a dance. Play the cymbals. Make those know. guys say stuff. And then we go, Whoa. Yeah, say things. Contemplate yep. things. Decide amongst questions. Tell them when the leaflet becomes a pamphlet. I don't fucking know. Like, negligible? Yeah, like, who could- Like, you're gonna spend, in eight hours, you're probably gonna spend at least a couple of those minutes going to the bathroom. God forbid you have to take a shit. Yeah, Nobody the made the opposite point. No, just yeah. pause. So pause Who are you talking you to? Later. You don't get to play someone's entire video because you're you get stuck in sideways and you're taking double time.
Exactly. Like, you don't just get to do that. It's not an excuse. I mean, do you want him to, to die? To not be able to go to the bathroom? <laughs> He'll explode. All the poop well, we all, we do know his son is full of shit, so. Oh, <laughs> nice. hey oh, we did The it. biggest flex you can do is when you have not one, but two <gasps> fucking side by side Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I mean? Someone no, just sent me. Someone just someone just sent me a meme and it's it's only gonna matter to like the Fringy and Mahler. But you remember when we were watching Halo and I said that thing? Someone just sent me this meme. Oh. I wonder what they would be okay, referencing other than the thing that you said. Well, um I don't I can see it. I can see the vibe. It's it's a weird yeah. thing to say, but I can kind of get the I can see why you'd connect them. I can. Doom was better. I wonder if do <laughs> Doom is better. Like unironically, Doom. Which one? When did that one come out? Two thousand three, five, five, five. Think, Doom two thousand five yeah, with The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson mm -hmm. is better than Halo the TV series. Oof. Someone's I'm, not I'm sure not about that. Kidding. I'm pretty sure about that. Honestly, I am. I am legitimately pretty certain. I will. You know what I'll do? I will take that to the bank. He's taking it to the oh. bank. Can't stop him. I will He's take gone. it to oh the God. bank that Doom 2004, 5, 3 is better than Halo the TV series. There you go. Um, I'm fucking doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Let's go banking. Now, I can't boys. quite remember why I'm playing this context clip before whatever comes next. So I'm just going to replay just in case. You have not one, but two fucking side by side bathrooms. You know what I mean? No, not really. No, I really don't know what he means by this. I'm not sure if it's Okay, this person is just this person just doesn't like a son. That's that's just what this is. Cause Man, right, right, it could so be really. that it is so the sentiment that Hassan had is it's a flex to have two toilets next to each other. Now, I don't know about any of you in chat. I don't really think that's a flex, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I in the sense saying, that I I understand what he means by that like i this is totally unnecessary and stupid but i'm gonna do it anyway because it just like costs money i don't well i so feel like there's gotta be a limit I, on that for flexing there has to be some kind flex. of flex yeah because what, I mean, what is the flex you don't if go I to like a rich person's house and they're like look at all my bathrooms next to each other it's more like an look industrial situation like, yeah. it's like the opposite a, of a flex if i infused excrement into all my walls in my house i'd be like <laughs> that was really difficult and it was a lot of money to pull that off how if I was out for a flex? Yeah. He'd be like, "No, that's not a flex. So. Like, that's, you're just a fucking moron." Here, however, if you buy like the most expensive car in the world and it's known for breaking down a lot, I'd be like, "Yeah, I, I, I get why. Yeah, you, you got a lot of money. Yeah, items, don't you? yeah. that one makes yeah. a lot more sense to me." And it's funny because there's a cultural element here as well. Like if we had met someone who's in their culture, the more shit you can balance on your head, the cooler you are. If someone walked up to us with that, well, that and they that's were like, our that's our culture. To some Mother. degree, yeah, you know, you're wrong. Um, but we would just be like, "Oh, that that's a flex." You're like, yeah. So, I don't know. Someone, if I went to someone's house, they're like, "Hey, check out my bathroom." And I look in. There's two toilets next to each other. Just like, huh? I'd be like, "Why the fuck do you?" <laughs> yeah. and, and my so head immediately goes happened. to like, "Uh oh, what are they? What is this for?" Like, oh, not. Oh wow, you like have a lot of money. The the whole Please, you have I a lot of money thing doesn't come into it really. All that's happened here is Jay has said, I don't get it. And then our, our relevance be like, ah, oh, nah, he just hates his son. Man, talk about a leap. Well, so. Like, this a massive leap. This is the thing. So, conclusion I know what Hassan wanted to try and get across. I don't think this would be considered a flex. It's kind of just creepy and strange. <laughs> like, I don't know why. <laughs> um, hence, I think Jay's confusion. Like, how is two toilets a flex? And so. And that's the Maybe it's so that you can poop alongside your beloved. Yeah. The, like you know, when some couples say we do everything together, they mean everything together. Mm. It's just like a, a mid-joke that Jay was like, what? And that's, that's the interaction. And it's totally fine to say I don't really get someone's joke. But our relevant has decided this is evidence that Jay is like big mad. I mean, it makes sense to have two toilets next to each other because... Toilets are such a valuable commodity. Uh, uh, uh. Fringy, what do you think? <laughs> I, 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 feel, I feel like there was a point being made there and then we just sort of went back to the toilets again. 
I mean, I mean about that's fine. That's all right. That's fine. We should move on. I, um, I, that's fine. That's all right. <sighs> the, who, who, if you you know when you shit on him for saying two bathrooms instead of two toilets, that you're the, down bad. Like what? I, uh, what? So Wait, what? So what? so Hassan, if you heard in the clip, Hassan referred to two toilets as two bathrooms. Oh, oh yeah. right, because you're Americans and you do that. No, 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 reason. that was just... No, we no, don't just, do that. No, 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 they don't do that. The, he, the, yeah, a toilet, Hassan's talking yeah. about the toilet itself, as he called it a bathroom. Because yeah. oh, we talked about the, like, you have full baths, half baths, three-fourth baths here. But yeah, in no, America, you are, no, 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 like, no, no, you sound going to the... That's no, all irrelevant. I know, but I, I, <laughs> yes, but I just want to clarify the point. When you guys, you say you go to the bathroom, right, when you go mm -hmm. to the toilet. Right. Yeah, right. okay, yeah, that's it, that's it. I'll just clarify yeah. Cause, yeah, because yeah, toilets are generally in bathrooms. Hassan just had a brain fart and <laughs> called the toilet itself, the actual item of the toilet, a bathroom. <laughs> a bathroom. Yeah. Which is really funny, but yeah, Jay, Jay points that, that out, you. it's so funny, and then our relevant's like, wow, how could you do that? It is funny, yes. And sometimes, I feel like there's like a jump to defensiveness on all sides sometimes, and sometimes you can no, just realize... Not. <laughs> Sometimes you can just be like, it's chill. I'm just pointing out something funny you said. That's all. Yeah, it's like, it's fine. It's chill. Relax. It's fine. It's, you said bathroom instead of toilet. It's fine. It's just a little funny. It's all good. Saying two bathrooms instead of two toilets, that you're down bad. Like, just, just fucking go about your business. I'm supposed to go about your business? <laughs> go about your business. <laughs> go about your business <laughs> reacting to someone's content? That is what? He sounds really annoyed that um go about that your Jay business. did it. It's just like, but it's funny. Why wouldn't someone highlight that? It's funny. It is funny that he calls toilets funny. bathrooms. Toilets are inside of bathrooms typically. They are not the bathroom. <laughs> you go to also. the bathroom with the understanding that you will use the facilities in there. You're not going in there to play fucking racquetball. People know what you mean when you say you're going to the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, that would be a flex if you had a racquetball court. Yeah, that would be a flex. Like, would you like to go to my bathroom? Psych! It's a fucking racquetball court. <laughs> and Wait, what is, what is racquetball? It's when a racquetball court is... Do you really not know? You don't have <laughs> I, a... I mean, uh, is it a squash court? Is that, or is racquetball different from squash? Ooh, see, well, I don't know. One's a vegetable or fruit, isn't it? Racquetball... <laughs> Racquetball is squash. Yeah, it's squash. Oh, okay. oh, is it? Are they the same name? Okay, because it's oh, racquetball. Maybe it's here. like squash. Maybe I it's feel like, like they're different. Uh, no, racquetball versus squash. Oh, maybe Let me it's take a look. Oh, take yeah. A look. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they play racquetball in, in Angel, and I always thought of it as squash when I saw them play it. Yeah, it's, Do you it's play it on the, the same wall. court? Is that what yeah, the confusion is? Yeah, you're in the same is? court, and, you're on, and you hit it against. Oh, well, maybe. So, uh, so squash is racquetless? Is Sans racket, you might say? Wait, okay, so people are saying that much like much like our relevance thing. commentary, it is Sans racket. Nice. <laughs> people are saying that there's a difference slightly, that they're kind of similar. Kind of. They the are same, very similar, though. Yeah. Because I well, I was about to say something that might be stupid, kind of like how softball and baseball are similar, but not quite. They the are very same. similar. Yes. Yeah, okay, we got rounders was... over here that's similar to that as well. It's like a very. It's almost similar. exactly the same. I think there's slightly different rules or, or something, yeah. but yeah. I figure there are. I, uh, the only thing I know about softball is the ball is not soft. It is incredibly hard. <laughs> Squash is a gay fruit. Rags is not correct. <laughs> no, that is a gourd. A gourd is a gay fruit. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, the, the uh, it's funny that he said go about your business when we're talking about toilet. <laughs> like, yeah, go about your business. So he honest. sounded so your serious, business. like it's such a good little. Go meme. about your business. Carry yeah, on, move bad. along. Like, Nothing just, to see here. Just fucking go about your business. Supposed to be a joke, a serious <laughs> comment, or a mix of the two? Is he trying to say oh, that yeah. flex is normally something <laughs> extravagant and unnecessary, and this is extravagant and unnecessary? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Why would you pay? That's it's not weird. <laughs> it's weird. That's, that's, that's not bad. extravagant though. It's weird. That's like the, the first thought everyone has when they see two toilets in a room. <laughs> like, why? It's very it's strange it's because normally flat. going to the toilet and using the the poo <laughs> facilities is not a social affair. You assume straight away that there's purpose to it. Like, did you build? <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah but, because you, you can't accident. You cannot accidentally do that, really, because <laughs> there was a lot of pipe work. And interior stuff. Like, oh that fuck! Goes into I built two. Damn it! Uh, yeah, like, it's difficult no, to accidentally this, build an extra like... toilet next to another <laughs> toilet. If someone that's hard to, to do. 
if someone walks into your garage and sees like a like a Ferrari, and then they're like, "Oh, that's so cool!" If someone walks into that toilet, <laughs> and they, see two toilets, they probably go, "Ow!" They're just gonna be like confused. Yeah, you ask like, should I use one of these or either? Is either okay or? Go back and just... forth between the two. Is there a difference between these two toilets that is essential? <laughs> is one a piss one and one a poop one? That's gonna that be the there point? You... See, now that would be a flex. If you had a piss and a poop toilet, that were separate. And they were labeled Having as a, such. Having a piss yeah, toilet, labeled, also known yeah. as a urinal. A urine? No, 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 no. A it's a urinal. Urinal. toilet. Oh, no, just, oh, just for, for piss. If oh, someone piss walks toilet. into the toilet, yes. If someone walks into the toilet, we call the toilet room the toilet. Often to be fair, I a toilet think, room specifically. I think that room had a bath in it as well, so we probably call it a bathroom, right? Did it have a bath in it? I only saw the two. Does it have a bath I, in it? It's a really oh, weird room. I, I think it actually has a urinal in it as well. Oh, oh, it's then fucking... it's just a fully featured. It's a fully featured. Well, like... they, they tried also, to, to be turn fair, a normal bathroom into like uh, that's that's the thing you could assume bathroom. about it. But what I would yeah. the, the thing that puts a question in my mind is like, what, how did it end up with only two toilets and a urinal when you know, like. Those rooms typically have a whole set that, that lists the wall or something, but like, it's fine. It's yeah, fine. But this is a house, though. They're trying to. What, did it used to be a, a larger? Did it? it used to be like a larger uh, facility? Like it used to have stalls think, there. I was that about were to say, do you think they had cubicles and they removed them? <laughs> yeah, they were. I. You could say they were uninstalled. Uh, so now you just have the two toilets next to each other, which because if you went into a toilet room. A bathroom, if you will, mm -hmm. a, with many of them without stalls. A room of toilets. It would just be like, this is a really strange room. No, what, they, what probably happened is that this is a normal house, and they're trying to repurpose it for this use of multiple people peeing and pooping in this in the bathroom. And they're not going to like change a normal room and like put all the plumbing in a normal room to make it like a larger normal bathroom I, facility. Well, it would make more sense that it was designed with multiple toilets in mind because of all the plumbing and stuff that you have to do yeah. to have that bathroom. Well, but I would and imagine then they would... uninstalled or didn't install stalls that were supposed to be there. Well, would that make sense or would it make... Yes, like if, it makes if, more if, sense if... than what you said. No, no, no. Like if you were going to, if yeah, you want to add doesn't. extra toilets to a house cheaply wouldn't it make sense wouldn't it be cheaper to add them to the bathroom as opposed to creating a whole new room with piping that i goes don't into it? i actually don't know because i was it probably creating a to make it if if it was literally only to install another toilet regardless of anything else i suppose but that would be a bizarre thing to say. I want another toilet for more people to go to the bathroom simultaneously. Oh, dude, the builders but would I have been like, why? Like, why? Like, why? why yeah, we yeah. No, no, no. See, you're assuming that this house is built with that in mind. I'm assuming the house existed and then they're just repurposing it. Well, so repurposing, it, repurposing a, it was a, a what church. into what? Um, That's why my stall idea oh, this, was as it was, yes. Because well, this... if you've seen the whole video, this house is like not a house house. Yeah. It's like a facility complex. It's like a whole baptism area. Okay, yeah. so the church, but isn't it being repurposed to be like uh, one of these Amazon houses or something? Oh, I yeah. Mean, I it, guess... well, it's like a warehouse filled with all kinds of things they're trying to flip, I think, like uh, right. DVDs and boxes I mean, obviously, it's a very shoddy operation here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It is madness. It is, is absolutely it common, madness. Because now I'm still stuck in the toilet bathroom thing. Is it common in America for the toilet to be in the bathroom? Like you just have one yes. room that has the shower and the toilet and the yeah. Right. That's a full. That's a full bath. As if it has a toilet, a bathroom, and a sink. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes they're kind of like separated. A half into bath. Like two sections. is going to be just like a a toilet and a sink is a half bath. What about like just a separate room that just has a toilet in it? It is only with the toilet. Is that like only a toilet that... possible? Yeah, I have that... never seen one, but they could exist, I suppose. Wait, are you, okay. are you saying no sink, just the toilet? I was going to say typically you get a sink in most rooms that yeah. have a toilet. Yeah, no, no, no. It is what, very. What I mean is like, do you have do you have it where like the bathroom has the sink, the bath, the, the shower, but then you just have a room that has a toilet in it, and that's it. They they are almost always the same room. Do you think that there's like a to that follows that it might make more sense to just it does have make a lot of like sense a, piping lines to have it all right yeah. okay. So wait, do you have rooms that are just like showers and that's it? Well, you so can you can do I, that. I, um, 
obviously, but, but typically in Britain anyway, I don't know about Australia, we, we have full bathrooms and then also rooms that are just a toilet and a sink. Well, it's just often here in a house, if you're in like a unit or a, or a flat or something, but if you're in a house, generally you have the bathroom that has the sink, the shower and the bath, and then you have a toilet that's just the toilet. But also it's a sink, a room right? It has a toilet in it. No, you go into the bathroom to wash your hands. Okay, I, wait. I, so it's, I, it's like you open a closet-sized room that's just a toilet, like and that, and just four walls, and that's it. And then you have to go yes. to the bathroom to wash your hands. That's, that's yeah, so strange. strange. That that's is very why, weird. Why would, that is strange to me does as that, well. Does that does it not make more sense that you cordon off the the toilet room from like the the place where you actually like have showers and stuff and wash your hands. No, I, mean, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, it's like toxic waste when you're <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's like, it, it, because that that seemed it's, I, it's I'm, very, I'm hung up on the fact that you it's very strange. Yeah, why would you have I've a sink in there? That. that seems put a sink yeah, in there. That's yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to, you wipe your ass and you have to walk to another room to go wash your hands. <laughs> Why would you? Why would you put a sink in a room that is only the size that you need for a toilet? Because you can. Well, wash generally, your hands. what you do is you consolidate their spaces together for pretty obvious floor plan reasons. Right. But what can... about just sanitary reasons? That is sanitary that's why you keep reasons. Them together. Yeah. But wait, that's but why you put them you together. Want, how dirty? Sanitary? How nasty are your shits over <laughs> in Australia that you have to no, have like a special bio we talked about this. chemical room? Put the room lid down before toilet. you flush. Okay? Yeah, that's, that's the way you do yeah, it. Yeah, sure. I guess I'm just saying, it's just like, feels weird to me that someone might want to take a shower and then there's some other person pooping in there. No, 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 so what I'm saying, I, I guess you'd have the, to be like a very close married couple so, who are super so casual so about that sort of thing. To and do. you don't have stinky well, so shirts. <laughs> yeah. So that's the point I'm making. If if someone's there having a shower and you want to go poop, it's way more convenient if there's just a separate poop room so that you could go. That to now he no, that is a like, poop closet. You can well, leave them to. That is technically <laughs> true. However, the amount of times where that will pop up is so yes. minuscule compared to normal time. That it's not Very worth unlikely. getting rid of all that floor space. Yeah, there's additional that piping that's got to go into another room. Well, how big? Well, yeah. the room, Fringy, the how room big are these next... poop closets? Are they like tiny or is it like a normal room? Yeah, because <laughs> floor closet. space is like precious. It's a precious commodity. You can't just make it because well, there's a sure, lot of like, regulations usually, in usually, terms of the well, space so, around so, the building and the proper so lines. Typically, the toilet room is not like several feet away it's like next to the bathroom mm -hmm. it's like the room next to it so if you're walking down the hallway yeah, but how big is the room it? itself oh it's 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 big enough to fit a toilet and you and then a little bit of space in front of you and that's it it's it's like a narrow room that is just it's kind of like a cubicle but it's a room they always have sinks <laughs> in britain and the, the oftentimes they're not on the same floor like the idea is that you have a toilet on both really? floors, yeah, but there won't be two bathrooms. It'd be a bathroom and a toilet. Oh, well, I mean, tip I mean, typically you'll find here that there'll be like an ensuite, right? So, in the the master bedroom will have its own separate shower, and 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 that yeah, a master. Have, like, you can get them here as well, yeah. Really called, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. But like, is it more normal that the toilet's separated, or is or is yes, it more normal that they're I, all together? Well, so I. In Britain, you get the toilet is always in the bathroom too. You. The, yeah, yeah. I meant in Australia. Yeah. Well, so typically here. If, if you live in like a flat or something, they'll usually be combined into one because there's not enough space. But in like a right. house, there'll just be a bathroom and then a toilet. That's so weird. And there's no toilet uh, in the bathroom. The bathroom is in in an ensuite, maybe, or in like a flat. You'll find it where it's got the bathroom and the shower and, and the bath and then the sink. But then you'll just have it be that there's the room that has the bath, the shower, and the sink, and then there's a room that just has a toilet in it. So I can't go straight from pooping to a shower. Well, you can. You just go into the bathroom, then well, wash your hands, then take a shower. Yeah, but so what if someone's in the shower and you're pooping and then you're done? How are you, you have to get in to wash your hands anyway? Um, sure, but I mean, they might be finished by then, right? <laughs> that applies to the other scenario. <laughs> that applies to, yeah. I guess. How does it apply to the other scenario? And the they other might scenario, be finished by the time you, you need to get in you there. You save a precious five to ten poops uh, minutes. Okay, that's what, we're, that's what we're doing here. Fucking, look, I'm fine with... And also, generally, it's... 
It, it, it most people will say, "Hey, I'm going to take a shower. If you need to use the loo, um, I'll be ten mil- they do that, yeah, minutes." Yeah. Yes, but um, in which is Australia, what normal people it's generally like, do. aha, I don't need to wait because there is a separate. Oh, room you just will when you need to wash your you hands. You gotta wait to wash your hands, though. Yeah, you can't wash well, your hands. It, sure, but only I'm just saying that it just increases the chat. It is more likely that you will be able to wash your hands because they are finished than it is in the other scenario where you cannot poop. That you cannot deny that logic. I can, There's and I will. There's got to be some weird reason for you this. Can't, you cannot delight, deny strange. that logic. I just did. Watch All me do it again. Can... I deny your logic. Is there any other, like, country or culture that separates their toilets like this? I don't know. For probably I'm some, sure like, that they're... backward society like China or something. So the, pro- the reason why you cannot deny it is a simple equation. Let's say that it is 10 a.m. and there is someone in the shower and you need to take a poop. If they are in, if the bathroom is the room that also has the toilet in it, you you just can't because of etiquette. You, like you're stuck. There, there's nothing you can do. You cannot commence the poop. You just have to wait until they're done, and then you can go in. Well, so but unless you have diarrhea, you what's the problem? In, but if you have a separate poop room, you could just go take a poop straight away, and then there is done, a chance. You? There is a chance that you will be able to get in there because they'll be finished. And wash your hands. There why, is a why would chance. anyone risk this there instead a... of waiting? Well, yeah, is there like it? an epidemic of explosive diarrhea in <laughs> Australia that has caused this architectural I don't shift? Know wh- I don't know why it can't just be that someone's like, I want to go now. I just need to go now. I'd like to go because now. Because like, it's, it's not... not generally that big of a deal because my body doesn't go, I don't go yeah. from just normal living to, oh my god, you have to take a shit I, right unless now. So I, wrong. So, just like, so I, I oh, know that okay. it's generally not that, but you could just be sitting there playing video games and go, you know what? I need to poo. And then you just get up and, and you're like, oh, no, in the shower. So you're like, there. well, I guess I'll wait an extra few yeah, minutes. I, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll come back and just Or alternatively, and alternatively, I could commence my poop and hopefully they'll be finished by then. Hopefully or you can put finished. a sink in your toilet. You could put a sink in your toilet. I feel like you don't understand the size of this room. The room is small. Great, we there have them in room. Britain. A, a room that has a toilet yes. and a sink and no bath or shower. All right. Yeah, that's chat. That's help me out here. Small little cubicle rooms in Britain. I assume there's at least one person who's British, and it has a sink in it too. I'm gonna have to get pictures for you. Like if, if yes, you have you a house in America, there there often be like a bathroom that has a toilet and a shower and a bath, and then there'll be a just a room that's that's, a, that's just a toilet and a sink. And that's a half bath. Yes, yeah, that's why that's like on all common. the real estate, everything's that's why you full bath, half bath. A half bath. Yep, half bath. Let me see. Oh, there you go. Beautiful example. You also have a three fourths bath, but those are a lot less common. What? Oh, I've, I mean, I've, I see those when like you go out to a restaurant or something where they'll have like just the one bathroom that has like the. Yeah. I, though I, I tend to only go to restaurants that have baths in them, so then after the meal I can enjoy a nice, <laughs> a nice, <laughs> yeah, a nice shower after your nice bath. shower and bath me, after you know. You sit, sit, like typically, yeah, no, I've I've definitely seen those. <laughs> I've seen those. Yeah, but I just think I, this this is I've very normal to me. <laughs> I, I I've I just wouldn't have thought you'd want to build a room with a toilet with no sink when the, they seem inseparable to me because. Uh, you know, I've but never seen just, just the, the toilet in a room. I've hands. never seen like, that in my life. The... You could just go to the bathroom and wash your hands. That's true. I, I, could... I have literally seen more holes in the ground to poop in than a, a, a room in a building with just a toilet. Well, again, that's apparently that's just, just America doesn't do that. But uh, yeah, we just don't do that. I just because if if we're doing it, we're doing at least a half bath. I am baffled. Well, I'm assuming. Like, yeah, I, am baffled. I, I will say by the way, I am baffled by the disdain in chat. You still go and wash your hands in the bathroom just because it just seems so it's not a shower and compared. You wash your hands. Yeah, but you also have to open the door though first. Yeah, yeah. you get all your poopy hands. Ugh, that's Uh-oh. nasty. Ugh. If you're going into the bathroom to poop. <laughs> You're always gonna wash your hands. Whoa, anyway. that's before you. After, no, 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 no. You no. Think about it. You have to go into universal through walls. You can't skip that. You have to go to your separate bathroom. You close the door. You shit. You wipe your ass. Then you have to open your door before you wipe. Well, before you wash your hands. Presumably, you were doing it efficiently enough that your hand is not covered in poo. I would hope. Well, that's, that's not the best. You, that. you, you, now you're now you making an argument his... against washing your hands in general. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, you still watch your hands. Pro germs. 
The whole idea is you <laughs> knock off any residual germs of any kind. Fringy, just, Fringy just loves a, goo and poo. A, yeah, because you're right. You got to open and close the the toilet door, yeah. then open and close the bathroom door. So why do all of that instead of just washing your hands in the toilet? Here, room. I, I, mean, I what I will do is I will pick up my phone. I will text my <laughs> architect parents and ask if they have ever designed or even seen a a, a toilet in a box. Let's just call it that. <laughs> But like rags, you surely you understand though, even if you were to do it, you wouldn't make it without the sink, right? Of course, because you because when you're bathrooms are a special thing. Really any place where you have to hook up water through the wall is something you have to really think about when you're designing a building in relationship to the pipes going to other buildings and how the pipes intersect with themselves and where they meet. It's a special thing. So if you're going to have a toilet, you're going to you're like, yeah, we're going to put a sink there with it because we've already gone through all the trouble of designing this room with water pipes in them. Mm -hmm. I think if if Dev arrives in any any minute now, it'll be so funny if he says, what did I miss? <laughs> yeah, I'm texting my pot hair right now. Well, supposedly I, I was trying to see if there's a reason for this. Supposedly Australian toilets on average work differently than American toilets. They have what? like larger holes at the bottom and they're jet powered as opposed to just <laughs> oh, like, a little like flush. Is this true for me? Oh, why don't Australians what? wash their hands after the time? Yeah, <laughs> let me okay. Google right. that. Right. Maybe they just blame the wildlife for all of them dropping dead when it's really just like horrible, just the... terrible poo diseases. <laughs> Like, oh no, it was the the, the giant spider. Yeah, <laughs> it, it killed Jim. He didn't waste away from a the horrific infection from his poo door. No. Oh my <laughs> god. So apparently their toilets don't require plumbing because of the nature of the way they're built, and thus there was no what? there was difficulty in providing a sink additionally. Wait. Wait, what? I don't really? understand. That's How, what it said. So, they... so I'll, just, I'll just read this out. Why is it common for Australian houses to have a toilet in a small cubicle without a sink? Um, and apparently the best answer is, I've seen houses in both England and Canada with this setup. I've never seen it in the US. The one in England had a toilet, no sink, and a separate room next to the room with a sink in the tub. Each room had its own door. You didn't... Where's the Australian answer? Oh, the picture that you just posted. There's no... Is the tank at the very top? Is that what that thing is up there? That's the tank? That's oh, an yeah, old. Right. That's an older design for a toilet, but you're right. Yeah, because I've never seen one of those before. They yeah, always yeah, pull, I, I, pull I, I don't know what to tell you guys because now I've just gone onto realestate.com and looked at a bunch of houses' floor plans just to remind myself that I'm not crazy and I'm not. Oh, we didn't say we didn't believe have. you. We're saying it's stupid design. Yeah. yeah okay, well, you can say it's a stupid design, but Chad has been very mean to me, and it's made, <laughs> and it's led me to the point where I'm sitting here and I'm genuinely wondering if, like, I've gone insane and I'm, my memory. No, is I, I'm sure me, it's true. No, I'm like, sure it's true. Chad, up oh, gaslighting it, 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 it is common. It is. Yeah, I pulled up another one. Yeah, yep, it's there common. It is. In, I pulled up another down one. World, there yeah. it is. There are many, many bathrooms that are just their own cordoned off separate yeah. rooms. Looking on these floor This plans is what happens many, many, when you live houses. when a civilization's built that can't see Polaris. It's just everything's upside down. <laughs> Nothing oh makes sense. It's all just it. Oh, God. Dude, someone's explanation. I feel madness. sane now. I feel sane now. You, I'm serious. <laughs> I, I was there sitting there like, am I am I going nuts? Am I like I mean, in a bizarro world? Just where learning that the rest of your countrymen are are insane shouldn't dude, make Sitch. you feel more. Well, sane. It gets, well, it I mean, gets it better. One of the explanations here is that when you did outhouse pooping, hand washing wasn't a big deal back then, and so it didn't pass oh over God. when they moved the toilet into the that house. That can't be real. No, no. I, I love that they try to that. explain to me, like, well, you know, when Australians, Australians were tribal. Yeah, Australians just oh. didn't figure out that you should wash your hands. <laughs> like, what? This is what happens when a bunch of prisoners make a nation. <laughs> this is what... Don't you know, don't you this toilet room need a sink? Why? <laughs> why when you just go wash your hands there's water in the toilet I don't understand why you need another <laughs> there's water in the toilet <laughs> well that was another thing I was worried about when I say wash your hands in the toilet I was hoping people didn't think I meant <laughs> <laughs> just dunk <laughs> that's uh, why you flush it it's clean water now right exactly Australian toilets have dual purpose okay? <laughs> yes so Sorry, we got that little pink thing on the rim to clean it, it was, right Water is scarce in the deserts of Australia, okay? We just don't understand. Mate, do you use I mean, salt water for your toilet? <laughs> why, why would we use salt water for the toilet? I don't know, because you're an island. You I don't know. Because <laughs> you guys I do know. things weird, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is what you do in that upside-down, topsy-turvy world. <laughs>
You guys want to continue with the video? We can do that. Uh, I kind of like this Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. I don't like this conversation. (laughs) Flame cringe. Speaking of flame cringe. Let's go back to some proper flame cringe. Supposed to be a joke, a serious comment, or a mix of the two? Is he trying to say that a flex is normally something extravagant and unnecessary, and this is extravagant and Yeah, because you could see here there's clearly enough room for a stall. Yeah, I think to you're go right. through those two. Yeah. Um, though, though there are technically a lot of specifications and regulations mm-hmm. for You started the distance this conversation, Fringy. So is that how it works? When someone starts a conversation, you have carte blanche to be incredibly cruel to them? Is that how it works? You're <laughs> incredibly cruel. <laughs> incredibly cruel. I'm sure they're yeah. saying out of love, Fringy. Not only that, oh, but no, only one really? of the people has access to all the toilet paper because <laughs> notice how much how much right. notice how much toilet the toilet paper king over I here am. on the right. Well, he has all the toilet there, paper, like, and there's not even a roll <laughs> in between the yeah, two he toilets. Has the, he has it is the an roll empty as roll well on the thing. And the, uh, the, the he has to leverage. <laughs> well, he has to leverage his position of strength by having both the plungers on the left, and he he used that to bargain for toilet to paper. And the, I he also has the, the two paper. waste baskets. Yeah, why is there two? Why are there two trash cans and one's like teeny tiny and one's normal size? Because the left toilet realized it doesn't have any bargaining power in terms of toilet paper, so it needed to grab both the plungers and the waste baskets. It, yeah, it's like for, you want to. It's a yeah, it's a trade deal. I I'll see. give you one of my bids for this. I'll give you a trash can. You give me some toilet paper. Yeah, in exchange for ongoing usage of X amount of squares per poo, I will allow you to use the waste basket. Assuming that you don't want to flush your toilet paper down, right? Mm-hmm. And and it also makes sense too um, that this was um, a room where they removed the stalls, yeah. Because the on the right, they have the rail. Though it's odd because normally the handicapped uh, is stall is going to be the last one in the back. I think oh, this yeah, doesn't okay. look big enough to have. This room is too small. I think to have two. I, it could just I don't be think that this room is. Oh yeah, I don't think this room's up to code. I don't think it's up to code. And by the way, Jay, Jay got it, okay? No, I know what it is. You understood. Okay. <laughs> Th- that, where the second toilet is, that used to be where the sink was. <laughs> they converted the sink into another toilet. Hey, a bunch of us well, to... moved in, and they're like, and, and, why is there a sink in my toilet what? room? They were like, but what about the sink? And then they just put down a bin. And you're like... No, no, no. <laughs> just, just to spite people in Europe and America, instead of saying we're going to install a sink, they said, fuck it, we're installing another toilet. <laughs> just to show them that we mean business. A nice use of the word business once again. Wait, what? Jay has a, Jay Mac has a separate bathroom for his just his toilet? What craziness is this? Wait, uh, 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 where's Jay Mac from? He's, a, he's American. Oh. oh the, the and look at thickens. that, yeah. Look well, that. but is that but that that's probably attached to his a lot of bathroom. Bath though. Bath. It's like a little cubby just for like, the I don't, so know. I don't bath I guess... is a separate. I've never seen one ever. I've never seen one. Yeah, I've never I seen one so like, extravagant. To, to illustrate how point, short like... is this guy that he needs steps to get up to his toilet? <laughs> no, it's a squatty potty. You don't know about the squatty potty? Come on. I don't know about a squatty potty. <laughs> You put your you put your legs on it, and it's supposed to make you squat when you shit and help your digestive process. If it's in California, it doesn't count. <laughs> they, they do weird things over there. That's true. Is California the Australia of America? Mm. It's the, it's, I, it's, it's, at least it's for a, toilets, maybe. Maybe we don't talk about California. My wife likes it. <laughs> Do you live in a hotel where your doors have that little, like the 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 lever handle? That's strange. Uh, it does have that a... lever. Hand- well, some yeah. some places have them, right? Some houses usually. Generally, to... they'll be in like hotels and things. That's strange to have a. It's it's fine. It's just it's very odd. It's not something you normally see in a private residence. I always find it weird when they have the little uh, fluffy covers for toilets. Yeah. Oh, um, the carpet. Oh, yeah, yes. that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. For those people, for all of you youngins out there, that was, it's like wood paneling on the outside of cars. Mm-hmm. There was a thing where your toilet seat would be carpet. Your yeah, toilet no. lid was just carpeted. Lid, the seat. It yeah. was like extra work for something that provides zero utility. I guess it just makes it comfortable if you feel like using your butt, like your, your toilet as a 
just a seat. I think that was the idea, down. right? It's like it's more comfortable to sit on. It's like, yeah, oh, no, I, guess. I think just to like visually look at. I well, guess, no, I think it's that too because they they on. would add like there was all kinds of different ones that would be softer as well to sit on. But it's just like you just not many people. F I've sat on a toilet yeah, not to poop before, but it just doesn't happen very often, if ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just. Mm. That is the seventies. They want to cover everything with a weird fur and shag. Yeah, car. Like, have you guys seen Barbarella? I feel like I might have, but I'm really gonna say no. Ago, it's from 1968. She had a her spaceship. The in, inside of her spaceship, it was all furry. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that is a film. Wait, so is that right bathroom there. off of a bar? That that toilet's off a bathroom. I'm yeah, assuming, like, yeah, you have the master, master bedroom. Yes. Yeah, because that, that makes more sense bath. if it doesn't yes. have a sink. That makes more sense if it's attached to a bathroom. Yes, yes it is attached to the master bath, which is like a well, very so, big so, bath. So the complaint that you made was that you put your hand on the handle uh -huh. before you wash your hands. Mm -hmm. The same applies here. You said nope. that's cool, but you said... Nope. You said that makes more sense. No, no, no. So if this is a bathroom, then you open the door to the toilet room and you leave the door open because you're in the bathroom, which is closed. Yeah. Yeah. Except also, when you, you don't to have to turn door, this handle. Why would you, you close just the door? Hit it with your elbow. Because you close the door when you poo. Oh, you no, know, it's, no, you don't understand. If it's off the bathroom, which is closed, then you don't need to close the toilet door. It's like a cubicle that you leave the door open at that point. Why? Why does the door exist in your? Why do you think it exists? Because okay. after you so go, once you you're done, you can close it. Extension. I mean, it's just yeah, uh, it's just a small benefit of keeping the smell in there if there is one. Or I mean, as yeah, you said, maybe if, like if you have a, a room, if the honey, if the wife needs to yeah, use but there's the no bathroom. sink at that point. There is a sink in the bathroom that is next to the to the toilet. You got to open set of two doors at least to do that. We've already been over this. Unless Stop. The bath why the bathroom door is open. No, you, you keep in your out. scenario. The, you keep closing it. Stop closing it. The door it. open exists whether you want to use it or not. Yeah. Well, so the problem is that in in this in the picture of this bathroom, if you leave just the toilet door open, you can still close the outer bathroom but door. I, I've said that like three in times. Why am I not being listened to? <laughs> no, it's no, being clear that this is legitimately the most scatological oriented EFAP nice. that we've ever done. In the scenario, in the Australian scenario, if you leave your your door open, you've left your door open to the entire house. When yeah, you're this is off shit. the bathroom. That's different. Yes, it's off okay. the master bath. Excellent. Anyway, no, back to the right. <laughs> Maybe you're just wrong on this one. I think Clean cringe. Like, I mean, you got it. I mean, whether right or wrong, that is the nature of bathrooms and toilets in many houses. We've acknowledged that. We believe you. It's weird as fuck. Put a sink in your toilets. Yes, God damn it. <laughs> it is very bizarre. So let's carry on with Fleen cringe. Oh, well, so yeah, what I wanted to say was that there was no vindictive thing here. Like, Jay knew exactly what Hassan was doing. He just said it didn't work. It was a very good joke. Right. That's it. And he's just like, why so bad? Necessary. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Why would you pay for a second toilet installation? The house is full of loads of boxes. Having that many boxes just means they could be a streamer, to be honest. Honestly, I really don't know what he means by this nah, one. I don't I either. This is the first do streamers yeah. have lots let's, of boxes? Yeah, let's stop there, because I think that's a perfectly reasonable question. I know the answer, and so does our relevant, but plenty of people will not know what you mean by that. There's loads of boxes. Oh, like they get a has. lot of gifts? Like, get a lot of sponsorship items? I think that's a fair... That's pretty much it. Uh, our relevant answers by saying it's P.O. Box stuff. But, you know, same thing, really. So, so they... I guess they just leave... It's like a tower of... Joy's past receiving these new items where they don't put away their boxes. They don't throw the boxes away. Apparently, yeah. yeah. So that's why he said it's stream house. Which Jay is odd, yeah. doesn't get the reference. But um, oh, maybe Hassan receives so much mail from fans that he doesn't care about, so he just leaves in the box. Oh, their boxes, boxes are boxes. full. They're not empty boxes. <laughs> yeah, they're not even empty. He's just like, eh, I don't care about my fans. Um, yeah, fuck it. I don't can I just say from... before we play the the next bit? You guys think it's reasonable for someone to not know what that means, right? I, I didn't know, know what, what that means. means. Okay, so I th yeah, I think you'd say it's reasonable then. All right, <laughs> let's uh, okay. let's see how our relevant reacts to that. 
First P.O. Box, simple. It's incredibly simple. In multiple of his other fucking shit, you can see a million boxes behind him for P.O. Boxes. I'm assuming. All right, that's where I see a lot of streamers getting their P.O. Boxes. But who really cares? It's not about whether or not you get the joke. It's not about whether or not the jokes are good. The question is whether or not he makes the So he can't even question the joke? So, literally, this section is about Jay just assessing the quality of the reaction. All Jay says here is, I think this is a joke, but I don't get it. Mm -hmm. And our relevant is pissed at him. I don't know why. He just seems very, you know... How mad. dare you question Hassan kind of energy. It's very strange. Very strange. Uh, perfectly very reasonable bad. question from Jay. And Jay didn't even use this as, as a criticism. He's just saying he don't get it. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, Jay's kind of saying, like, he doesn't Hassan doesn't comment, and then when he does comment, it's either not funny or it doesn't make sense. Well, and to Arbella be fair, is basically saying like, well, at least he's commenting now, finally, even if it doesn't make sense. I think I actually play what Jay says. Here. I don't know. Maybe this is one example of the video or whatever. He's gonna be like really shitty about it, but instance where I feel that I'm just missing the reference. Like, I think it's pretty clear that he's making some kind of joke here. I oh just my don't God. get yeah. it. Now, I think by this point, you probably are no. Do you see that? He's like, There's oh, he's gonna urinal. use, he's gonna be a dick about it, he's gonna use it. Jade literally just says, pretty sure it's a joke, I don't get it, moving on. And our relevant didn't mm -hmm. say anything about that. He's just like, alright. Like, you were fucking wrong, but okay. That's fine, we'll just move on. I understand the nature of Hassan's commentary. What the it's fuck?! You got a urinal next to a- This is gonna be the one time I say something that sounds a bit, probably, petty of this person. Uh-oh. Uh, can we- Jade does look like an elf. It is. Oh, he, yeah. it, he looks. He yeah. does look like a bit of a Christmas elf. He reminds me of uh, Herbie, the dentist, in a, oh, in a yeah. way. He's, yeah, I see. He's, he does look. He does not look. This is not Jay's most intimidating. Uh, and Jay is often <laughs> very intimidating. <laughs> yes, generally Jay is shockingly intim intim intimidatory. Mm -hmm. I can't, I've lost the ability Tim to speak. Dramatic. That's how intimidated you are. Just yeah. the thought of it shook you up. Thinking about him makes. Oof. But here, he is not at his most intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> we stop with this purple lighting shit. It's really fucking annoying. I it's it's really cringe. Purple lighting. I'm, I I'm not necessarily against it. I'm neutral on it. It's more the application. It. Mm -hmm. It's way better than whatever the fuck you've got going, which is just whatever I had behind me. Incidentally, no lighting, just my lamp from my desk. Yeah, on an empty set of walls and a half in a barely opened in a closet, closet door, yeah. on this just joyless existence that is your room. <laughs> I, I don't, it's, yeah, it's it's like you you you've got this little alcove in the back room that's you just if, yours now. I guess you know if you like, so you just to describe Jay's set, if you will, uh, you you'd have to point out things that Jay has chosen to do. You describe our relevance and our relevant would be like, it's just my room, man. And you'd be like, I right. know. That's, that's a good point. Yeah, well no, but that, that's my point is that he's not tried anything anyway. <laughs> like, right. so, it, it, it makes perfect you, you have a our relevance defending low effort streams and he's exactly. got a low effort room and a low effort backdrop. Like, you can't put a green curtain back there so that it could be any set you want nope. or just maybe you put you buy something to put on the wall or a if I was going to stream and use a camera to look at me as I type away and play my games and whatnot, I'd be aware of what is behind me that the, that will be 60 percent of that camera's vision constantly. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I would probably move the alignment of my computer and my desk or I would get a green screen to put just behind me that I can set up and take away whenever I'm not streaming that or something. It yeah. wouldn't be just uh. I don't have much to say on the, the paper line. I think the only thing is like uh I would prefer it if it were less if it were is it the the contrast too high? Is that my issue? I'm trying to figure it out myself. I think, yeah, I think contrast you're using the right word, yeah. Because um if it were yeah. moodier, if that's I'm struggling here to find the right word. Needs to be diffused a little bit. That Maybe that could be it. Yeah. Like, Just, are you saying that you think the lighting what in the in Jay's room is? Well, so this is effect. totally a preference, right? But if it were um, less harsh, so, so maybe that helps. Uh, I, Some nice silks on those lights. I think that it would probably. I think I'd just bump up the saturation a bit, emphasize the colors a bit more. I think it's a little too bump bright. Bump it up even more. That would. That I, would do the opposite, I, wouldn't it? 
Well, that's what I'm saying. I think it would be better to bump up the saturation. Huh. I think that the colors are a little too muted because of the, the lightness. It kind of, uh, I, I think that uh, if you bumped up the saturation, it would make them uh, a bit, yeah, a bit more. The contrast would be sharper, I think. Um, and maybe, yeah, maybe diffusion as well. Well, either way, I don't mind, and I've never minded really. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. If anything, I just appreciate people trying to make their video look like something instead of just going, eh. Instead of just like, ah, eh, fuck it, whatever's behind me, void. behind me. I've, I'm locked into this. I can't possibly do anything about anything behind me. It's just, <laughs> this is my life now, and if it's there, it's there. And, uh, well, this is the hand that I've been dealt through fate, and dare oh. I rebel against God's, you know, plan for me. <laughs> I'm doing fine. I am incredibly lucky to be able to work YouTube as my job. I like I it. I just don't well, The know. reason Wait, everybody sorry. does oh, it. No. Is... I've just discovered. So now I realize what, for, for whatever reason, because I've got the stream pulled up on my two monitors. The main monitor, I think that it's fine as it is. But on the other monitor, it looks a lot brighter. Do you have like oh, a blue light okay. filter on or something? I I think that this is something I should have sorted of, because I'm pretty sure that this is uh I'm pretty sure all three of my monitors have different uh different um color like different mm -hmm. um balance. I'm pr I remember I learned how to sync them all up. I should do that. Also, that's that's Unless, fair. Someone in chat said, "What about high top then?" And it's like, well, the thing about high top compared to Jay at least is that I imagine Jay has tried like a multiple different things just to see what's working and what can add to the video. High top seems to only have one track for a. I must clash two colors. Um, yeah, that's all. That that is my one trick. And mm -hmm. yeah, uh, uh, but at the same time, I do appreciate that high top tries stuff. Some. I just you know. It's pretty just funny. Don't like him. Oh, Zack funny. Snyder puts so much effort into his stuff. I'm sure of it. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, into the visuals at least. It, I, I, I'm sure he. I'm sure he puts effort into the script. His effort, if you know what I mean. Does he though? Well, I, I, you know. I mean, you know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> because a bunch of people like it. I just want people to get over it. What it's... are these faces flying around? This one, I guess people post them. They're funny memes. Yeah. I, I find, like how I they find get it like... obtrusive, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, they like whenever around. someone in chat makes an emoji, it flies around the screen? I think so, yeah. I think that's how it works. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, oh, why would you well, ever have rags. that enabled? They've got it so that if ever a donation comes in, a fucking robot reads it out yeah. over whatever's <laughs> happening. Like, I can't stand that shit. When, when like, someone's in the middle of making a really good point, then it just goes, ha, 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 thank you, streamer, for... It's just like, shut the fuck up! What are you doing? Shut the fuck up! I what did what the... And, like, they deliberately try and make it so that the robot says stupid shit. And it's just like, yeah. ugh. But I suppose that doesn't Meanwhile, matter if you're not saying shit all, you know? Why have what... Saying gets the images in the way of that little frog sitting there in the back, just chilling out. You know, it's, yeah. it's not good. Look at that frog. I'd watch a sitcom about him. Shit, yeah. it's really fucking annoying. I, it's, it's a really cringe. You have I'm emojis flying around your screen. Shut the fuck up. Him. But rags, everyone does it, so it's not cringe. That's how it works. Oh, they can go to their little cringe parties together. <laughs> They could talk to each other about all the cringe that they did that week, and they could compare cringe meters or whatever they do at those parties. Cringe I don't know. I'm not cringe, so I wouldn't understand. <laughs> Fine. I am incredibly lucky to be able to work YouTube as my job. I like I it. I just don't well, The know. reason everybody does credit, it is Jay. because a bunch of people like it. I just want people to that get over it, because it's fucking annoying. What? 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 <laughs> I don't even. He likes it, Shut but it's annoying. Shut fuck up! You have emojis flying around your screen. He I don't out, care what you have to say. He read out from chat that someone, someone in his chat said I like it, and then his response was, "That's why they do it," and I want him to stop because it's annoying. It's like, wait, are you saying that they do it because they like it, or they do it because everyone else likes it? And why aren't those two arguments pretty good for why Jay should do it? He's just like, because it's annoying. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. all right then. To see everybody do like pink and fucking purple lighting. It's like, bro. Oh god, you don't have a leg to stand on, man. I'm sorry. Your lighting is pathetic. Your, mm -hmm. your lighting is awful. You're just, you're just, it's, your lighting is what we call incidental.
Yes. <laughs> it's whatever you had, that's what you have now. It just oh, that just not... happens to be your lighting. Yeah. Not fucking recreating Shakespeare. Can I <laughs> yes, Shakespeare for known Shakespeare for his lighting hard for this dramatic Shakespeare was blue. an <laughs> of lighting. <laughs> Purple and pink lighting, you know, that's Shakespeare. Why the fuck would you, you say Shakespeare? You say Shakespeare. <laughs> that's what my mind goes to. I, I do like that Shakespeare known for his lighting. command of the color spectrum. Shakespeare. Come on. Man. Shakespeare, the, 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 the bisexual lighting vlogger Shakespeare. <laughs> that's what everyone knew him as. Like, why would you say that? Oh, people are saying F? Oh, no. Oh, right, I can see it. Yeah, yeah we're good. Everyone says it's back. All give, right. it, give it the old refresh. Hopefully it doesn't there go down. Go. Luckily, with me recording every episode as we stream them, it will be safe, no matter what. Wow. Nice. Right. Wow. Wow. Can I just watch a video? Well, he turns it up before. <laughs> you, you know what? You <laughs> can. <laughs> you could have just watched it. But like, you chose to comment about his Shakespeare lighting. <laughs> it's just oh, so these colors. Can I just watch a video? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't say any of that stuff. Growth industry? That's everything I have for you today. This has just been a very small project on the side as I work on something much bigger. My <laughs> he's can get, break he's down such a rush to click off. He's yeah, six, like he six, was six, in the six, middle of eating and he's like, he's like oh, someone's promoting their content that I stole. Better end that. Take care mm -hmm. of that right now. I guarantee <laughs> you the thought going through his head was Jay trying to clout chase. Fuck you. Wow. <laughs> it was. How I, dare I, I, he come onto video. my stream and promote his video? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna 12. add you into the call. Yeah, I mean, he wants to be in. Um, wow, good job he did that. This is. <laughs> that was kind of Sigma, dude. That was kind of Sigma. Kind <laughs> of Sigma to was... panic and then click off. Of I was the gonna video. say that is that is cucky as hell. What do you mean? It's the opposite. Sigma yeah. bow grind set while you're eating, panic and turn off someone else's video so that they can't promote themselves. How is it not the Sigma choice to be like, that video fucking rocked, this is the channel, go check it out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. No, the Sigma choice is, oh, oh, he's promoted. Oh, oh, I might lose my subscribers to him. <laughs> so, yes, that, that was the Sigma move, all right. A bit Sigma, dude. <laughs> Very Sigma. My point here isn't that I desperately want Hassan to shout me out. I don't need that. I don't want that. I am fine. The point is that this is his attitude when making reaction content, and he could end up doing this to anyone. The point of this video isn't like a petition to get me the recognition I deserve for my joke about how they're- Poor Jay putting in all these caveats. You're gonna get accused of this anyway. Oh, Sorry, yeah. dude. Oh. There are two Jay's toilets next the... to each other. Oh, the point of this hard. video is- what, what does this person have to say about clip channels of Hassan that are currently up that Hassan allows to exist? That's up to that Hassan. Is, Matt, it's up to is Hassan. non sequitur. Wow. Yeah, like, and I'm you know what? Yes, that's the same non sequitur. It's, it's unfortunate, totally not relevant. Um, but you can see how far our relevant is into the video. Unfortunate that Jay hasn't mentioned the perspective on that yet. Um, it would be cool mm -hmm. if Jay had. Obviously, you know, maybe Jay will in future, but- if not, Jay can respond to this and give 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 his perspective because clearly, Jay has not commented on that reality. Of course not. Money. Hey, you Did he just say that Asan is just being a good guy? What about a bunch of the, the streamers that allow this to happen? Is this just whatever? If a part no, but th that's an insane argument. So it's it, like if if I let someone steal my content, that doesn't mean I get to steal some other person's content. Or they if, have any decision in that if someone's process. stealing mine, then they're like, "So I can steal Sitch's too, right?" Because you're okay with it, more. Yeah, they're like, "That's insane." Wait, what? <laughs> like that's, uh, anyway, you speak for the streamers. Um, yes. Some some weird thing has happened in the video. I guess I'm playing a clip from Jay's video from a while ago. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh, hmm. oh, oh boy. Oh, what is this? If your work why, why relies you on you uploading minutes? other people's content, then you better make sure that's not... Oh, wow, yeah, I put a double I in there. I what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> mean oh, it's... No. <laughs> you know what? No, it's a reference to the pause, Rags. It's a pause symbol now. Yeah, I was about to say, did you think oh. in your mind that it was pause in every frame of pause? Oh, yes. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. I'm an auteur. Mm. I'm Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> You're Shakespeare. Uh, you were no, no. You were referencing the double toilets. Oh yes. The Is this just toilets. whatever. If a part of your work You're referencing on the, the twin towers. Content, then you better make sure that's not all you're doing, 
Otherwise, you're just re-uploading other people's content. Uh -huh. It's fine to do that if you have permission. Oh, oh no. It's okay to do that if you have permission. Oh, no. Oh, that was a while yes. ago, Irrelevant. Looks like you missed it. If only Jay had repeated himself. Maybe that would have made the video better. I don't know. Or, I don't know. Yeah, or if you were listening the first time. Board. But it's not if you don't have the property. Now, that urinal in a <laughs> residential bathroom is a... <laughs> I still find that priceless, the J8 cardboard pizza. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that's how he gets his fiber. Strange decision. So it's a it's a house that <laughs> that pizza isn't even pizza. That shit is leather. Why the fuck did he take leather. a leather shit looking that like a shit boot? Is what? So, you see that? So it's leather, but also it's funny. <laughs> he doesn't understand. It's he's it's he's so baffled strange. by Jay's choice to eat a leather pizza. <laughs> He thinks that's oh. leather. He <laughs> thinks that it's like the dried and tanned skin of an animal. Yes, you know, someone can eat leather. You know, that's real easy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I often go to the the freezer <laughs> aisle of the grocery store pizza. where they have the leather wrapped pizzas. Leather, <laughs> leather pizza. <laughs> How that's how you. Eat? Now that's a flex. Is buying that's a leather fucking wrapped Sigma, pizza. dude. Right there. <laughs> e eating the cardboard pizza because. Fuck it. Nutrition is nutrition. <laughs> Shit had to eat that fucking bitch like it was like uh, some leathery ass fucking meat. Like, ah, like dude, what? That's what funny. Is that, bro? It's a joke. You'll it's be okay. Joke, You'll make it. <laughs> yeah. It's like nine years old. It's fucking bread. It's like crust is like fucking fused together like cement. That is not what it looks like to chew cement. <laughs> but like, that's fine. Also, okay. like, cement doesn't fuse together, it just it dries. It's already fused. It's all gooey. In a sense, yeah. I'm it not is the gooey, biggest Hassan but really fan, gooey. but I feel a lot of streamers just watch random videos to react to while they eat, so I don't feel like it's that bad that he does this. Everyone's doing it, so it's okay! Um, I, I think- Well, like, legitimately, I, I think this is a problem that this person has. If I am a streamer- His consistency And is I a go problem. to eat, do I just end my stream? Yes! Oh my fucking god! That is an option! Yes, that is an option. Mm -hmm. You can put up a BRB screen, you got a lot of yeah. options. The problem, honestly, at this point, listening to this bullshit, is like, I have to steal from people. I have no choice. It's like, what's the worst thing that happens? Like, I lose some viewers. Like, then lose them. Oh. But you know that at most jobs, they don't pay you for your lunch break? You clock out, go to lunch, and then you clock back in when you're done? Well, that doesn't but make any do, sense. Do these people not, like, eat and have conversations with people? Like, oh, a normal human being? Like, don't you worry, can Fitch. You can eat and He'll watch a video, that. and then swallow your food, and pause a video, and then give a comment. No, your you're screen. wrong, and he's gonna explain no? to you why you're wrong. Oh, okay. Get what do I do? Fucking program. I'm so sorry. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Pause. Just end my no, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me. He's got enough creative sort of thinking to solve this problem. He he sees the only option is end stream. So luckily for us, his chat start to suggest some options. I stream, okay. or could I just not? What is the, by the way? What is the um? What's that icon in his top left? Like the person and the zero. So I've not quite figured it out. But the fact that he's called R relevant, I think his name is Rally. Um, and so that's like that, but. Are relevant, irrelevant, and then zero view count would be irrelevant, and that symbol looks like a person, and then zero, so zero view count. Oh. I think that's oh. the idea. Okay. I don't know though. That's interesting branding. Yeah, that's interesting because it, yeah, it's confused because I think, oh, is that like your viewer count right now? Are you, <laughs> are you, are you? Do you need help? And then we get an are average of five hundred people watching him. Oh, that's depressing. That's even more depressing than having nobody watch him. Well, I, I, I can't answer the question of why they would wow, do it, but Max hey. is so egotistical. 500 is less than zero. Ugh. Ugh. No. Well, I think he means that it would be embarrassing to know 500 people are watching this stream. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, Everyone's yeah. gotta start somewhere. Come on, we can't all be like... Five hours a day. Pause the video and do what? Just sit there and eat? Yeah. Or, yeah, yes, like, I, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like thinking you, like, wait, what's the counter to this? Fuck. Uh, like, I gotta figure it out. While you're eating, say, hey guys, I've been streaming a while. I'm going to grab a bite to eat. I'll be back in 10. Here is, uh, you know, 
maybe you could use this time to grab a bite to eat and use the loo as well. So and we're going to have a gay old time. It's just like, yeah, you can eat. You I go. like the idea that um, you go to like a stage play and they're like, all right, intermission, they just put on a video. <laughs> 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 no, they put on a video of another play. Oh, dude. But yeah, the... play, dude. yeah. Yeah, like intermission, like Lord of the Rings, like halfway through, they're like, we're just going to start up the Matrix. Uh, we'll play that <laughs> while everyone's like going to the toilet. <laughs> we don't want to lose any viewers. Cook stream? I think everybody's got the fucking 4K super soaker lens inside of your fucking... Like, if it's good enough for your face, it's not good enough for your kitchen. So apparently you, you need a 4K super soaker lens in order to do a cooking stream. Yeah, I know Tonal just set the bar shockingly high, but you <laughs> don't did. have to ascend there quite yet. No, uh, I've seen people with laptops do cooking streams, so I don't know why yeah. we're trying to imply this, but okay, that's fine. If the webcam is good enough for your face, it's not good enough for your kitchen? Nope. Uh, uh their, their kitchen? Eat and chat? Usually you're not doing much chatting when you're eating. Ah, what? get wrecked, Sitch. What? <laughs> I see, does he, does, I don't know, like, when I was in school and I go to the lunchroom, we didn't just, like, eat silently and stare at each other. Like, yeah, well, he's, 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 signs along the walls. He's totally full of shit. Everyone knows this. What you do is, say you got a sandwich, take a bite, eat, eat, like, eat, read some chat while you're eating, and then yeah. you respond to one of them, one take of another the bite, eat, eat, eat. The you do is go out and eat with people. Exactly, so, it's one of the most social yeah, you, things you can do. You know when you go into a restaurant and it's deafeningly silent? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's the exact opposite. It's super loud. I always loud. complain about how quiet uh, restaurants it's, are. I can't believe I need to explain it, but it's like, so the idea is you eat while you're absorbing the conversation on the other side, and then when you swallow, you then talk your part while they eat. Yeah. That's like how they did it back in the day. <laughs> like, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> what are these terrible excuses? Like, come on. Your mouth is often preoccupied by eating. <laughs> So if he really does run on a model of I will just repost your content and if you don't like it you have to reach out to me to tell me to stop, which like yeah, he does. Then there being no way. Wait, there's there's like nothing wrong with assuming that everybody's content is fair game for reaction. Ah, uh, you careful. have to actually react to it. Yeah, I was gonna say you yeah. you've, you've altered it. It's free reign to just steal. That is not the case, and you shouldn't assume yeah. that. But nice. I mean, it specifically property says in fair use that you don't need their permission. Like, we on EFAP do not need anyone's permission to react to their video if it's on YouTube. That's just mm -hmm. reality. But if we were like, we're going to take a break and play someone's video in full, we'd be like, yeah, you bet your ass I'm getting their permission for that. Well, I mean, I think technically you don't, like, legally, you no, could you react it's to ethically. a movie. Right, but I'm saying legally, you, you know, you guys could react to a movie the same way. It's just yes. because of YouTube, the hassle wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, the hassle makes it. We'd have an to issue. pause at least every five seconds to do something like that. Yeah, it'd be really annoying. Right. Well, I don't think that it should be the job of creators to keep an eye on. Are every we looping? Twi yeah, this person's actually really shit at making content that's focused specifically wow. on a topic. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Good job, wow. You were in a position to say Jeez. such things. <laughs> yeah. oh, man. That's a thing I heard today. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, his cover's been great so far. Top notch. Oh, oh my god. You're gonna fucking audience. bust Jay's balls because of this? Hey, Fuck Jay's me. looping. When, Jay's made the same point several out, times. Points Jay that are relevant hasn't even picked up. Jay's been repeating them. It needs to repeat more so that our relevant can catch up. You're yeah. right. Uh, were you gonna say something, Free? Uh, no, it's it's. Can't believe that. <laughs> yeah. What a dick. Unbelievable. But there we are. Topic. And this isn't just one isolated comment. A depressing number of people seem to not. What was that? <laughs> is, is this just a I hate Hassan Hard? video? Uh, this is- So, no. 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 It, it really isn't. Makes Jay a lot is of points. being what? shockingly Why is it so hard? Dude, Why is it so hard for people to appreciate that you can spin off something that happened to you specifically, or like an interpersonal thing, into a broader conversation about a broader topic? Why is that it's so hard? Like, to, well, it's like, well, it's always this, it's framed through the lens of like, well, it's clout, right? It's about Hassan. It's like, it's not, not really. Like, that's just the launching pad for a bigger conversation about well, React content in general.
there, how relevant is not engaging with this in any good faith level. He's just no, looking for ways to, to attack Jay is illegitimate in this. He's bored and he thinks that the points have been repeated. But if you watched it, I almost it feels so condescending. But it's like, can I watch the video with you, R relevant? And I can point to you how the topic is changing and how it's structured. Because like mm. you <laughs> apparently couldn't tell. But like Jay sets up everything, explains it, and then concludes. And one of the biggest things Jay's goal is in the video is to make sure no one misunderstands. And look what's happening. Because you're not watching it. You're just going... Uh, <laughs> uh, mm. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> make sure to throw those in, of course. Does it little say the same thing a hundred different uh, times a hundred different ways video? It's a problem with long man YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of long fucking man. books. What? <laughs> it reminds what? me of fucking books. Those goddamn you know, books. Those goddamn books saying the same Fuck thing a hundred different books. times a hundred different ways. <laughs> books. You know what Shakespeare was known for? Highly contrasting can I, pink colors. Can I, can I just say, they've they've seeded the ground of books to the long bed. Thank you. We get books. Dang. Books belong to long men now. <laughs> Art of War, super short. Of Mice and Men, super short. <laughs> Wait, doesn't doesn't he stream for like hours at a time? <laughs> you know, you know, the Art at of least War, that's, not a, a, that's a pretty long book. book that says the same thing <laughs> in many Jeez. It's... Books are long, apparently, just as a universal thing. Books are long. <laughs> they are long. And they say the same thing a hundred different ways a hundred different times. I mean, have you read Goodnight Moon? They say goodnight a lot. Now, can book. I just, look, the, the Hall of <laughs> Fame for EFAB quotes, they're missing a few updates, okay? But can this one please get in there? <laughs> like, this is one of the best <laughs> quotes we've come across. It's great. <laughs> this, this fucking meandering video making the same point over and over reminds me of books. <laughs> you know, books this is never a little... say anything different. You say read one, you read them all. It's just words. Hundred different uh, times, a hundred different ways. Video. It's a problem with long man YouTube videos. Yeah, it reminds me of fucking books. <laughs> uh, maybe you can't read make nine thousand examples, so I can fill the next hundred pages with this. And then we'll move on to the what next. What books are you reading? What the fuck? What books are you reading? Also, he, like, you know what? Multiple examples? Multiple examples are sometimes called for when you're trying to illustrate a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe not a hundred, but, you know. I, I think you're right, Rags. I think he stopped at one fish, two fish, and he's like, oh, I get it. Yeah, he's like, this bullshit, I saw this one a mile away. Yeah. Don't waste my time. Come on, Dr. I also like the, this. Me. I will say, it is fascinating the disdain in his voice when he's like, it reminds me of fucking books. It's like, Ugh, what books? What do, Fuck what do books, books do, do to you? Like, you know what books. I hate? Those goddamn books. Books. With oh, their pages words. and their it's words. Text. It's just, you totally expect lines, this. To... Like a bunch of fucking soldiers all Fonts? smug and shit. Oh my God. You'd expect it to turn up in a parody, wouldn't you? But it's it's a real yeah. thing he said. <laughs> Books are cool, guys. Don't don't be dissing books. Don't let, One don't, year for don't Christmas, he books. wanted an Xbox, and he got a book instead, and he's been bitter ever since. Those goddamn <laughs> books. If it wasn't for books, he would have gotten an Xbox. I always knew those books were up to something. <laughs> I like the idea that the books are plotting They're in their little underground lair. Books yeah, are plotting. Take over. They have lots of They are plotting, them. you're right. That's yeah, they have lots of true. <laughs> Next topic. It's incredibly unlikely that some large streamer reacting to your video, especially if you're a smaller content creator, is going to result in a net negative for your channel. It is It doesn't matter. It is it is it is, it is irrelevant. Oh, it is nice. entirely irrelevant to the point. I'm sorry. And it doesn't exactly. matter it's not hard. Anything. It's not hard to theorize. The people who saw the video through the streamer are now not gonna watch it on YouTube because they've seen it already. Simple. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. Because we saw the bump, it was actually negligible, because... Nothing, oh, yeah. Fringy. The, the... Oh, oh, why would you bring... It's so funny, because that's just a trap that, that Jay set by that. accident. Jay sets a lot of traps by accident, because Jay's so honest, that it'll just be like, yeah, so this is the bump I got, uh, why why did this happen? And then, no, so people take that, because our relevant does, so did Hassan, and they show it, and they're like, ha, see? You got a bump. It's like, you didn't look at the numbers, did you? You just looked at the bump. Yeah. You didn't look at the numbers. It's a very tiny bump. 
yeah, it, it goes from getting an average of like 30 per hour to one hour it gets 200 and then it's back to 30 or something like that. Right. Oh, my father has responded to my text messages. Oh my. No, we don't so... need to re-table this conversation, right? <laughs> That's right. I want to know the details of the toilet. So I, I've, I've asked them, have you ever seen a bathroom that is literally just a toilet? Is that a thing in the US? He said, yes, I've seen it. Not in a house, but commercial. Pre-plumbing code, of course. Ah. So is there something that changed the plumbing code to where... Okay. There is a lot of rules for... Yo, know, like, if we... Well, if I'm we sure there are. I don't know them, though. Pictures, you have no clue. Just, just on... Even if we aren't talking about pipes, but in... You have to have measurements from the... Okay, so... It's it's this there's it's like this goddamn cri the, the goddamn books. It's those fucking cripples, man. You have to have all of these measurements from the bottom of the sink to the floor, to the top of the to the bottom of the mirror to the floor, to the distance between railings and the corners of walls, distances between everything. The amount of when when you go into a, a warehouse or a building to measure it to see if it's up to code. You hit a speed bump at every bathroom because you have so many things to measure in a bathroom to make sure it's up to code. It is it's bonkers how many I think things have to good be good because we need everybody to have a pleasant pooping experience. That's what I Yes, right. that is true. They, well, that, these are so all mean. there for a reason. These are not arbitrary measurements. These are to ensure that people who are like in wheelchairs and something don't hit the pipes or anything mm -hmm. underneath the sinks and that it's low enough for them to use the mirrors. And this is, oh. it's all there for a Maybe reason. they should have thought of that, Rags, before they got crippled, okay? <laughs> for instance, there is a crippled. difference between ramps and slopes. Slopes are underneath a 5% incline, and a ramp is above a... Well, I'm wow. something new every oh. day. Nice, and and if, yeah. if it is a ramp, you need a railing. If it's a slope, you don't. So what's the magic number? 4.9, baby. Nice. All right. Even if we assume that a lot, or even in the event that a lot of these people don't end up like going over to your channel, you get streams exactly like what is happening right now. This would have never happened. This video right now, this stream would have yes. never happened. This never would have happened if Jay hadn't complained. That's like that's like saying if someone punches you in the face and you have to go to the hospital, so you sue you know, them for damages, and they're like, "What fucking happened? If those goddamn Polish would have just stopped bitching up about getting invaded, nobody would have had an issue. But all oh, they just had to go and whine about it, and then everyone else got involved, and ah, oh, the world's never been the same since." Well, so he's saying Jay has benefited as a result of Hassan watching the video, but he's missed the key component that that only happened because Jay complained about Hassan's coverage being well, so, and yet and yet he is bemoaning Jay for complaining. Yes. Yeah. Jay took someone wronging him and he turned it into content and he's like, oh, well, you never would have had this content if this person didn't wrong you in the first place. That's not an, it's not an excuse for the person doing something unethical. Absolute insanity that he thinks this is a point, but there you go. And he only sees everything through clout, unfortunately. Um, there is no ethic proportion to this. It's just, it's just how, how do you gain? Is there any way to gain? And that's going to come up really interesting in, in an interesting way very soon. If Hassan wasn't the main, like, uh, top of discussion on it, right? And... I, it, the, I like, by the way, that the implication here is that our relevance coverage of Jay is beneficial to Jay. It's like, all you've done oh, is yes, shit all over is him. very beneficial. But no, all publicity is good publicity. It's not like it's, yeah, okay. it sucks. <laughs> so is this good coverage for our relevant that we're doing right now? Oh yeah, we're helping yeah. him. We're helping him. Yep. Well, I, I don't know, there was this well, weird one-dimensional perspective on clout. Like, the idea that any coverage is good. I don't know why anybody would have... That is... Nope, All publicity nope, is nope. good publicity is stupid. It's just dumb. That's not true. Which is, it specifically depends on your definition of, well, I guess... If pub good publicity like, is being good. known, sure. But I yeah. mean, if you're known for bad things, that's not nice. Yeah, why would you want that? If you have the choice of being known for a horrible thing or not being known, why would you choose exactly. to be known for a horrible thing? It's like, Yeah. Yeah. 
That's the word of mouth, the recognition of this person as a character that exists. <laughs> the recognition of this person as a character that exists. Wow. What, was that? what? What's that even right mean? Then? It, 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 I think he's actually appealing to the fact that some people have the name JXC in their head now where they didn't, and that alone is a huge benefit. Think about it. Think of all the benefits you get from that. He's calling him a character, like Hassan is the protagonist is in an anime, and Jay is some secondary character. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> like, he's just been introduced. It's the JXC arc. Yeah, the JXC is the antagonist to Hassan's anime. <laughs> and remembering oh it's that guy yeah that guy i remember that guy what the fuck is the benefit of this what are you talking yeah, about i remember that guy he made a really bad video in my opinion because i agree with hassan i'm not gonna click on that oh yes there is a greater utility to that then i've never heard of them before i'm gonna give them a chance like come on man yeah, you're you're ruining a lot of people's reputations before you know anything about them. And a lot of people go off of that. Oh, I heard mm -hmm. about such and such. This one time, this one person said they were no good, so fuck them. Also, um, someone said Maul is so naive he doesn't know what lengths people will go to to be known. So if you're referring to some of the weird scum of society, then yeah, <laughs> you, you can goddamn bet that I'm not agreeing with our relevant on that one. That that was a good choice to get publicity because it's it doesn't matter if it's bad. Like you would, s no, I don't. I don't tend to agree with those people. I think what they're doing yeah. is insane. Um, doesn't mean they don't exist, of course, but they're insane. And yeah, you can bet that Jay wouldn't be compelled by that argument. Neither will we be. And shit can go a long way. What's the fucking saying? No, all press is. Good oh, he said the thing. He said it. the thing. He said the thing. Well, there you go. Yeah. If I agree that you can true, you're just react to I mean, yeah, why, why is defamation even a concept? It's all good for you, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. why are you so upset? Jeez. Remember what do you mean Hassan... claim damages? What do you Dude, mean the... damages? There is no such thing as damages stemming from bad publicity. Dude, the fucking judge is like, just fucking clout fob, jeez. Can <laughs> 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 you bring the defamation case to go? He's like, what's the problem? You got eyes Wait, on your chat, all right? I mean... What's, the what's person who defamed you has like a two million Twitter followers. Why the fuck are you even here? <laughs> so stupid. Better or worse, but like the idea that uh, you aren't gaining from this is like obviously like what are you doing? Yeah, so he he believes he's categorizing it as as long as people are talking about you, you are gaining. Simple as that. Man, no principle whatsoever has even occurred. It's pretty bad, no. Well, this is great. All relevant can't complain about you on Twitter now. Cause just say, "Hey, dude." I don't he, know. That would that would, that would require him to be. You could take a. I don't. You take a screenshot of this stream. And be like, "I'm gonna farm some clout today, boys." It's like, okay. <laughs> the, good luck. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. Certainly. It won't bother. This isn't the kind of thing that YouTube All analytics can tell us. So we yeah. just. Impro Reminder, JXL and his buddies got plenty of clout from this. 300k views on oh, their two no. podcasts. So, here <laughs> oh, we are. No. This is about <laughs> to get <laughs> really interesting. <laughs> this regards all so four of us. Us ...talking about this and mostly just the that exclusivity for literally 20 hours. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Man, where's Jay's... Uh, where's where's his icon in those uh, yeah, seems, in those videos? Seems you've made a mistake here, R relevant. Just just mm -hmm. a bit of a mistake. So first video at the top there is um is me rags and fringy with short fat otaku talking about the tomorrow war and what Hassan said about EFAP. So what the fuck does that have to do with Jay at all? And Jay's not in it. The second one yeah. is when Hassan went after Jay, and we had Sitch and Adam on to look at clips of what Hassan said. What does that have to do with Jay? Mm -hmm. The third video is my compilation of all the stupid shit that Hassan has said and done in one stream and a half, I think, that I made because he's an idiot. What does that have to do with Jay? <laughs> so you've just seen someone in chat tell you something and you've taken it as gospel. Someone else did that as well. That's, uh, yeah. Hitler. He's reading Chad's comments. Yeah, but he's taking them to be true. That's the problem. He's not... He, he, he has no yeah. idea what this is. He's just agree. It's like, well, let's play a little bit more, shall we? I don't... I don't know. Like... I believe you. Bro. I don't know. Bro. 
brother. I've had Hassan talk about my clip and not even watch it for 10 seconds. And I've had people come to my channel about it. How many? I promise you. Yeah, wait, that's, that's better, though. If, if someone that's talks actually about more your clip, than what he did yeah, they'll go see it. If you just show it, then they have no desire to go find the source. Well, yeah, because imagine if our relevant on Twitch was, uh, that's not his, his name was like, you know, fucking Blaster330 or something. Nobody in our chat are going to be able to find him. Right. Because no, but they, like... They just have, well, they might be able to with a bit of sleuthing. My point is that uh, there's no way for people to reach Jay. They just know that this person had well, a video. that's true. He didn't even say Jay's name in the original video. Exactly. At least with but, like, us, you if... can actually see his name on screen right now right. throughout the whole thing, so... But like if Hassan said like, oh, I saw this real weird, you know, J video in this house and it was crazy. Like that would draw way more views than Hassan playing the video. If he doesn't link your fucking video and doesn't talk very much about it, that people, it, it, it can benefit you. I promise you that it can happen. Okay. Oh, it can. Right? That, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. Okay. Based on something. Uh complete error on your part. And, um, I feel like I'm gonna have to say it now instead of waiting for when the clip comes up, just so that chat understand. He eventually calls Jay a liar because Jay appeared on the EFAP podcast clout chasing Hassan. <laughs> he, he says Jay lied about how much clout he got and how much money it was made. Mm. Uh, because... if, a, if, a, if a famous, richer person does something wrong to you, then just fucking deal with it, you clout chaser. Just let him roll all over you. Yeah. Fuck you. Well, I would love I thought... him to come into this call and be like, justify those streams then. I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? I can just... I don't have to justify fucking anything. Hassan is a complete idiot. Went after Jay for no reason at all. We commented on it. Jay's a friend of ours. Why do I need any right. more reason? And... You know, our relevant and Hassan are supposed to be part of the political spectrum that says, you know, we're so concerned about the elites and the powerful subjugating those that are underneath them. That's what they say. And he's basically saying, listen, if a if a bigger, more powerful streamer takes advantage of you, you know, just take it on the chin. Yeah, just, yeah. don't be clout chasing. Well, I, I, it might be that he's saying the opposite. He's saying you should be, but don't lie about it. Like, because Jay should be honest that Jay right. squeezed this. Yeah. He'll he'll get to that section. He um, it's funny. Fring, Fring, you're 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 vaguely aware of this. This is the calmest you will see our relevant things begin to turn. Yes. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. He gets a little bit more yeah. animated, shall we say? Um. Regardless of the circumstances, they're just big mad. I'm not saying that anything that they're saying is necessarily wrong. Then uh, shut uh, up. Uh, uh, you definitely well, have I, been you saying. Did. You definitely did. <laughs> you definitely. You, you you just said that. Jay was wrong on, like, a point that Jay didn't even make in terms of, like, relevance or, like, benefit or utility from this. It's just funny to hear him say that. It's like, okay. What I'm saying is it feels like they're hanging on to things and that their motivations are a Hanging bit on to things. Their motivations go. are cringe. Their just, motivations uh, are cringe. Doing that well, motivation dig. I got no arguments, so I'll just talk about their motivation. I hate that shit, man. Mm -hmm. And they're hanging on to points for too long that are really weird. They're addressing things that are really, like, I don't know. It's I guess this is a YouTuber fucking shit. What? Uh, what, like, people yes, don't like to YouTubers. be shamed and lied about and have you, their shit stolen? Yeah. Yes, famously, that is re a reserved attribute of YouTubers. Of YouTube, yeah. Yes. I don't know. It's like, I'm not clout chasing. I, prom I promise I'm not clout. I made no money off of this when we know that's literally a lie. Ah, there it is. So there you go. Uh, and he's referring to the well, EFAP streams, by the way. Well, but I mean, wow. is he referring to the EFAP? Or is he, referring he, to he, Jay? He, he clarifies later that, yeah, because obviously Jay would have made money by now with the video he's watching, but he's talking right. about um, specifically the Jay's initial criticism of Hassan's coverage, which was no money. No, but like, if someone wrongs you and then you take that instead of just whining about it and doing nothing productive and you take the wrong someone wronging you and you produce something of value to yourself with it that should be applauded not criticized and the crazy thing to me is that jay actually has made it very clear his concern isn't even whether or not he did make money 
but that doesn't right. matter. Right, the violation and shittiness of it. Yeah. When you can verify in 30 seconds that they're lying, like RTBA did, they juiced this shit dry. They juiced it, milked it. Look, he literally, he's juicing it so hard, he managed to take a several month old video and just do video 2.0. Let's So let me counter that with he's clearly not juiced it very hard by waiting months before making a video on it. That's the opposite, yeah. That is the opposite. Also, this is a very streamer centric mentality of yep. oh, I can't believe it took him months to put out content. Why is, why doesn't yeah, he just yeah. put his ass in well, front of a fucking webcam in his closet and turn it on? I have no idea what what he's what's going on in the head like like you juice the, the idea of me to like juice a thing is like so stream he would have done multiple streams and videos right and it's like well what did he do in reality jay did one parody stream just doing what hassan did but back to him and then explained very calmly the issues and then said i'm going to be making a video on this with all the relevant clips and citations and stuff uh don't know when it'll be out and then months later made it that is juicing it doesn't yeah. seem that bad really it seems pretty normal to be honest, this video was you how can I stir you think he is. To be fair, he thinks that Jay is also thrown in the EFAP streams. So, the, I guess you could call that juicing it at that point, but that has nothing to do with Jay. Yeah, Dealing that's, your that's content, I, I just say yes and we are not the same. True. He managed True. to literally just do hey, how can I take that old drama that I was farming from that massive streamer, farming. and how can I do it again? How is Jay farming? And he, he farmed it, it once, and he's farming it again. He just did it for a Responding is farming, you, I guess. You can't have any reaction to anything that happens to you. If someone bigger than you does anything to you, positive or negative, you are not allowed to have a reaction to no, it. No, you're farming. Just you're shut up and take it. Flat. Just shut just up and take it, Pleb. And also, just like, oh, several months later, decided to bring it up again. It's like, no, Jay worked on other stuff, and then was, was going to make that video later to talk about a broader subject. Very so it's, it's the I guess it's a streamer concept of what a what it goes into making a YouTube video or what, you mean that like, it I don't have just one project one happening. You mean it took yeah, you more like, than a day to make something? Yeah, I yeah. I don't just be. turn on a camera <laughs> and get a one to one return in content. Seems to me that that's more likely that they're juicing it at that point if they respond immediately with a long stream or something. It's like you try to jump on mm -hmm. it as soon as possible, taking months to make sure your references are straight and to proof it yeah, and, it's and all to work hard. Like why is that juicing it? Uh, second time. Like, the, the recycling machine is on maximum overdrive. Your right reaction now. streamer, maximum shut the overdrive. fuck up about recycling. <laughs> this, is, this is Jay at maximum farming, apparently. It isn't Making one video several months after the fact. Yep. He's complaining that Jay's farming, and he's reacting to what he's complaining to. Yeah, you're months just later farming, farming, man. <laughs> you're <laughs> farming, <man. laughs> You know, he'd probably, he'd probably agree you. with you. He'd probably be like, yeah, I am, but at least I'm honest about it. He'd be like, oh. oh. Projection here, yeah. I'm juicing TFA. It's true. Oh. He's like, yeah, you know what? Actually, I need an idea for a video. You know that old drama I that bet happened? You do. Let's yeah. just talk about it again in the same way. Oh, he hasn't. No, it's, it's not, not the same way at all. Way. I, actually, Hassan's not even really central to it at all. Nope. Hassan's it's really just about... Yeah, it's, it's about, about principle, which maybe that's why Irrelevant doesn't get it, because it's about principle and maybe he <laughs> doesn't know what those are, or he's more of a something, I don't know. Pretty strange, but yeah, that would, that would be why. When nothing has changed, it's... I don't Nothing's know. Changed. It's don't just make any more like videos the, about the it. idea that this person hasn't profited off of it and shit, I don't it wasn't know. the point. Half the argument is built on... So if you settle in court or something, you just like, oh, I got wrong, but I made some money off of it, so I can't complain okay. or say anything. Interesting way it. to look at the world, uh, certainly. Fighting anything to Also, the didn't Jay say, I'm not sure, I don't even know how to prove if this was a negative or a pro positive overall? Pretty sure that's they what Jay said. That content creator which just isn't true as rtba uh fucking linked with a bunch of, i just don't like it when people stop using that as evidence you moron you don't understand it people like lie in order to make their point. what's the lie yeah, tell me lying. what the lie is <laughs> what is the lie <sighs> tell me <laughs> the lie i need I... to know the lie it is central to your statements being true or not um 
This might... So, when you're having a conversation with someone, a lot of people tend to... Tone seems to be, like, the big giveaway or something that people latch onto to infer, like, wrongness or, I guess, or or uh, meanness or anything like that. Calling someone a liar is, like, worse than saying fuck in terms of what you're saying oh, yeah. about the person rather than just being loud or saying a harsh word, all right? Just always keep that in mind. Yeah, like being really fucking it. angry with your point when I just simply agree with you, Frankie. It's uh, pretty chill compared yeah, exactly. to... Aren't you lying right now? Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, Move past the tonality because, like, already... Because, of course, it's the tone of this is going to change very soon. Well, but uh, infinitely amusing as well. Liar. Calling Jay a liar with evidence he doesn't understand and was simply told by Chad is true. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good work. I, I, I guess he is, uh, he is taking similar. that to the bank. Yeah, he took that to the bank in an instant. Something similar to it, yeah. actually. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the, all this, this is just ramping up. This all just ramps up. It is. You got yeah. a lot of My stuff to see, ready. chat. We got a lot of, we have so many things to show you. Such delights. Or, like, succinct, I guess. Like, this shit. Like, are you joking? When we're talking about these, obviously these are nine hours long. They're not all talking about. Oh, the ones that Jay's not in. Oh, thank, thank can, can you. Can I just say wow. a rare, irrelevant <laughs> W right there? He said these aren't all about the same topic. Congratulations, <laughs> you did it. I'm we very impressed. Sort of title. You succeeded when many others failed. <laughs> Our bar is so high right now, as yeah. you can no, tell. We are very impressed. Jay icon on the picture. No, you can't see Jay. Jay's, Jay is in the title the of video. one of them. He just saw the topic. I guess he just, a, yeah. Unless Jay is a chair, then he, I guess, might have appeared oh, well, one. Oh, you know, yeah. Do you know, I, um, I updated, I'm pretty sure the descriptions of both of those videos at the top, it just says, bafflingly, Jay is not actually in this, or something like that, just so <laughs> that if anyone takes a screenshot, the description will say it, but <laughs> unfortunately, I was too, yeah. too late to put it in this one, so. I have the uh, other shit in it. But, like, it, like, bro, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. He's like All front right. page, and there's for a reason. He's front he's page. He's making the money. Is Mueller? It's this. It's his friends. Oh, it's his, his friends. podcast that he's on. Oh, the podcast that he's on. They can't keep idiot. getting away with it. <laughs> they can't keep getting away with that. <laughs> they can't keep getting away with I that. I like how. People were at one point were like, wait, Moola? That doesn't say JX. He's like, it, it, it's his friends. It's, it's a podcast it's that he friends. is on, okay? I love this this <laughs> assumption there almost, the that because I'm friends with Jay, it counts as Jay's benefit to defend Jay. It's like, well, mm -hmm. that's pretty cause and effect, my dude. <laughs> I'm friends with him for a reason. Does know. he not know what friendship is? Well, maybe he doesn't. Jay but, is our like, friend no, and we like, think that he's correct. Like, friendship ugh. is when you sit in silence next to someone as you eat together. Okay. Poop together. And poop together. Yes. To my now, or at least that's what uh, uh, the lad was saying. Oh, uh, there you go. It's all good now. He said, at least that's what uh -huh. the person said. Because you can tell. When hey, he... you know what? I'm sorry, uh -oh, uh -oh. That I said, I'm sorry that I said all of those very harsh <laughs> things, Jay, all right? I'll walk that back. I jumped the gun. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Is that he didn't make money off of him watching the video or his content that the, he can make money off of the song drama is not a surprise to to anyone, but that's how half the time you make money. That's how half the time. Uh, so, so you're you're taking a fifty fifty chance to the bank. Well, yeah, just to and it's not even, but just to lay <laughs> that out perfectly, right? Because that chatter, nice by the way, you nailed it as quickly as you could. Our relevant is like, you lied to me. You said you didn't make anything from Hassan's coverage hey, when you clearly me. did these podcasts. And then the chatter said, well, that's fine. Like, you can respond to the controversy of not benefiting at all from someone stealing your stuff, right? And then Irrelevant was like, mm -hmm. but that is how you make the money. It's yeah, like, like, oh, you're like fucking stupid. So the, the, yeah. the, the problem is that Hassan owes Jay something in some way, just ethically, in the initial action. Just because Jay can find a way to monetize it does not then make Hassan fine. What the hell are you talking exactly. about? That's does he think, yeah, I guess it's a mindset of if you make money off of it, it's all good? Like, Jay didn't even monetize it. That's technically EFAP monetized no it. No principle. Which, by the way, you're At monetizing all. it too. Yeah, so fuck off. What is all of this nonsense? <laughs> There's so many arguments all over the place. It don't make any sense. Stop. 
Hurts can look brain. like the biggest gaping asshole who ever lived. Just such a Episode fucking dingus, dude. Let's just show people. their no, channel name, dumbass. How is that so fucking hard? Like, what is this attitude that you have? You stupid <laughs> fuck. Defend the sun. Why does he How get so angry? Bro, <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure he ends up banning that person, by the way, at the end of that clip. I, yeah, like, that he does. Surprise yes. me. He does. Just put from <laughs> the same does. stream. He bans well, the fuck out of everyone. You know, and I feel that I need to stop. I Was that that bad? Yes. <laughs> He's what? acting like a child. He's acting like a spoiled child who's never been told no in their life. It was in response to someone saying, please show the channel name. How the hell is right. that a normal reaction? Yeah. Which he didn't do, and then he just starts yelling at them, and then bans them, and then all of the chat, who this guy probably thought was he had a sense of community in, laugh and mock as yeah. you know, he is. The public execution. The void. Yep. Yeah. This mobness, I mean, you know? It's It's... This is so disgusting with his son. He's so clearly in the wrong. Instead of just being like a normal person, being like, okay, you know, should have showed Jay's channel. You know, I apologize. I won't watch any of his videos anymore. You know, blah, blah, blah. I'll try to show people's channels, you know, going forward in the future. You know, but no, he just freaks out and starts banning people, refuses to take even a modicum of responsibility for his mistake here. Also, Hassan's yeah. just like, Hassan is a bad person. Yeah. Yes. The way. Uh He's he's just a bad person. He doesn't have any like moral lines or principles. He's super selfish. He's he's spoiled rotten. There's just nothing positive that I have to say about him. He's just a nasty person. Eat this Speaking of nasty people, up. hello, Sean Fanataku. <laughs> Welcome. Oh my god, Dev is here. But he's muted. Oh, there you go. Hello. Uh oh, Dev. Look at this guy. Hi everyone. What's going on? We're, um, uh, we're just having some fun. So to catch you up, I've got a super cut of... I'm sorry about that. I'm That's alright, it's all good. Um, to be fair, we haven't even gotten halfway through the video, so... <laughs> um. Well, I just want to say real quick, what happened was I, I ended up being double booked. And I th like, I, I, th I didn't know what time zone you guys meant when you said your time. Oh, look, look at this shit. guy. You can wow. Google so it. So I was, I was set up to talk to a Connell boy about, about, about other things. I was mm -hmm. like, ah, shit. And then, Mahler, you said I could be a couple hours late, so... Okay. Well, yeah, we've still got half a show to go, so... <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so to, to catch you up, there's a link for you. Um, this is a supercut I made of a Twitch streamer reacting to Jay's uh, video about, like, ethics in reaction content. And my god, um, wh how would you guys summarize what we've seen so far? Oh, man. Endless trash. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, the most, the best part of the conversation was about the bathrooms. So, yeah. honestly, I mean, that, yeah, and talking about, that, so. yeah, shitter architecture has been the most enlightening thing that I think we've been able to wrangle. Yeah, up. not to say that what we're talking about oh. is, is boring, but it's we roll it back a little. But I guess to catch you up right now, we're on. Well, you know, what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play it. Cause I'm not even sure how to summarize where exactly yeah, a smart we are. Boy. He'll Half out. the time, you make money. Or I could make him look like the biggest gaping asshole who ever lived. Just such a fucking dingus, dude. Let's just show their channel, that channel that name, dumbass! How is that so fucking hard? Like, what is this attitude that you have? You stupid fuck. Man, how are both those clips from the same stream? Well, all will be explained, and I feel <laughs> that I need to stop. I... was that that bad? I still find that hilarious. <laughs> it's like... It's very telling that you don't even think that's bad. Well, maybe that'll inform a bit of a change in his attitude that is very soon to come. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Is so, that just, bad? Just out of curiosity, oh, have yeah. we seen the bit yet where Hassan literally turns on a video and then goes off to make chicken nuggies? Oh yeah, yeah I was yeah, doing yeah, that for context, yeah. yeah. Okay, alright. I, I just want to know, because that was... You know, I understand chicken nuggies are pretty important, but still, Oh yeah, man. definitely. Do you want him to die? <laughs> it's not okay to, uh, you know, play someone else's video if they don't want you to play it. And, I mean, so that's not actually true. <laughs> like, what did this, he say exactly? He said, it was hard for. If you remember, his apology to Jay is when someone tells you they don't want you playing their videos, that's when you stop playing them. Yeah, so, right, so he's got it backwards. You were meant to ask for permission first. If you're uh, going if, to steal it, if you're going to react to it, it you don't well, need the if, position. It, yeah, 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 that's right. If you're going to transform <laughs> it, then you don't need permission. But it, it, it's so bizarre how he can, like, dude, this is your job. How do you not understand, like, that it's the other way around? Because he doesn't have pressure. Well, and, and, and further, if they like tell you to stop, you don't have to. 
Right. Like, it, it, say for example, if our relevant no, was in chat right now to, saying true, stop yeah. reacting to my stream, it would be like, no? No, because it's transformative. It's fair use, it's critique. And you put and it out publicly? That, like, it, you can do it, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, this is, it fits all the boxes. So, yeah, Hassan's position here of if anyone tells you to stop reacting to this stuff, you stop. I don't know why. Well, the. Yeah, and it's like, I stopped. We're good, right? It's like, um, no, like, the, the, the wrong has already occurred. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. And also, I, I think so, just yeah, from, like, like a, a, a real politic level, you almost want it. to say no to make him, like, file a claim against you. Because maybe then you could, act, that could actually snowball into something. So, I think if you're, if you're really trying to shit stir, it's like, no, go ahead. You, 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 come, come at me. Oh, yeah, you could, yeah. If, I don't even know, would he have the right? To do that at all, though, to like try. Well, and... very sorry. Very... He he could do it on YouTube. He could just file the claim, and like, would it play right. out? You know, legally, who knows? But you know, I've I've had a few actual like I've 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 had some. I had somebody mail me a cease and desist based on a video, like to my house. Nice, really. Yes. Nice. That was, that was that was good old Phil Fish during the GamerGate day. <laughs> oh, oh, fantastic! What, what a character Phil Fish is. <laughs> you could have had it all. You could have been a contender. It is Top of the good world. that he has this attitude, but ultimately, the phrase bare minimum does spring to mind. Like, yeah, him saying this is better than the alternative, but the alternative would be him going, I don't care how the creator feels. I get to take whoever's content I want, and, and then doing an evil laugh, saying sorry. Wait, and what are his options, though? You can't ah, just- Ah, here it okay. comes. Ah, here, here it comes. we go. Less this comes. incredible <laughs> imagination capacity that yeah, these it, people have. It's pretty consistent <laughs> with him. So what are Hassan's <laughs> options? Option one, I'm not going to watch videos anymore. Option two, fuck you, I'm going to keep watching them. And that's it, right? It's like, well, option three, credit J. Option four, yeah. talk about why you enjoyed the video, why you used it for what you did, and then maybe do another reaction and be like, this time I'm actually going to comment on the things I liked about it and then promote the video. That would be really awesome. That would be a really cool result. But no, you opted to just say, if someone says don't react, you don't. Which I agree with Jay. That is actually the bare minimum that crosses into ethical, I think, in terms yeah. of this moment. Like, you've still done a bad and you haven't really accounted for it. But you did the bare mm -hmm. minimum. At this point, mm -hmm. um, it's sad, and you hate to see it. But yeah, yeah, no you would expect options. a person who makes content for a living to have a bit, little bit better of an imagination. You'd think, but no. Yeah, this is. I don't know. This to he it's doesn't have any IQ, other option. His option I'll either is to be an asshole or to quote unquote do the bare minimum. This is like if I give you a really big stick, right? And I say to you, you have two options. You can either beat an old lady with this stick or not. That is a terrible analogy. <laughs> what you is are, even you are, that analogy? You, okay. What analogies, analogies are a wonderful tool and you have not used them well. So, so let me, <laughs> yeah. I, I can help yeah. him out. If he was like, which do you choose? That I say, well, I'm not going to beat her. And he goes, ah, so the bare minimum. Yeah. And I'll be like, well, so in this scenario, <laughs> let's say this old woman was next to a <laughs> road. Minimum. I'd be like, I could help her cross it. I could help her carry her shopping. I can be, like, what is the nature of me and this lady's relationship? Because Jay and Hassan is completely different from some random old lady who well, asked me to beat. I, a, more, a, more, a more apt analogy is you've already smacked the lady across the head. Do you continue pummeling her while she's down or do you stop? It's like... No, it's well, like and, and, already done and, and the degree is... You could hit her once, twice, three, four, five. These are all different degrees of responses. Harder, yeah. softer. How are you not aware of <laughs> or this? You could, or you could help her up and take her to the hospital, profusely apologize and do right. everything you can to exactly. make things right. No, I don't know about that. He's wow. I mean, because because to to make the analogy clearer, the woman is the video. By hitting her, you have watched it without transforming it. You have already done the wrong. Yeah. Your mm -hmm. options now are continue hitting her, i.e., continue watching more videos without transforming them, or to cease doing it. But you nothing else can be done. Nothing else can you be are done. restricted from doing yeah. anything else. What your your body and brain POV. are just nothing else. What a terrible well, yes, analogy. Yes, just end. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so yeah. bad. I can believe that if someone, you know, if someone has really low IQ, like they're actually stupid, they don't have the ability <laughs> to mentally process hypotheticals. You know, like they yes, can't, they mentally what? just cannot do it. I, that, that's Hassan. 
Well, see, one of the most frustrating things about like internet conversation conversations in general is it seems like a good number of people do not like analogies when they are one. Oh yeah, no, yeah. analogies too. are a fantastic tool for figuring out your principles for trying to identify any inconsistencies in your line of reasoning. And often, when the hypothetical is extreme, the point is that your principles are being tested to an extreme so that you right. can figure out what you really believe. They are very, very, very useful. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. But but if you use analogies, try to make sure that they are analogous to whatever situation you're talking about. Not like, well, this is comparable to getting given a stick and either bludgeoning someone to death or not. Whenever I see someone on the internet start a hypothetical, my ears perk straight the fuck up, and I want to know how bad they're going to screw up the analogy. Because <laughs> it just happens so, so, so often. Regs, let's say you and I crash on an island, okay? Well, we're not on an island. What do you mean? I'm here at my desk. I'm here at my desk. Why? Also, crash. No, no, this is so stupid. Crashing Why am I even happen, talking to okay? you? Yeah, crashing doesn't this happen that often. Happen. There's no point. This wouldn't happen. I would never crash on an island. I live in Arkansas. Let us remain I don't know what in an reality, is. okay? Crashes don't even happen that often. <laughs> and you go, I'm just not going to beat an old lady with the stick. And then you go, well, I mean, like, that's the bare minimum. It's like, bro, you gave me two options. No, you like, didn't. <laughs> no. Um, you have if all someone the hands, options. Because Every remember, option if, someone ha if, if someone hands you a stick and they say, beat the woman or don't, you can be like, now nah, I'm going to call the police on you, dude. <laughs> like, you got a lot whoa, of options whoa, whoa, available. Whoa, yeah. that was never listed as an option for any of cheating. <laughs> I like the idea. It's like, my only options are those provided to me by someone else. It's like, no, actually, you the, are a, Not only uh, someone agent. else, the one who wants you to beat the woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you're leading me towards a path that I can't follow. I feel like Padme here. <laughs> yep. I, I don't know how you could critique somebody who only has two options in that <laughs> circumstance, but okay. He has a lot of He's having so much trouble. <laughs> options? No, he has two. The two options for his response. His response, he has two options. He has more than two? Why? Why? Yeah, There's only two. two things that he can do. As a human being, he can only do two things. There's and nothing he, else he could do. He, he didn't even put apologize as one of those two options. Yeah. Well, no. It can't that be done. Even a choice. It can't be done. Yeah, he, he said there's two options to continue watching his videos without crediting or to not watch his videos anymore. Why are those the two? There's no, yeah, as if there's no, like, restorative action that can Especially be taken to try and make things right. Apologize, when, you could bring Jay on and talk to Jay. And what Jay requested was that you can continue, please just credit me in future. That's what Jay's request mm -hmm. was. That's yes. what Jay said, yes. You know, and Hassan is like, no, like I just won't watch it anymore. And, he, and the fact that he, because Hassan did it in a very, like, I just won't watch him anymore. Yeah, he said he doesn't want me to, like, that's the tone with which he said that. Yeah, yeah, like, me stealing like, your, if, if I steal from you, that is a privilege. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? Yep. Do you know, Do you know how many am? people wish that I could steal from them? The, like, this you. fucking Duke of Nottingham attitude. Yep. <laughs> One is to say, hey, I'm going to continue watching the video, or two, I'm not. Those are his two options. <laughs> all, he can, all he can do. All he can do. It is how a binary are you narrow minded? Like, How else can you explain this? You have tunnel vision on two options, and that's it. That's it. There is no other options in material reality that he can... There's <laughs> no... He even all said it! Reality. He said there are no option, more options in material reality. There's literally <laughs> nothing else that can be done. Apologizing is not physically or logically he possible. He's floating around in like a void in space. And he's, only got two <laughs> he's got a computer there. He's only got two options. Hit the, hit the space button to keep playing or not. That's it. That's the intrinsic the laws of the universe will not allow like, for him to apologize. Yeah. It it's so cannot weird logically be done. Because within his own two options, there are variations of the choices. Like if Hassan said... I will continue to watch yours, just nowhere near as often. Or, I will not watch any of yours and any of yours that, that you appear in, or anyone who's friends with you. You know what I mean? Like, the two options have branches as well. Why do you assume that this is it? How strange. No. No. The choices are binary. They don't exist on a spectrum. I'm okay. telling you, I, I think it's just... I think that he's an idiot. <laughs> That's crazy, right? I think right? that is like... I. It's like, you know, I, I know we throw around that word a lot, 
but like an actual dumb person. It's not just, oh, he said something dumb or something like that. No, like this guy's actually stupid. He could just be trying to force an argument for Hassan's face. I think so. Like, I think that this is desperation yeah, yeah. right here because he's defending himself through proxy. Like, right. He does the exact same shit. Yeah, it, it seems like th there's. I, I don't. I don't know if it has like an official name for what I'm talking about, but there's this rhetorical yeah. flourish where you just don't admit the elephant in the room, and you hope no one notices, and you just you you, you make you're like I'm trying to be reasonable here. Here's the here's the only options: option B, option A, and option B, and that's all there is, guys. And like option C is right there, and you just kind of stand in front of it and you go, "That's all there is." <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it's it's not poisoning the well; it's like hiding the well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just there's no well. Like, what do you mean? Arms <laughs> right out, off the bat, the you're just out, like, just so like, what do you mean? There is no. What are you talking? Assuming there's facts, options? not an evidence. Like, well, seeing as these are the only two possible things that can be done, uh. And then you just trail off after that point, I, but you lead with that, yeah. I would now like to remind all of you that there are three people we wish to cover, and this is the best of the three. Oh, oh no. no. I can't even, I can't even oh, imagine. no. <laughs> it's going to get you worse. You want Dev to come here. back. I do, actually, if he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> he can do. We've so already inoculated like, hey, Stop watching He's my fine. videos. What can you do? You have two options. Say, fuck off, or say, yeah, sure, my bad, and stop. And then to go, oh, well, yeah, you, you did stop. So, yeah, you, I mean, but that's like the bare minimum. It's funny because he's completely fucked up. That's not what even Jay said. Uh, Jay's comment comes Are up later. Are you saying he's a bad listener? A very bad listener. He thinks Jay keeps oh, repeating his goodness. points and he hasn't even absorbed any of them. So it's just like... Oh, he doesn't like reading. He doesn't like listening. Nope. And? Those oh, are yeah, like Dev. He, he said he doesn't like books because they repeat points all the time. They're too long. Well, They're too long, I mean, and to they be just fair, repeat themselves. <laughs> there are definitely some authors that of are way too long to repeat themselves. He says it about <laughs> books. <laughs> like. He says it about books broadly. It's books like a, a, a medium. Uh. <laughs> My only options, huh? Link to video. No, he was talking <laughs> about his response. Yeah, his no. response. Yeah. To the specific statement right. about whether or not he was going to continue watching the video after the person was like, yo, fuck off. And he has infinite options to respond. Why are there only two in your mind? That's the problem. That's what he was talking about. He didn't say I mean, stop what, what watching the video. I, it was about him watching the content without, do, without oh, due go. process, without permission. So as you can see, his chat of, of kind of cottoned on to how fucking retarded his stream is. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of like, wait a minute, but what about this? And his response being, hey, I'm going to stop watching your videos because what you're representing as my, my content or whatever the fuck is the bare minimum. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to stop watching your video because he even said later specifically when when a YouTuber says for you to stop watching a video, then that means that you should stop watching their content. It's a YouTuber stupid, the has the right to be able to retract their consent for you to- They never gave consent. You never gave it. They can't retract consent they never gave. Yeah. You don't get consent by default unless you're transforming it. That's insane. So yeah, you you completely fucked this up now. And yeah, I love this sense this of like I am now. virtuous you for I I will respect them when they retract their consent. It's like they never gave it. What are you fucking they talking never about? Gave it. You need their permission first. I want you to transform it. <laughs> oh god, I, also I'm, retracting consent like it, retroactively makes it bad or like what what a bizarre kind of uh, I uh, it's not. Makes it's, listen, wonder, it's not rape rags. She just retracted her consent. <laughs> oh God! Oh no! Yeah. No, no, it's it's. I yeah. was raped because I consented at the time, but now I'm retracting that consent. Therefore, retroactively, that makes it rape. She retracted her consent afterwards. What am I supposed to do? Well, I said I wasn't sleeping with anymore. What am I supposed well, to do? Well, is she a bigger? Well, is she a bigger streamer than you? No. If she Clark is, you just have her. to fucking take it. Now Clark you're the one getting her. fucked. How do you like it? The. The spiciest variant of this is just to clip the part where it's where he says you automatically have consent. <laughs> <laughs> just clip you that automatically and have consent. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of really ask, fucking dude. interesting logic. <laughs> Did you see how that stream was dressed? I mean, come on. <laughs> well, to watch a YouTube it. video. So clearly. This is interpreting in his mind in one very specific way, and I believe it is a reasonable way based off mm, of the, way, the, nope. the interactions that he had with this individual, which is stop watching my fucking content. That never happened. 
Jay never said stop watching my fucking content. He never said stop watching my fucking content. He nope. certainly didn't say Jay it with said that. you can watch it, just credit it. I don't know and if it is logically possible in the material universe for Jay to even have that say. tone. Yeah, <laughs> but did, did, hey chat, he certainly does that didn't sound say like those Jay, words. Does it sound like Jay to say to Hassad, stop watching my fucking content? Does that sound like Jay to you? It barely sounds like any of us. <laughs> It's very manipulative to frame Jay with this tone. This is what I mean! How is it fair when Jay does all this work to remain as civil and, and, and just above board as possible, and this is the reaction? Is like, what the fuck's it happening? Really, it, it, is, it is incredibly unfair, the reaction that Jay has received. He handled it about as well as he could have, and like, this and is tried what to put in as many caveats as possible, as many qualifiers as possible, some of which weren't really needed. So what happens when you give something to be needed, to they just... Or just they're just nasty people. So yeah, it's just so unfair. Um, it I, is you remember how he called Jay a liar? It's like, mate, someone's lying. <laughs> just saying, <laughs> there is there is a lie. That is true. Mm. Jesus, his response could have been, "Oh, I will give credit or not walk away." No. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> he no. means exactly. Uh, no, what that's he not said. possible. In the this is world. To give credit. No, this is this is Dev's analogy where you point to that the the third option behind them and they go, "What? No, what, what is do you this? mean? There is <laughs> no, no attention what to the mean? option behind the curtain." <laughs> I didn't acknowledge this option. You can't have this. He could. It's uh, after the fact. How is he? Do you have a time machine? Uh, you can give yeah, credit so after the fact. Right, you fucking sorry. moron. Because I've already seen this. This is something that he really struggles with, and I think it is the recognition that the wrong has already happened, and you kind of you can't fix that. But you like, can. Like, what do I do when I watched it and I didn't react and didn't transform it? It's like, yeah, so you you screwed up is what's happened. Now you need to like try and fix that. It, it, like to to simply do nothing is you're in a negative position. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. like negative in terms of the wrongdoing. You need to bump it back to neutral by shouting out the channel like be profusely apologizing would also help too right. yeah remember when monday matt had his big thing where it came out he was flagging all those people and mm -hmm. doing all that sort of thing this is what happened with him in the fact that like a, a, a proper and meaningful apology part of that comes down to what can i do to undo the damage that i've done and make up for it right a, a path that he never even attempted to explore, right? Until but it would have later. gone. It would have gone so far if he said, like, "Oh, I'm gonna give some money back to the people I flagged because maybe I hurt them, or maybe I can do something for them, and that that will help to in some way undo the damage that I've caused." It's the same issue here. The idea that, oh, it's in the past, so I can do nothing to make up for it. And, uh, well, and yeah, like, so, and to compare, weird. if Matt had was on stream, people were like, why aren't you apologizing? I, the argument our relevant is making, it would be the equivalent of Matt saying, well, the wrong is done. It's too late. It's too late. There's nothing I can do. Just get over it, basically. And yeah. I have a feeling they wouldn't say this about the Holocaust or slavery. Okay. Just gonna probably wouldn't say it about that. There are so many things. things. About them. Get yeah, over it. It's more common to fucking... Us, like apologize for a wrong after it's done, not during it. That's how, yeah, because you've learned about it. That's how you know to ask. So about yeah, it. all Hassan had to do, if he provides credit now, then it's rectified as far as Jay's concerned. Mm -hmm. But that's the problem; well, he doesn't. I can I can guarantee that if you were to look through all relevance content or Hassan's content, you'd see them talk a lot about restorative or retributive justice oh, constantly yeah. in terms of. Well, I mean, issues. it's I mean it, I mean it's an aspect of our system anyway. Like when when you were convicted or like found guilty or you're found to have lost like a civil case, the whole point of damages is is yeah. Like, how do we balance the score? Like if you right. if you if what you did to somebody cost them money, well then you need to pay them whatever money you have. If you've caused them emotional damage, there'll be like damages that take those into account. Like these are built into our literally system the concept of justice. That's the point. That's the point of the system is that you're meant to restore the wrong person to a state of neutrality, now like where wrong. it's it's okay again. No. You've screwed up, but you're gonna you're gonna make it as right as we can. Obviously, you can't like undo the past, but like no. there's always options available to you to say, "Oh, well, I screwed up." Anyway, uh, and then just move on. Like. <laughs> Until the so, Justice Department creates a time machine for you to go back in time and prevent yourself from doing the harm, <laughs> is all can meaningless. Can there even be justice? Imagine being in his chat. You be, he tells you, "I need a time machine if I'm going to do any kind of anything to rectify this." You just be like, "Why are you? 
You're not supposed to be stupid. <laughs> Why are you doing That's, this? It, it is a good money making <laughs> scheme, though, to be like, "Hey, I need super chats to buy a time machine so that I can undo the wrongs of the past, make it happen." <laughs> there you go. Get up. You, you, you want this going? going. It, maybe I forgot. Maybe we have time machines. Is that possible? <laughs> I, I never knew that was yeah, like, wow, is. that's crazy. What, a, what, what are you talking what an about? idiot. You couldn't really yeah. ask for a more explicit declaration that he's not going to change the way he does things. I am from and that is Jay's main point, by the way, that this changes nothing about his operation. Right. This changes nothing about how damage awesome. is dealt. He just decides, yeah, now other people other than Jay will be the victims of this approach. Mm. Which should give so, you a so. sense that this isn't about Jay or Hassan. Yeah. It's about the concept, the idea. But never mind. From then onwards, from then onwards, he could fucking do that. Sure, he could. Oh, it's there we go. We've highlighted option three, and he's agreed. Oh, that's Excellent. a third option. Wait, where? Holy shit! Did the rules of the universe the of reality? Reality? It looks like yeah. somebody time traveled. <laughs> it, was, it was just too big. That rules. third option, he couldn't hide it anymore. <laughs> yeah, it got too big. If he wanted to, for this person. But the, re the reasonable interpretation that he had of the person's content who directly told him to fuck off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. You're getting very happened. mad over an incorrect point, my yeah, friend. <laughs> you're so angry over something that didn't happen, but okay. Was, I'm not going to watch your video. It feels as though you don't want to want me to watch your video. That is fine. It is well within your right to retract your consent for me Stop to watch your video. Stop, that. Stop saying that. Stop yeah. saying it. Oh no! Look at the emote on the screen. They're scared of him now. The chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I didn't ask for this. Oh, That's no. the face of retracting I, I, consent. I do. <laughs> I don't know who our relevant is. Is he like a like, like a socialist or is he like a he's a like progressive or a what? I he's don't actually tuber? know. Sock yeah, them, I, I think. No idea. I don't know. Hold on, let me look it up here. Either way, he's an idiot. He's um, yeah, he's just he's just kind of in the same. He does the same shit as Hassan. Uh, I guess I'd say he's better because Hassan is rock bottom. But you know, <laughs> okay. At at five thousand subs, I'd call him a crumb tuber, not a not a. <laughs> oh. but I get the point. I get uh, the point. Um, I, I just I find it funny that this this atomized individual argument is coming from socialists I know, who believe right? in these constant connections between all people at all times, and so they have a stake in what you do, and so they should own part of your business and all this other shit. But it's like, no, he's his own man. He's he's an, he's an island unto himself. He has no connection. He doesn't need to apologize for anything. Yeah, so, these okay. these uh, these bread tuber types. There are really some rules for me and some rules I for said, me. I said, "Here, I'll mm -hmm. let you own the means of your production." Oh no! He said, "Well, yeah, that's right. yelling, yeah. <laughs> very, <laughs> very angry." These are crazy good too, people. Because, like Hassan, watching all these other people's content. I mean, this is rent-seeking behavior. This is you know, they always complain about landlords, you know, not producing anything. This is what's happening. It's just yeah, I'm Hassan's using your shit. content for my monetary gain. Video. And either way, in the, even in the video itself, right there, he is talking about the person, talking about the specific individual. I don't know what you're talking like. He never gave them. So he, he he feels, I guess, that that's good <laughs> enough as credit is to just simply talk about Jay. Uh. This is this is what I mean. The clout brain is completely fucked. It's like if I said Jay's mm -hmm. the worst content creator online, never sub versus Jay is great sub. He sees that as like the same. It's like yeah, that's promotion either way. Uh. He did give them credit. He talked about the video. He talked about the creator of the video. No, I, he didn't. I, actually, no, he didn't. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. He, he was. Off, he was. He very shocked that someone would even suggest to do it. Yeah. Did, did Hassan ever? Even once did like has, also once Jay criticized Hassan. To be Hassan fair, I think our relevance referring to the second portion, if you will, right? So what Hassan does is he loads up Jay's stream, the parody stream. And says, this is a drama, he didn't like that I didn't react hard enough. And then he scrolls down, reads some comments, says, what do you want me to do, die? And then he scrolls up, reads Jay's, and says, fine, <laughs> I won't react to your stuff anymore. And then um, he started yelling a lot after that. Yeah, yelled at his chat. chat. You can argue, absolutely, yeah. that Jay's name appears at that point. But to say right. that Hassan gave Jay credit, that's fucked. I'm sorry. That's just, that's, mm -hmm. that's fucked. 
this is a lol nice reach moment yeah you know? yeah you would it would is... be easier for you to make an argument that hassan went out of his way to avoid giving jay credit I think well, if, anything, <laughs> if anything it highlights why he's so dumb on the choices thing because if he said to me like showing jay's name on screen is the exact same as saying jay's a great content creator you should subscribe here's a link he sees those as the same choice so it's which is absurd. Yeah, it's not the same, mm -hmm. but fine if you think so, and that explains a lot. But I mean, then lot. again, the fabric of reality only grants you two choices, <laughs> and apparently giving credit isn't even one of them, <laughs> like until now. Great extension. I don't know what you're referencing. There's two options. Recognize that the individual Still running with has that. the right to be able to retract their consent Stop from you it! to be able to watch their video, or don't. Based on what this individual said, it is unbelievably reasonable to get that interpretation that he told him to fuck off. It is See, so someone in chat said he didn't say fuck off, and now he's saying it's reasonable to interpret that. Not, not only did he not say that, he said that you were allowed to watch it as long as you either give credit or transform it. That is explicitly what Jay said in the video and in the comments section of his re-uploads yeah, as well, like, for the, for the streams. How can you blame Jay... But someone interpreting fuck off from that. What the An hell? Insane Jay's parody yeah. is wasted on these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So unbelievably reasonable that I feel like your mind is fucking tainted if you believe- no, yours is tainted! Uh, you know what, yours, man? That's, yeah, that is, that's a wow. funny- It's funny you say that. Right? <laughs> Cause, cause, uh, I don't know, man. Also, why are you so angry? <laughs> like, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> angry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This is, I mean, coming across as, I mean, he talks about Jay, he's like, I guess Jay just fucking hates us on. This comes across as Big you have Jay. this idolization and need to defend Hassan that certainly goes past it's, the bounds of rationality. It's either that you feel very compelled to defend Hassan or you feel compelled to defend something that either Hassan you, is an you extension do or are very me. cool with. Yeah, like... Like, Hassan I, does I, what I do. I need to defend him to legitimize what I do. Well... Also, just yeah, that his his channel seems to be full of people that his his channel is full of videos of just doing the exact same thing. It looks like so. I think this is more of like self defense than anything else. Yeah, I think that's why most people have come to Sorry, Hassan's defense in such a ridiculous way. Well, he's he's also just getting mad because his chat is smelling through his bullshit. And so he's becoming very defensive that even his own audience is like, I don't know about this all relevant. Oh no, the tide is turning. The tide is there. He's on the beach. He's like, no, I feel like going this way. Da, 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 da. It's like, no, yeah. no, get away. No, no, no you no, took it to the, the bank. Now turned. cash it. Well, he, the That's chat's right. pointing out that third option. And so he just starts screaming. So they start so like, trying to get them to like, draw their attention away. He's very he's angry. Jealous chat, they can yeah. count to three. <laughs> and it's only going to get funnier from here. Oh, yeah. Right? That, that that Hassan was obtuse for coming to that fucking conclusion. He was obtuse. With the fucking obtuse for many that he did, obtuse. fucking You're shitting on obtuse. Hassan, with the fucking tweets that he made about Hassan, it is unbelievably reasonable if you actually watch this fucking video that he was just telling him to fuck off. So As Hassan no. hasn't seen that video. He just scanned through it, and the no. proof for that is that Jay leaves the seat in the first few minutes, and Hassan, if you guys remember, was surprised by that when he sees it. So he hasn't seen the video. So saying that Hassan yeah. was right to interpret the video as a fuck you and fuck off, don't watch my videos, you're literally just commenting on how useless Hassan's brain is. Yes. Hassan was wrong to think it, and you're wrong for thinking that it was reasonable. Yeah, stop defending it's, it's it. It's nuts. Mm -hmm. Jay you're is being... almost frustratingly charitable Yeah, <laughs> like with these people, well, the and the this video is still is, what they is... do. The video is filled with caveats that, are un that ought to be unnecessary, and yeah. even then... Even then. Look at what happened. Look at what Can happened. Can you say agenda? It was unbelievably reasonable, but whatever. We can just yeah. Hassan was the unbelievably reasonable one in this. In this correct, scenario. it's shockingly yeah. unreasonable. Like it's not reasonable to do because we want to just act like it's not reasonable. That's fine, perfectly fine. You're an idiot. This is just the standard. Can you rewind of... it? I'm not. I can't rewind the fucking. I don't have a time machine. I can't just rewind <laughs> videos in conjunction. <laughs> with, oh, sorry, not in conjunction. In the fucking uh, video. Oh, look at these emotes, man. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> That is a sad I can't Pepe. Rewind. I can't rewind. That is a that is a very very sad Pepe. I just, that I is a like the, that is a rare sad Pepe. Right they there. were annoying, but now we actually get an insight on how the chat doing, <laughs> which is they're not doing too great. Because he didn't fucking play it. You're what right. You Jay didn't play his stream parody in his video about Hassan 
doing unethical React content, because why the fuck would he? What do you mean? No, I can't do that. That's not how we're... If somebody wants to link the original video... But no, 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 there's a thought. He did! He did recognize there was no consent given. He went on... You just said earlier that he <laughs> retracted so the consent. Mad. So how could he recognize there was no consent given if it was retracted? Listen, listen, listen. Maybe he forgot. The, the, the consent was con the consent was retracted at the very first second of the interaction. Oh. At moment zero, that's when it was retracted. <laughs> to say that it is usually assumed that consent is given for all YouTube videos. No, no why would you ever not. say that? <laughs> why no, in what not. universe is that true? Yeah. yeah. You have you have consent to steal everything until someone says stop it. That's just it's, no, it's literally that's the, the yeah. <laughs> try that you in real consent, life. You have yeah, consent to steal everything. Socialism. Free use. <laughs> oh, we yeah, think exactly. the mask off slip a wee bit. <laughs> I mean, free use is an affirmative defense to you doing something. Yep. It's, it's not yes, assumed like, I, that I, you can you know steal people's content. It is. It is just again to reiterate copyright is what makes something that you've created, like, your property. And when you have rights to property, you enforce those against everybody. But unless yeah. there is a re- That- it is assumed that the permission is required from you because you own it and have exclusive rights over it, unless it is transformed, unless right. it is used for critique, unless it is used for educational purposes. Now, that's not, not only is that just the way that it works, but it also ought to work that way as a matter of principle. You made it. It's yours. And, it, well, and I think that he's just lumping himself and Hassan in with everyone like us, where it's like, we don't steal, we react and we transform. And it's like, no, 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 you guys steal. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys don't react. You can't, when you sit there and you're just like, this is my well eaten, <laughs> and then true. Uh, Wow. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna click off before they can even promote themselves. This is not transformative content. What's weird about I mean, that, Fring, is that I couldn't tell if you were doing an impression of Hassan or Irrelevant. No, I know. I think they were getting a bit mixed up. Eating, I need something to eat. Or then, just making yeah. breathing sounds. I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably gonna get noises. some nuggets today, even after we're done. You've earned get it, some chicken nuggets. To just Chicken nuggets are pretty swell, mm -hmm. I will say. I can understand. They, they are like this... I want someone to draw, draw this now. Nuggets are like a siren, you know? They sit there on the cliff, luring unsuspecting streamers <laughs> away from the screen hey. so that they continue to play. And you've got the nuggies in their little dresses and the little, like, shells on them, you know, <laughs> singing their siren song, luring all no. these streamers I to the rocks. I don't know about you, but there's actually a deal on right now in my area. Uber Eats, 24 nuggets from Burger King, six bucks. I'm going for it. Six you know, bucks? Like, oh. The siren call. That's a good deal. Yeah, I, do it. I had some Burger King nuggets once because they did like a 15 nuggets for they was it was some ungodly cheap number. They're like it's like the nuggets were like 10 cents each or something stupid. And so I tried them and they were the most disgusting nuggets I've ever had. <laughs> they tasted like 10 cent nuggets, is what they did. Oh so be be, be wary. Be wary of nuggets. cheap nuggies. I think that's it. I think Sun Tzu wrote that. Mm. Nugget quality well, does vary depending on which place you go to. Yeah. Yeah. I, yes. um, yeah. No, McDonald's well, have some good nuggets here. I know that maybe it's not the same in America. I like the nuggies here. Yeah, in America, McDonald's is like the lowest tier possible fast yep. food you can get. It's like if you go to McDonald's, you've you just you lost life without dying. <laughs> well, it's like you, you lose, you lose some of your. It's that boss in Dark Souls two that takes your uh, level, right? Oh wait, no, that's Demon Souls. Well, you go to McDonald's and you have the nuggets, and now you realize why you need two toilets in your bathroom. So. Oh, oh my goodness, that's Taco Bell. I'm sorry, you are making me so fucking frustrated. <laughs> that, I'm I can see that. Just why? Not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. <laughs> 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 oh you. Oh me. Oh. <laughs> okay, so joking? and I I wanted to point Are out here just just real quick. I wanted to point something out. If you don't mind, this is a, is a slight tangent, but it's okay. I'm actually oh, pretty much fine. I am immune. I'm immunized <gasps> to the effects of Burger King nuggets. Okay. Oh no. And I want you guys here. Just 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 pull this 
this up if you don't mind. I'll put it in the uh, in the group call All because right. I have I have eaten at a place in Vancouver that that <laughs> that so looks bad. like. That looks like this. It oh, is man. called the Dollar Meat Store. Oh my god! <laughs> it, it's the it's a dollar, dollar store meat. for meat. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Why would you go oh, in there? No. I wanted how, to see. How I wanted to see how much you? meat you how, could get for a dollar. I would what be desperate. A low point was this in your life? <laughs> the Dollar well, listen, Meat it's Store. It's like it's. This ain't it no is, Trump it goes. Is, it is Vancouver's <laughs> Chinatown. It is the one of the dirtiest places what, I've ever been. What animal even is that on the side? It's, it's a like Nutra. An it's right there. Nutra trading. <laughs> I I feel like there was an animal there, but they scribbled it out or something. It was like it's I actually it's, like a, it's an armadillo or something. It's a, I, I, it's I'm a not sure. Of armadillo meat. Armadillo meat. Oh my god! I, I am, it might be an armadillo. An I'm I'm yeah, reasonably an animal. That they, that yeah, they, you know what a Nutra is. It's you, you I, I, I actually think that they do. They do like kill seagulls and pigeons in the city and just eat them. I, oh, I genuinely no. it's like chicken, and it's like this wasn't chicken. This wasn't chicken. Maybe it is a nutra. That's crazy. That's a nutra. They're like They're, swamp rats, essentially. <laughs> you, you, you can eat the fuck out of them. No. All right. Well, it's like I, I yeah, it's a nutra. So I think nutria leave is what some people do, but a nutra swamp. is why yeah. You, why don't you just leave you can, them be? I, I think they're just like invade. They're like rats, essentially. They're just everywhere in the swamps and what stuff. What are they called? What are they called? N- How do you spell them? Well, there's there's an an I, it's like a sign, which is why Nutria. I brought it up. There's an I in there. R. Uh, you can. I, I think you can spell it with an I, but it's both essentially. That's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So when they, so Nutria. when you're, so when I see the words Nutra trading right next to the dollar meat store, I'm thinking they eat <laughs> swamp rats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, apparently Nutras are introduced in North America. They only live in like the southern part of South America, but they've been introduced in parts of America, parts of Europe, and also Japan for some reason. Did it say via dollar meat store? Chinese dollar operator? meat store. <laughs> they, it was too expensive to and like keep like them in the little... store, so they just released them into the wild. <laughs> there's also like a small enclave of them in. I don't. It's it's not Tanzania. It's the damn. I there are 53 African countries. I can't memorize them all. I want to be annoyed if it was an God, obvious one. Though. Someone in chat said it's like the Chinese attempt at doing the Welsh flag. This little guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's that. Yeah, there's a little Chinese enclave. <laughs> there's a little enclave of nutrias in Kenya. For some so reason, this, this is like the people who eat like mud and dirt outside. They get the like it's so foul that their stomach becomes stronger. So Dev went to this place. <laughs> I did. Meat, and now he can eat McDonald's with no problem. Man, okay, yeah, so if you're you actually go, eating go at go the dollar the store, meat store, you can eat anything if, now. If you go to the dollar meat store on on Google Maps, there's a bunch of birds hanging in the window, and I'm not entirely sure they're chickens. Uh-oh. But they're birds. Oh, I thought you meant to, like they're there to eat the scraps that the humans couldn't digest. Nope, nope. They're they're just they're just grilling up. They're grilling something up. Anyway, it like, was it was a unique experience. Oh, it sounds good. Say, I bet. <laughs> I bet it was. I'm just glad you're. I'm just was, glad you're okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's very cheap. It. <laughs> I'm glad you're still with us. Yeah. All right. Frustrated that, and from my perspective, this is not a good look. It just seems like the person's really mad. I don't care what you think is a good look. Are you joking? Are you joking? (laughs) I'm I'm in a Looney Tunes world. The The assumption is not the issue, you fucking moron. (laughs) I shouldn't have to DM on it and on it. To watch one of his fucking YouTube videos on my Well, if you're not going to transform it, you, you, you should do. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You Those bet your ass you better do it. Oh, oh, so yeah. calm down. Calm down. This is like, this is like the meme of the kid <laughs> who's like, why the fuck I got to work to make money? Yeah. <laughs> it literally is that. Let's, I'm going to try. I'll roll it back. See if we can figure out what he says. <laughs> A- asking for consent is exploitative. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you joking? I, I'm I'm in a Looney Tunes world. Fans the assumption is not baseless, you fucking moron. I shouldn't have to DM audit the audit. Some people to watch just shouldn't one of his be streamers. YouTube videos on my stream, you fucking moron.
that and from my perspective this is not a good look it just seems like the person <laughs> really I'm just gonna pause it i'm just gonna pause it here so this chat in the top in the top left corner is that it's hassan's Hassan. chat or relevance chat hassan that's hassan's yeah okay i don't think irrelevant right. put his chat on screen he doesn't put it on screen no Oh, okay, because okay. I'm, I'm seeing right there, you know, the, the commissar and our content, our content, our content. <laughs> <laughs> I have right. to DM Jay before I fucking watch this video of them. If you're not going to transform it, yes. Yeah, if you're going to steal yeah. it, yes. I like how he's about to scream what is wrong with you when this is fair use. This is just wrong how it works. You. Yep. I have to send this out fucking 500 DMs before my stream, so I have to watch it. So fucking like, blow yourself, dude. I, I, Go oh, blow wow. yourself. Oh, okay. wow. That's, that's <laughs> I guess it is funny because it's like... Versatility. Yeah, that, that is how... Yes. Like, you do need to ask for that permit. It belongs... The fact yes, that he doesn't does understand, belong it, belongs, it belongs to them. It is freely available for you to watch on YouTube, but that is the, the means by which the creator has allowed for this to be disseminated. You rebroadcasting it on your own, presumably copyrighted stream, which it would be anyway if you created it. Like, it's not. It, it belongs to us, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But all but, but, but actually, all though, um, belong to us. I, 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 maybe you guys went over this before I showed up, so apologies. But in in your opinion, in the opinion of the four of you, how how much reacting do you need to do before it becomes transformative? It's really difficult. That's a blurry line. Yeah, uh, a, in a, a post-Sargon Aquila world, um, <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, uh, can we can we say like have something to say every thirty seconds? And if, even if it's something small, that would be great. If you I think need that to watch is a like decent rule, I guess. But no, if I see someone do two minutes and then two minutes, like two minutes video, two minutes talking, two minutes video, two minutes, I think I'd be okay with that. It's like pornography. We know it when we see it. Okay. It's yeah. It's difficult line. to call. <laughs> However, you can tell when something. I think Jay even says this in the video that you can tell pretty definitively when something has been transformed and when something hasn't. The line in the middle is a little bit blurry, but don't take the piss. That's what Jay says. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Pretty much. Now, if you have pride in your work anyway, then we sh we shouldn't yeah. have to beg you to transform something. Nobody has ever said about EFAB that we don't transform the stuff we watch. That's never mm -hmm. been a criticism from anybody. That doesn't tend to be a piece of criticism that we get. Yeah. No. I'd be surprised if there's literally a single person on the planet who had said at any point. Uh, if we, anything, we're told we, that we interrupt too much, that we yeah, pause too much. Yeah, we get yeah. that a lot, yeah, but no, I don't no, care. No, no. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I don't care either. Yeah. Go away. Just fucking jerk yourself off right yes. now. Just, I, I don't right. know what it is. I can't. I'm too busy you, you blowing need, myself. You need a blowjob, dude. You can do it yourself. What? I trust me, dude. I promise. Really mad. You do some yoga or some stretching or something, dude. You need to let. You need some release, okay? You, you need some fucking release. A bit of a well, you need some release for being so correct about how this all works. <laughs> You're yeah. just so right. I can't Free yourself. It. Yes. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. As someone chat said, projection. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, our relevant needs a release of some kind. He's, uh, mm -hmm. he's tensed up. Hassan to, uh, to court for copyright infringement, do you think he could win? Based on what we've no. seen? No. Just no. If, if the Wait, if, sorry, if, who did they say? They said if Hassan win? and Jay went to court over this as a copyright thing, would Hassan win? It's like, no. No, no Hassan would absolutely not. not. You crash no and burn. Would There's no way. Win. Hassan literally he leaves. Hassan is afraid of that that happening. Oh, maybe he's too dumb to be afraid. Oh, also, I don't know. There was a donation coming in that was read by the bot and it said, You mad, bro. <laughs> 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 you do seem a bit upset. Just a bit. A scene which is only half of the video. I mean, I can't responsibly make a hard claim, but based on what we've seen, yeah, probably. I don't want to shit on this person for this. I, don't, I actually don't want to shit it, but I'm going to use it as a springboard here. How do pictures work? <laughs> just, How do pictures work? He's about to explain himself. I just love that as a, as a I skip know, yeah. Episode. What are birds? <laughs> How do pictures? When it comes to this, right? Idea. Like, unironically, though. Do I have to source... The, every sometimes, that yeah. sometimes, sometimes you do. Yes, sometimes right. you do. It it's depends. amazing. This is how unaware like Twitch streamers and reactors are of just how mm -hmm. everything works. Yes, if you take a piece of artwork from someone, you should source it. Yeah, I mean, you could make the argument that a lot of, including myself, a lot of times when we would use pictures and videos, I'm not going to source every single. Like, well, so it's going to be case by case depending on what the use is, right? Because there's a lot of ways it's, you can well, use them to transform them. It's, sure. uh, well, it's, it's and something critique. to, because, for instance, <laughs> I needed a, uh, I, I needed a certain picture for my uh, endgame video, 
and then I realized it's like, oh, this is free domain. This is a uh, public domain because this is a painting that was made like over a hundred years ago. Uh, yeah, alternatively, there's... there's like all of the uh, the royalty free. Uh, yeah, it's not the free well. clip art you can. Well, alternatively, if you transform it, like it's kind of like memes are an interesting one because it's this sort of like weird new world that we've entered into with memes that it feels like. But I feel like memes have got to be something that we could say are like transformative if you completely change the context of the original work through additions. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, I remember this because I decided to look it up. Copyright.gov, which is an American website, that, they, got a, they got a real helpful list that just explains what fair use is. And they give you so many examples of the, the ways in which fair use exists and how it works. It's it's one page. It's available to you. Please read well, it. But <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. It. However, I was going to say. So, does is there like a little clause or anything that says if you can't be asked, it doesn't matter? No, it's just, yes. It's known often that there are like laws where it's like, but if you don't want to follow it, you know, whatever. Like that's that's <laughs> cool really. Too. It's not a law so much as a, a loose guideline. But I guess for the reference of the chat, according to copyright.gov, the U.S. Copyright Office. Here are four factors that are used to evaluate fair use. The purpose of the and character of the use, including whether it's uh, the use is of a commercial nature or if it is for non-profit educational purposes. Uh, number two, the nature of the copyrighted work. Um, and they give an example. Using a more creative or imaginative work, such as a novel, movie, or song, is less likely to support a claim of fair use than using a factual work, such as a technical article or news item. Uh, number three, amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyright work as a whole. Yeah, yep. I can um, tell these are very broad and up for a, so, and a lot of interpretation. Well, so, that's, well, so that's, that's, well, that's the thing is you, you fight over these things, right? You make your case, you present your arguments because they provide examples like, for instance, if the use includes a large portion of the copyrighted work, it's less likely to be found, but less likely, not necessarily impossible. It always varies. Number four is the effect of the use upon the potential market uh, for of or value of the copyrighted work. So the idea would be if if the use of it harms the uh, future um, commercial prospects of the original work. These are all factors, but doesn't it all line up with what we're talking about in terms of like principle in general? Transform the work. That's it. Or ask for permission if you don't want to transform it. And remember, Hassan's already done this with the whole, like, the artwork that a fan made and that he bought from someone else. And they were like, whoa, that, that, was, that was mine. He was like, paid with exposure, well, paid dude. With expo no, he, he just he clicked said, retweet and that's that. And then he yeah. stopped. Oh, right. He stopped himself when he realized how bad that was. True, he did stop himself because optics, man. Okay, optics. That I might use on my stream? Like, you know what I'm saying? No. You absolutely do. What about my desktop background? Let's say I have a cycle. I mean, if you're literally He's using like someone that's artwork to him. that's licensed, yeah, then yeah, you probably should. What the fuck are you talking about? Why would? Yeah, someone he like he was like shocked. Like he's just learning this. Like you can't. Okay, you can't just take shit that doesn't uh, yours. That doesn't I, yours. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. What else do you say to these people? I don't know how. I like, saw, what they're so used to stealing shit, in? man. They're just so used to I it. I guess they are. Just, you sound like such a capitalist, world. Rags. God. The like capitalists yeah, pay for this stuff, world where they you just know? take shit. And that's just their life. Is yeah. I'm just going to take shit. And it's a shocking revelation when someone says, yeah, actually, you can't just take shit. And there's people in his chat right now who are like, yeah, you source it. Why wouldn't you? And he's just like, what? Yeah, no. What? You mean I just can't? You, the people, the things that people make aren't just mine? People of desktop backgrounds. On my stream, do I have to source all of those? Yes. Ah, fuck that. I'm sorry. Fuck what do you, mean? you. Fuck that. Fuck ah. that. That's the law, my dude. You just said fuck you. Fuck that. That's his argument. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> okay. People aren't making money off their desktop backgrounds. What the fuck is he talking about? There's so many variables to talk about. But if you just have the background there because it looks really awesome and it's someone's fucking artwork that you just took from a site however you found it, and then you don't even source them, or anything, like, their signature isn't even on it. It's just like, why are you being a dick? No, but, like, I can print there a picture a... out and put it on my wall. I don't have to you, source well, yes. it, because it's my wall. Like, it doesn't matter. 
I'm not making money off of its existence. Like Hassan is making money through his stream. The, I suppose the, issue. The, the the issue here for me is just the it's considered like way too much effort and alien to him to do something that yes. oftentimes is kind of cool. You're just like, yeah, man, this artist is called blah blah blah. They do this, that, the other. Really awesome. Go check the work out. Right. Yeah. It's a nice thing to do. Like, of course, I'm gonna put the description uh, in, in the description. The person who did the intro music to my videos, like, duh. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm doing that. There's not even a, it's it's not even a thing to have to think about. It's just the the default thing that you do, because it's the right thing to do. Well, there's he's, I guess old. we've entered a that's yeah. yeah there's answer my own question there. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if he would relate. How would he relate this argument to music that he's trying to make? Can't I just play someone else's music on my stream? Without permission or, what do you mean? or it's, anything. It's... Mm -hmm. I'm sure he, he's upset by that if they get clipped for copyright on that too. He's probably like, that should be mine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's so, he, this person is so naive and sheltered on Twitch. The the, the YouTuber life, like, man, they, they don't have a fucking clue. No, they, they don't. Do not they, have just, fucking they have no YouTube. fucking clue, you're right. Years, years having to come to grips with all of these systems. Yeah, so I have uh, one of my artists. He is reasonably professional. Our kind artist, of stuff. comrade. Oh, okay. He's reasonably professional, and he actually told me he's like, "Listen, if you want to use a font, you have to like buy a license." And I'm like, "Really? Yeah, font? Yeah, yeah." Like, no, font they're they're art. serious yeah. about that stuff. They're serious about that stuff. The guys who make fonts, they put a lot of work into them. They're serious about that stuff. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, I I think that because I'm gonna try to word this properly. Uh oh. Because the, the, yeah. the physicality of of this job, of doing streams and making videos and whatever, it's all just kind of happening in your house, unless you're like a Saragon and you have an office or something. But it's still like, you're not like actually going out to a stage and seeing thousands of people. It's really easy to feel like you're kind of isolated and you're more yeah, private than you actually are. Mm. And there's no way someone's going to notice that you stole all of this stuff. And you put it in your stream because you're just hanging out at your house, man. Like there's, you, you're kind of lulled into a false sense of security by the nature of the job. I think. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's very true. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, uh, uh, I think so. Especially if it's never been an issue for you before, you don't even, you might not even think to do it. Now, of course, this is the kind of thing that a YouTuber learns very, very, very quickly in their in the infancy of their career. They learn <laughs> about this sort of thing. Uh -huh. The idea that you go years or months without knowing this sort of thing is, it, it's tough to do. YouTube will definitely let you know, erring in their own favor, that you have, um, you have done a naughty. Just, uh, I've seen a few people ask about the fonts. Yeah, the way that works is like fonts themselves are also like copyrighted works that someone's created. And so like fonts can be, some fonts are free for commercial use. Some fonts are just bundled in with like, like if you have Adobe, I believe all of the fonts that are provided to you on Adobe are ones that you can use because uh, of the license you pay for. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even even fonts, it's like it's it's all these are all creative expressions of some kind. Someone made it, you know, like someone from what someone I understand that typeface. The reason that we have the the font situation is because back in the day when you when it was the printing press, people would basically sell bundles of letters that would That's fit right, into yeah. a printing press. And so every artist would have their own way of like drawing an A and then making that into like a, a stamp, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you, you could buy certain types of letters and it ended up being the case that uh, these people, they ended up, um, they considered the letters themselves, but obviously not what was written with them to be its own form of, of property. Yeah, makes so sense. we had, I mean... we had font law basically. Yeah. Will the fonts eventually become public domain? Uh, I believe with time in the same way yeah. that all copyrighted stuff, because uh, it depends on which country you're in. Some countries it's 50 years after someone's death, 70 years, depending on whether they have a pseudonym or uh, it's under their real name, it varies as well. Uh, it, it varies depending on who created it and where and when they passed away. Um, well, how's no, I've fucking right now, if you're interested in purchasing it and it's uh, All right, so this, by the way, I, I think I forgot to put context in here. So he's decided because he doesn't trust Jay to watch Hassan react to Jay's video to see if Jay was fair. Mm. Because of course, Jay, Jay at this point is a very untrustworthy narrator from the video, as you guys would have felt as well when watching Jay's video. <laughs> of as it's yeah, oh, yeah, been very firmly established. Oh, yeah. You know, they say you don't really know someone until you've uh, held hands while taking it down. This digital copy viewing is one of those things where the longer you stare at the image, the more bizarre things you notice. So today I'm going to take you on a sightseeing tour of the oddities. This is literally stage HQ. Hold on, I I'm going to be back in one second.
of 8,800 Blue Lake Road. If we start at the entrance, you're greeted by a Minions brand doormat that really no home is complete without. To get to the main living area, you'll want to go upstairs. It's going to take the same way to the living room. Oh, man. So, when life imitates oh, life. No. Can, you, can you guys spot the problem? <laughs> this oh, fucking no. doorknob. You it's do an exact problem. Again. It's Ir- irrelevant again. is silently watching Hassan, silently watching Jay. <laughs> I can't believe that he does this. It's <laughs> no. unfucking believable. You commit One the exact same thing. One of these things is not like the other. It's Jay who did some work. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> just unbelievable. If I were Jay watching this, I'd be like, "You can't. This is a joke. Like, you can't be fucking serious <laughs> right now." Deception. When will you learn? When will you oh, learn? God. Why am I wasting my life doing work and creating things? Uh, Fuck this bracket. <laughs> wow. It's incredible. He, he, he could, it, it, all relevant, if he just wanted to check, he could have like scrubbed through the video. He doesn't have to just You can watch skip it. the parts where he's not there. You yeah. know he doesn't have commentary when he's not there. <laughs> or God forbid, provide some of your own. Uh. Wait, what? They live is to us. Is to... I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they got family uh, out here. Wait, uh, hey, there's three trash cans in here. That is pretty weird. Why the, the... Jeez. Hey, YouTube this chat. Is this is this, insane. This, this is the hell version of EFAP, okay? This is what you would get. Yeah. This is yes. the Megaverse version of EFAP. When the multiverse opens <laughs> and the reverse EFAP comes through the portal, this is what it is. <laughs> and we all funny is E-fap. I sped this up enough in the edit so that it's not Jay's content anymore because it's just garbage. It's garbled nonsense and loads mm-hmm. of images flying by. So we can't be a vic- like we can't do what he committed and what Hassan committed because I took care to make sure. But oh well. <laughs> and we're pausing more. <laughs> like the now, on a side note. Uh, for those of you who are watching this, who maybe think, ah, you know, I'd like to stream, but I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I have what it takes. Oh, do not you worry. No. You worry. have what it takes. I promise you. You can do it. You can do it. Go for it. Shoot for the moon. Mm-hmm. You I got believe this. In you. I believe in you. Or <laughs> I blame Soda Let's see what the doors leading off I am here for investigative purposes. Okay, I'm a journalist. So his chat caught up with the the, the fuckery. And right. his excuse is Well, I'm here to investigate. I know. The great excuse, Shit. man. Okay. Um you can, uh, you can this still... is just like the oh, it's unbalanced, then just don't use it. It's, you can still account for how much Hassan commentates while commentating, so not an excuse. Sorry. Journalist, I'm a political journalist, all right? I'm here for investigative purposes, all right? I need to make sure that the No, com- you're a lazy twat, just be honest. No, you, mm-hmm. are, you are a lazy fucking asshole, is what you are. You yeah, are stealing sp- other people's shit. He could have sped it up, watched it like two times speed or something. I think he did. He could have done something else. He sped it up to something, but that's the third sure option, what. never mind. But it doesn't matter, because it's a 14-minute video, and he under- he's enjoying the video, if you watch right. it. Right. He's even commenting on it with Jay. Like it's it's well the one or two times he actually Very does it. It's so frustrating. That <laughs> stays untainted. So don't tell me to react harder, you fucking quacks. No, they're calling you out. Oh look, more I think you're making YouTuber. a joke of it. But no. they're calling you out and they're justified in doing so. If you know, dude, what was our relevant one comment that we saw just now? It was uh there are three trash cans, I think that's what he yeah. said, right? Yeah. You might categorize that as him highlighting that there is many of a thing, right? So, listen to this criticism. This J person really has a problem with saying the same thing over and over again. Because as I've been listening to them, they've made the same stuff comment probably like 30 times this video. They got a lot of stuff. That's a lot of things. There's a lot of boxes, a lot of things. So to explain the nature of this house, it is very large. Mm -hmm. This architecture is a little bit strange, but not like an impossible one. The main feature of it is it has many amounts of many strange items. That is the main appeal to this place. Everyone notes it has absurd numbers of things that you don't typically see in that number. 
His complaint mm -hmm. is Jay is pointing that out too much. Yeah, it's kind of like the joke. The recurring that is joke. The joke. Saying that again is and again. The whole appeal of this house is you find the oddities within. Oh. Rip. But of course, it's not like he does that, so it's no. fine. There's, I don't know, it's just they seem to really like uh, these objects. It's like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bro, like, ten is enough, but, like, come on, man. Wait, what? Can we talk about the, the three? Space, what the is this? Three boxes of Rice Krispies? Space as well. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Kinda is he weird. being sarcastic? I mean, no, at least no, he's saying is, something. This is for real. He's he's shocked by the amount of Rice Krispies boxes. He is shocked that's by like, the amount of things. But that's the most normal... Having multiple boxes of food items is the most normal part. I would actually <laughs> agree with you. I feel like that is the most normal thing in his multiple <laughs> of. Um, but side by side, he just said Jay talks about it too much. That's all he's talked yes. about is that. Because that's the thing yeah. to talk about in this house. Right. Do you ever get a sense that maybe he's biased against Jay? Just a little bit? Mm. Just a little you know, I'm, I'm getting that vibe. Mm. I'm getting that vibe. Oh, no, it's two. The two boxes of Rice Krispies ready to go on the countertop. My boy knows how to party. <laughs> boxes of CDs and DVDs. More eagle -like money Definitely the second Jesus. half is more charitable to Hassan than the first half. So I think there is a little bit of motivated cringeness going on motivated when it came from the dude. No idea what it even means. Looking if through you think that stream? it's cringe to criticize Hassan, you need to just reevaluate your existence. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because the second half, he did offer a little bit more, but I'll grant you, it was not enough for me to say, like, this was responsibly done. I'm, Could, I'm glad you oh, got that. Wow. Holy so wait, fuck. He, he went on this whole fucking rant against Jay before he knew any of the story, looked at any of the source material. Now that he did, he's like, well, I, I agree. guess Jay's right. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't sound like a very responsible journalist. No. Oh my God. Put it past fair use? I don't know. I ain't no fucking... No. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, is it no. raining? I don't know. I'm not a meteorologist. <laughs> I don't know. What is rain? I'm not a waterologist. <laughs> but I think that, like, this spirit of the law says, like, no shot, homie. I feel like that's a no shot, honestly. I don't he know what that there. means, that's a no shot. He got there, all right? He eventually he got, got there. there. Yeah. Clap everyone. I pretty much had already seen most of that fucking video through different angles from this dude anyway. So, uh, yeah, I was just wanting to see. I was pretty that much watching the That doesn't mean you get to steal time. it. It was, it was pretty much just the, the, the content. I was watching Hassan the whole time. What about the section where Hassan wasn't even on screen, you idiot? You're watching his chair. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, he screen. was watching his chair the whole time, except for some of it, he was blocking the chair by sitting in it. Is there a source for this? Like, what is this? The source standard? says I made it the fuck up! <laughs> So, no, this is a stock image, well, I think it's a stock video, actually. Jay uses stock videos from a, a site. Jay has already made this clear in different videos that they are, they are copyright-free stock videos that any YouTuber yeah, can they, use. You buy them. A lot of YouTubers Oh, you can it. buy That's them. Why they you can get free ones as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's why they, they stand out a lot in videos, because they're very professionally yep. shot and very clear in a variety yeah. of locations and people. So when you see it, you're like, oh, you just... You just bought this, or you downloaded it. This, you didn't actually make this. This yes. doesn't fit with anything that you've actually. You're done. saying that Jay didn't hire some random woman to sit in a golden bathtub at a well, you know what's funny? Hotel Tish? room with a with a candelabra and <laughs> give her a glass of wine. Candelabra <laughs> of differing of differing lengths. <laughs> they, yes. they don't light them all at once. Clearly, they. No. Oh, this is the one I normally light. That's why it's just a little nub. Right. Now. So and I leave it on the bring floor. Up that because he's asking chat like what is the nature of this this and in, in how it relates to copyright so let's listen to what chat say first that we're climbing to oh just before we move on this is this is the wish upon bathtub you got to be very careful in these oh good be God, very yes. very careful yeah Wait, what do you mean Dude, when it upon comes to sourcing oh. this shit shouldn't we have yeah. to source this flat out incorrect but again we've already covered it he also makes the free clout argument it's his he... wife and so, <laughs> yes, that's Jay's so, wife. So, good the, job, the, Jay. the assumption Damn, Jay. from chat there. Jay's doing good. Yeah, yeah. But there's something funnier happening. Chat has highlighted there that it's likely not something you need to source because Jay would have done it himself with his girlfriend. And our relevance response to that is so? It's like, well, they wouldn't be a. Jay is the source at that point. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. If that were true, it's not true, but if it were, so why is he taking issue with the idea that this is Jay's own clip? He's like, so where's the source? <laughs> 
Yeah, like it's it's not like it's an English paper where you have to write like, you have to sign your name on it and then write down every single citation. No, you just have to cite people that you had to, you had to pay for it or, or have to, you had to like it's not the same kind of thing, you know. And yeah, uh, there it's, are... it's, it's a very high school view of how citations should work. A lot of video essayists uh, even promote like a site that's just filled with stock clips, and you use a search bar once you've like bought a package, you know. Um, but then there are some, as Jay, I believe, uses is a is a free source one that's just like use a use our service. I, I'm not sure if they require credit even. Um, our Elvin is unaware of these things. He adds something to it that we've not seen before. Most YouTubers don't mind that. It's actually probably a love stock that shit. clip he bought. Do people buy stock clips? <laughs> yes, yes, they do. Yes. How does he not know this? Because he has no fucking clue what he's talking about. He has no idea what he's doing. There's, there's, there's an entire business of making stock clips. Has he no, never pictures like, and audio? Never looked for a picture in his life for a video, and it's like stock website. Have you ever heard of the term Shutterstock? I feel like all of us. Yes. Have. <laughs> how, wait, how old is he? Is he like twelve? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I'm letting you know, a lot of streamers do this. A lot of streamers is it's called like farming the like, was the clip channels. All right. Do you know how many YouTube channels are made up of just like clips or straight up fucking vods that are ripped from people? It happens. Okay. I okay. I have, I think three different channels right now on YouTube that are just uploading my fucking segments. I don't uh -huh. give a fuck. Well, Nobody asked if you that. give a fuck. Right. <laughs> I don't give a fuck you if could, you give if a you fuck. wanted to. <laughs> yeah. And actually, you know what? by by YouTube's terms of service, that's actually you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to upload other people's clips, even with their permission. It's it's amazing yep. that he's like, yeah, but I don't care. Like, oh, yeah, cool. That's not that's just not how it works. You don't care. <laughs> awesome. Great. Right. With no comment, raw raw shit. I don't care. Okay? I don't give a fuck. I'm not saying that everybody needs to give a fuck, but the idea that it is, like, nobody gives a fuck? Streamers are just built different. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, okay. You know, st streamers actually are just built different. In this that isn't a, a lot of them. Stream, is it? It, it it feels like they have not not you not you guys obviously. It <laughs> no, feels no, no, like no. they it feels like they haven't left high school and a, a, yes. a lot of the way that they do things, a lot of the way that they think, the way they deal with with citations, the way they deal with drama between other creators, um, the way they like the, the constant backstabbing drama, like the the destiny stuff recently is is the biggest example of of what I'm talking about here. Like it's it's people who have never mentally left high school. Why would they need to? If, if you, if you someone to, yeah. has never had like a normal job and they just go from high school or college to streaming, then I mean, that makes complete sense that they have that same attitude. I guess the thing is, though, is like, where is the, where, why is there no like drive to transform content and to make it something your own or to just create wholly original stuff? Because that's hard. Why is there no, yeah. I know it's hard, but like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, is that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I guess I just don't nuggies and watch other people's like, better content. Do, I guess that's what I mean, though. Is do is the, is it like really that great for a, enough people for there to be a whole ecosystem to just like do nothing except for just sit around and watch people's stuff and say true occasionally while mm -hmm. like ah uh, I don't know. Is it like some weird parasocial friend group replacement thing, like? Oh, well, there's definitely oh, that I in there. Watch, That's in there. Yeah, like, I want to watch the videos, yeah. but I'd rather have, like, some streamer watch it silently and then go, huh, <laughs> like, every five seconds or something. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I did that, I would forget the streamer's there, and I'm going, who the fuck is that? And I'd take <laughs> off my head, yeah. headset, and I'd just, like, look around. <laughs> Hello? There's <Maybe> something <laughs> some that people have mentioned, though, isn't it, that you can just watch... You can like watch Hassan, and it's just your one-stop shop for tons of what is socially relevant content. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. That's They're what just... it ends up, and then they justify right. that. They're like, "Well, that's good. That's why I'm here." It's like that's the that's the problem, my dude. That's why you're yeah. here and not watching those people's videos, the people who made the work. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that yeah. argument well, does get made uh, later. No, it it's doesn't. Like, <laughs> awesome. I don't see... think it's made by irrelevant. It's made by person number two. Oh, it's like when no, you see I... the uh, people who do like the compilations of other people's vines or TikToks or whatever. And I do feel bad because I'm like, you see the compilation will have like 2 million views and then each individual video has like nothing on it. 
Well, it's it's one of the things that gets complained about a lot in art circles, where like someone's art will just be promoted. Someone will, they'll make the piece, it'll get like you know one thousand likes or something, and then it will just get tweeted out by some other person, and then get like fifty thousand likes because of how yeah, the algorithm works. Right. Some people and they just don't get they it don't like, retweet it; they just take the picture. Yeah, and so then that artist is just they did all the work and received right. very little of the capital, the social capital, or just even like any payment or ret- um yeah they're just not reimbursed it's it's lost and it's like it feels um it feels so weird because in like art circles that is just agreed to be something you're not supposed to do it seems like in art circles there is very much more of a recognition of um that this is wrong mainly because i think it's like there is an understanding it's like we're all working hard in these circles to try and make good stuff yeah Um, like you don't yeah don't undermine don't do it this. for the rest of us yeah yeah, well, yeah because we're, we're all Just trying to make it we're working hard well he's yeah, like streamers really... we we are in that umbrella and it's like you and i are not the same dude <laughs> no 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 it is this weird thing it's like yes this is what it means to be a streamer it no this is what it means to be a streamer in dude, your weird world he wishes to have our power level we're streamers and youtubers all at the same time <laughs> that's apparently impossible though you can't and and hey i make videos on youtube and i stream on twitch and youtube what Crazy. is going on how do you do it i don't it's understand so nuts. how do i um, i know i don't know someone said uh, be so, careful I, with the line of logic but by that metric tim pool waffling about himself for three-fourths of his videos is something that improves his content the difference is that <laughs> is his content <laughs> It's not about yeah, whether or not it's good. It <laughs> whether or not it's good or bad is an entirely different conversation. Yeah. yeah. At least I mean, it is, though. Th- this is the thing. If Hassan talks throughout his whole stream, do you think I'm going to call it good? It's like, it's probably not. No, <laughs> but it's his content. Just, yeah. <laughs> so I, I mentioned I mentioned before the high school thing. I mentioned before the false sense of privacy thing when it, when it comes to doing streaming as a job. Um, I think those two concepts kind of... They kind of tied together so in some way. So you know how you got Game Grumps, right? Or other Let's Play channels. And then mm-hmm. you have fans of those channels that'll go around and make, you know, best of moments. Now, the Game Grumps or whoever, they're not making any money off those best of clips. But they also understand that if they start cracking down on their own fans, making fan compilations, that's a fast track to losing fans. Um... So they, they kind of just accept the fact that they're going to lose a little bit of revenue from their videos in exchange for goodwill with their audience. So that, and that's, that's, that's a pretty good trade, I think. In, in yeah, so there are definitely, concerned. we don't, um, there's a lot of people uploading or re-uploading clips and stuff from EFAP, but we decided really early on that we were just like, we're just going to leave it be, just let it be. Right. I think right. Red Letter Media take down or re-monetize like anybody who re-uploads their stuff, which it's a choice you can make, you know? Like... But that, yes, yes. Again, that's all built into Jay's video. It's like it's completely up to the person. But you shouldn't just be doing mm-hmm. it and just hoping that you don't you get to get away with it. It's so weird. Right. But what I'm noticing is that so the main reason that you let someone who's a lot smaller than you, who isn't a content creator, who's just a fan making a compilation, do it is because on some level, they're small, they idolize you, they're the fan, and you're the creator. However, I think because of that high school mentality and because of the isolation that comes with doing this job, people, when they're big, they sometimes believe that they're a lot smaller than they actually are, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, if a person gets 5,000 views on a video, oh, that's nothing. But think about 5,000 people in an auditorium listening to you speak. Well, right. it's, yeah, it's, it's all crazy. relative too, right? Like, um, I'm I'm pretty sure all of us can remember back when we started. Holy shit, a thousand views! Holy, mm-hmm. absolutely! I I have screenshots of me when I hit the 100 subscriber mark because yeah. I was excited. I, I was, was like, excited. "Wow, 100 subs! Yeah. Holy shit!" Yeah. I have to disappoint you because my first video, my very first video, went viral and I got 250,000 right out of the well, right oh, line. fuck oh, you oh, then. Yeah, sorry, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Privileged uh, dev. I've been doing this for years <laughs> and I've never <laughs> had a viral video Typical yet. Typical cis happened. white male privilege. I, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. But, but I mean, <laughs> I think, I think the, the idea is, though, is like, I have 125,000 subs, I think, or 120, something like that. And, like, that's a reasonable thing. It's not huge, but it's not small. 
but I often feel like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a small YouTuber, right? Like I'm, I'm tiny. I no, no one really watches me. Small, no, yeah. that's not Get small. No, I know, I know. But but here's the thing. I in in my head, I think I'm pretty small, and then I'm then you know the second the second level of computation in my head is like, oh wait a minute, it's actually not that small anymore, is it? You know, I have to remind mm -hmm. myself that, that right. That I, I know that, yeah. even though I'm I'm still the same person that I was five or ten years ago. You know, obviously you, you grow, but you, you know what I mean. Like me, there's I'm a continuity of consciousness, it's, but it's a it's a little different though, because like if you're uploading edited content, unless you're going through the com the comments, you don't really like you're just seeing a number, you're not really getting a sense of people watching it. But if you're a streamer like Hassan, and you see like ten thousand people watching you live, and they're all fucking typing in the chat, like you have a much stronger sense of all the people watching you. Right. Yes. I, I guess the, the point that I'm making is it's it's very easy to to <laughs> to, to lull yourself into a headspace where you, you you're not the size or the popularity or or the amount of clout that you actually are. You and so you're thinking like, hey, I can right. I can just I can just, you know, watch these these clips because who am I? Well, it turns out you're Hassan, right? Like <laughs> I, I think there's I think that kind of effect is happening yeah. here to some degree. You shockingly have a massive amount of clout or whatever. That <laughs> so, you, somehow. You, you somehow. We, we failed as a society where, that, to, <laughs> where that's possible. But here we are. So, I mean, you guys, we got to live with it. I don't know what it is. Streamers just don't care. Just because you... So I care. I'm a streamer. Rip. I care and I'm a streamer. Don't care. It doesn't make it care. intellectually consistent and right, though. Wait. Oh, here we go. Here's so, someone, someone in the chat. So someone in the chat said, said what I'm trying to say in like one sentence. What Dev is failing to say is everyone is the underdog in their own life. Yes, and there that might go. lead you to, lead you to believe that hey, maybe I I can just as just another person watch a video and not source it. And it's like no, you're actually the biggest streamer. Like you can't do this anymore. Yeah, you mm. you have to understand. You you cannot lose that that y y y your sense of perspective well, when you're doing that job. You need to understand the platform that. Some it man, the irony considering how many of these guys talk about like responsible platforming and yeah. you know, yeah. community, policing your own audience. Like, you have a big platform that gives you a certain level of responsibility to conduct yourself well. Um, that's in this case, you know, actually trying to credit people or uh, you know, to transform their work or you know, make sure, yeah, <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Well, and I was just gonna say, like, the, that clip right there was fucking great. You hear what he said, right? <coughs> just because you don't care doesn't make it intellectually consistent and right, though. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, then why did you do this segment? Of <laughs> like, he, he seemed, uh, he seemed <laughs> lost for a second there, like, wait a minute. You really can, in his little brain, you could see the train of thought boarding at the station, just trying to not, you don't know what's happening. Everything is stalled. What? What? What is this thought? intellectually consistent and right though wait <laughs> then why would you do this segment at all right so no they're talking about you so this well so this segment and again i didn't put context before i probably should have this is the section where jay asked a bunch of youtubers whether or not they would be okay with what hassan has done and mm -hmm. uh, uh, for yeah. any of you who've seen the video you'll know that i think jay got like seven no's and four yeses with caveats i believe um Mm -hmm. So our relevant like is like, if it ain't about whether or not individuals care, then why put this section in? Which, uh, to to an extent, he'd have a point if only he remembered why Jay did this, which I'm going to include in this video. Why would you even get anybody's opinion at all? Most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos. Because they get a fucking work. fat bump. We still have the free clout argument, but now it's also packaged with the idea that most YouTubers support and like this kind of thing happening. Most other uh, content creators on YouTube and all around don't give a shit if you watch their videos Asshole. or they like it. So a claim's been made. The source is I made it the fuck the up. The claim has been mad that more than 50% of YouTubers are yeah. indifferent or happy with it. I think if you had said, Jay, do you think the average creator would be okay or not okay with what Hassan has done? I imagine Jay would have said, don't know. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. I suppose a lot of them would be and a lot of them wouldn't be. Uh, that's not the case. We've got Hassan here saying most creators would be absolutely fine with it and don't care.
that yeah, prompts you to say, a... okay, I'm just going to do a little little question and answer sequence with my sphere of influence. Yeah, Hassan is making a very confidently stated positive claim. And of course, as, the... as someone's pointed out, fat bump equal 200 views. <laughs> From the biggest streamer. So exactly. Jesus. One of the biggest streamers on the... That's a fat yeah. bump. Um... So anyway, the, the the point here being, our relevance already responding to Jay as though Jay pulled this out of nowhere. Jay's doing it in response to a claim that most people don't care. They literally mm -hmm. like it. They want you to watch their videos. Please record your answer and send it to me. Would you be okay with it if a streamer played one of your videos in full on their stream without saying much or really adding anything? No. Fuck no. Uh, no, I would not. <laughs> yes. No. Well, I mean, I could kind of do with it. Are they, are they willing to pay? No, I don't think I would be okay with the streamer playing one of my videos in its entirety without even really adding to it. If they give me a shout out and try to send people- That guy sounds like Jay with a cold. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I thought it was Jay at first. On my way, then sure, but otherwise, no. This no, fucker. No. no. These YouTubers- if, if, if no matter what they say, your mind is made up. That sounds so stupid to me. So Jay's position is one that's principled. However, to counter the assertion made by Hassan, we have a selection of YouTubers giving their perspective. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 he's misunderstood this and now treats it as though this is irrelevant because Jay's argument is principled, not based on anecdote. <gasps> so that's not yeah, what this I... section was. Uh, pretty, I think him and Person 2 make this mistake somehow. I just don't... They complain the video meanders too long, it's repetitive, but they just don't listen to it. So, what the hell is the solution? What if everybody said that they were okay with somebody doing this? And you went, well, I mean, it's morally wrong anyway, so... No, what Jay would have said is, wow, Hassan was right. Simple. Mm -hmm. Let me see like, if what, yeah, yeah. The fuck? If they would be okay with it, and most of them said no. I chose these YouTubers literally at random from people I already had DMs with. I was, I was, uh, it's fine. I've got a good selection of different styles. I, I am very sure that there is no bias in that at all. But that doesn't actually make sense that there's a bias the in bias... knowing Jay that you would say, I don't want people to use my content on streams. That doesn't really line up. You'd. Yeah, you'd have to say that there is a correlation between people who have DMs with Jay and people who would not want their content. And if Jay was used super nefarious, way. why wouldn't he just cut well, out the ones that said yes? He said five of them said yes. So this bias isn't working out very well, huh? I assume he just he included means... those to make it seem closer than it really was. That's how nefarious he is. That's the kind of 4D chess that Jay <laughs> does. He's clever like that. You got to watch out for him. He's I assume his argument is that because they know, they would know the Jay Hassan drama. So just by asking the question, they would be prompted to answer it specifically in that way. Um, I mean, I guess it depends on how honest he thinks people would be with. Uh, I mean, maybe that's Jay just indicative of the question itself. Sure. I feel like the question was fair. I don't think it was leading. Yeah. Oh, no, it's an like, entirely can fair I, question. Yeah, like, can I kick you in the balls? Yes or no? <laughs> Most people will probably say no. But, you know, it's like it's 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 because well, the question the, itself is a pretty negative. He's thing. actually impugning not Jay only, but he's impugning everyone who responds. All of us. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they're just lying on Jay's behalf. Well, if, if you noticed, uh, there's no arguments from our relevant. They're all crap. There's a lot of assumption of bad faith, though. Just right. keep plugging in mm -hmm. that it's bad faith. It's very Which bad. Is really Can't be funny, trusted. Isn't it? Yeah. Just given just what pathetic. we've seen here today. Um, and the thing is that there is an argument to be made, right? Like, if someone said, okay, uh, Molly, you seem to have said no. I, in my clip, I think I say no, except very specific circumstances. And so if the circumstance were like a 200,000 live viewer stream and they were going to play my whole TFA series all in a row, but they don't credit me, I'd be like, that's really fucking strange. Um, but I wonder what the result of something like that would be. Because would they not see, seek me out at that point? And it is a form of promotion just by sheer volume and length, as opposed to um, watching a 10 minute video and then being like, next video, next video, next video, and like chat don't even get a chance to think about it. There's some stuff to think about in the worst extremes of it all. Um, but it's actually, this reminds me of something. So I, I can't find it, but I was looking for a few minutes now. There's a video and it is a guy doing an experiment by getting himself to 100,000 subs in one day. And here's how he did it. He made a video 
just analyzing some some Twitch statistics, and he talked a little bit about about Miskiff's stream, and then he he so he paid somebody to to make the video, to somebody to write it. No, I, no he wrote it. Somebody edited it. Somebody to, to do the voiceover, and and he, and, he, and he takes this this video, uploads it to a dead channel, and then he pays Miskiff fifty dollars on his stream. It's like, watch, well, check out this new video, dude. It's all about you. And the guy watches it, and then this guy's channel blows up to a hundred thousand subs in one day. And it's like, well, that's how fast you can theoretically get a channel to 100,000 subs. If you, if you really want to pay you know, enough money to have this video edited and then just, you know, snipe a streamer's, um, audience, you can do that. And it's like, well, okay, that's interesting. So now I, you mentioned earlier that Hassan, the, the, the people that he, when he steals these videos from, he, they get like a 200 viewer bump without, that, that was, well, that's what Jay got. Yeah. that was what Jay got. Right. I wonder if it's also has to do with the types of communities that these streamers foster because for Miskiff it was a hundred thousand subs. Well, also, I mean, Hassan didn't credit Jay. Right. I don't even know that, how people I was going to say, it sounds like Miskiff may have shown the actual channel name and said, this is a channel that's not cringe. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Well, actually Miskiff, Miskiff looked at it and then he said, listen, I know what you're doing. $50 donator. This is clearly your channel. You're pretending like it's not, which it was, <laughs> but he didn't reveal himself as as who he was until after the experiment was over. How long can I get? How long? How long till it, till till one video gets me to hundred thousand subs? And it took him a day. So it was an experiment. It was, it was another larger YouTuber that I can't remember the name of when he was he was just using this as a sock puppet. But basically, maybe it's 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 also the kind of community that you foster as well. Well, so and, and this Not, is the thing. There's there's so many yeah. different uh, things to consider. I think it's just an interesting little selection that Jay grabbed a bunch of people. I didn't know what their answers were going to be. When I was listening, I was just like, could be yes, could be no, could be caveats and stuff. It's that RL was just like, mm, biased. All right, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the chat says that Miskiff did link the video, and, and Miskiff has an obsession with making people. Okay, it was Ludwig, apparently. All right. Uh, to be fair, you know, Destiny is the same thing. Destiny, he said outright that lots of people have, have created communities based on debating him a few times. So I think there are people... He's, yeah, he's created a lot of who, careers. Who, now he's yeah, regretting. Yeah, and now yeah. look at how old <laughs> <Yeah>. those people. <laughs> he, he made Demon Mama. Oh God! But like, like I, I think I think the idea is like there's just there's some people who like to make others, and you know whether it's because it's like an ego thing for them, or they want to, or they generally want to, want to help other people out. And there's some people who just don't. And Hassan's probably in the don't category. Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. dude. It's it's evident when Jason's promoting himself, and Hassan's like. Yeah. He'll do that. And just clicks yeah, off. Yeah, he interrupts panic. his own. Yeah. yeah it, it in the middle of eating something, both of his hands busy, his mouth full of food, he quickly it like I said, <laughs> it it would be so easy for us. It, it really does look like he is going out of his way to make sure that this person does not get credit. Dude, we play people's ads. We do. <laughs> we play people's ads, and that is content for us because we make fun of it or we comment on it or we compliment it or whatever happens. Every ad, I love to watch ads on EFAT because they're all so different in the way that YouTubers approach this kind of content is so varied that there's almost always something to discuss about it. Hey, chat, do you, wanna, do you want us to skip the ads? Well, just go over and buy Surfshark VPN no. slash, <laughs> <laughs> slash EFAP. <laughs> Would you be okay with somebody restreaming you with more viewers and making more money than you? Yeah, hell yeah. Yes, it's happened before. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's, it's funny because like, it's the thing about the consequence versus the action, and we just switch between them every once in a while. But like, if RL, RL is probably going to, I know you will, he'll argue that he'll eventually benefit from that in some big way. So the question needs to be malformed back into what if you didn't? What if you never did? Is it okay if a streamer only ever restreamed your stuff to entertain their audience and you never benefited from it? I wonder if you'd All agree right. to that. Because he's, uh, he's going to argue that, yeah, that's how you get successful. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah. In fact, I want you to make... A, I, if somebody, if a big streamer is t saying for... Is, is like thinking about restreaming somebody, suggest me. Yes, I want them to do that. Why not? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, if the, if the question was indeed rephrased, what if people restreamed your stuff and you never got any growth from it, ever. That okay? Would that would that be okay? 
In well, fact, there on, was Rex. negative growth because people were like, you know what? I don't need to even be subscribed to How Relevant. I get How Relevant on this other person's <laughs> <Get him stream."> home. <laughs> <laughs> You see, we are right now actually granting this guy's wish. We're restreaming him, right? There oh, yeah. We are. Yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. sure you'll get a You're fat right. bump from this it. stream. He's going to get a fat bump. <laughs> yeah! You just yeah. named how a lot of streamers become big. You also named how a lot of streamers are taken advantage of, but okay. Yeah, because you're you're not going to remember all of the streamers that you don't remember. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. All the streamers who never Hassan amounted to anything, that never got the bump, that never got the anything. Let's think. If Jay never complained about it, you wouldn't know who the fuck Jay exactly. was. It's not a good example of somebody that is like going to be as somebody that is is okay or referring to this there are plenty of people that do this shit where they let people upload four hour rips of their stream four hour fucking rips of their stream okay and that is a that is a okay. that is a business gamble is what that is mm -hmm. that is that, that is, that is Wait, the, yeah we, uh dev and i think such we're talking about like there there are benefits to doing that if you allow everybody to re-upload all your stuff all over youtube and everyone's sharing it instead of you dmcaing all of them we're trying to monetize them all into them thinking, I guess I'm not going to spend my time on this because I can't even get a couple of pennies out of it, or whatever. You could get business benefits in the long term of spreading yourself around. It's not like you you say this like it's selfless or something. However, like, there could be motivations and potential in... detriments. Exactly. The, the, this is a choice like people can make. Of your brand. Yeah, it is your choice because the, your streams, your creations, they're yours to do with as you please. Is, is Hassan Abi VOD's backup? Is are they providing like extra content here by uploading this four hour? But for some reason, he thinks Jay hasn't addressed this. Jay has. I don't know. Uh huh. Rip. And we can look this up for other even incredibly large streamers doing this. But there are some that have cracked down pretty hard. Don't get me wrong. It is definitely a mixed bag. Which means we can just steal from everybody, right? Because fuck it. Mm -hmm. Until they say otherwise, yeah. you know. When I go to Target bag, and I, but I see like the cash register. I assume you only have to pay if you want to. If they ask you to pay, yeah, like you otherwise take all the stuff pay as you, you want, walk out, yeah. and they go, "Hey, whoa, whoa, you got to pay." You're like, "Oh, oh, right. okay." You know, I thought oh, it was just on the okay. shelf, you know, for me to take. I see it, you have not retracted your, my consent, <laughs> the consent to leave the store without paying. <laughs> Since, Long you know, if it's, if it's less than $950 in California, you can actually do that. So that is the model they're that's, operating under. That's a good point. Neat. That's a great point. The add something and reaction content. I don't understand really. your point here. It's simple. There are large streamers that don't give a fuck about people straight How up that stealing a, that their content. That is non sequitur, my yeah, friend. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with anything Jay said, so try mm. again. The non sequiturs walk past. He's walking, he's going off doing his own thing, and you're like, you're my sequitur now. And he's like, no, I'm I'm non. I'm non. Let go. <laughs> Nobody's sequitur. No, I'm my Content. own sequitur. And posting it online. There is there is a plenty of people that don't care at all. Okay. okay. That's this on the them then? My point then is, no matter the oh, no. evidence that somebody provides to you when it comes to anecdote, if that's the case, you don't give a fuck about the anecdotes of people, why the fuck are you bringing up anecdotes in the first place? What? Most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit, when Twitch streamers react to their videos, because they get a fucking word. fat bump. Best. We still have the free clout argument, but now it's also packaged with the idea that most YouTubers- It was in the video. I don't understand why he's so lost. Yeah. This is happening because Hassan made the claim. Jay's arguments are not based on anecdote. Why do you keep saying this? Because support and I guess uh, Jay didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say I guess Jay didn't repeat enough for the yeah, sink into our relevant. <laughs> Jay was a fool to not repeat himself more. That's, yeah. that's all I can conclude. <laughs> like this kind of thing happening. Most other. It's like it's like saying that you know some people are out there on the roads, just wishing, hoping that someone hits them in a car. Because they get the insurance money, they get the payout, they know that their car may be overvalued. The best thing that could happen to them is for them to get smacked, right, in a car. That does not mean you need to be going out there on the roads, running into people randomly and totaling their car and saying, hey, some people love it when their car gets hit. <laughs> yeah, they did, you know, so it should be fine. Also, as some people have pointed out, we are watching Jay comment on Hassan, watching Jay, watching Hassan, watching XQC, watching H3H3. 
Fucking did it, boys! <laughs> Most other uh, content creators on YouTube and all around don't give a shit. Most of them said no. I chose these YouTubers literally at random from people I already had DMs with. We've got a good selection of different styles, different topics, different channel sizes, and yeah, a lot of no's in there. And the majority of yeses had caveats and conditions, which again just goes to show the importance of mutual respect when doing this kind of thing. That was it. I don't wow, understand. Jason, the clout chaser. RL was like, nah, why bring up anecdotes? And it's just like, Jay's just pointing out, you shouldn't assume everybody's okay with it. That's all Jay said. And we so shouldn't unfair. even have to tell you that. No. <laughs> if he's gonna be like, here's a list of my friends that do not approve of people uh, putting up raw cuts of their content. But if I were to show you large streamers, large YouTubers... Or Jay showed you people Jay who are okay with it. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You How are you missing this? You're operating under the same information that Hassan is, which is you made it the fuck up. You're just, you're guessing. You don't know. You haven't I mean, pulled. It feels like, right though. Jay's like these people say yes. Right these people say no. And moment. then our relevant response to that is yeah. Well, these people say yes. And Jay's like holding the yes people. Like I know. I said that. <laughs> What's happening? Or something that are cool with it, don't really care about it, don't really crack down on it, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, but whatever. Who really cares? Who really cares? Who really cares? The fuck are you doing in the first place? That's really disingenuous. Then uh, that shit's cringe as fuck. Uh, That's my point. Kettle. If you're gonna play ball, play ball. Otherwise, don't act like you're ready to swing the fucking swing on Bad. the pitch, man. Man, that's, Please uh, give credit. That, that's just kind of collapsed fucking, right there. Yeah, the <laughs> fucking analogy master right here. <laughs> Oh look, it's Jay's message where Jay says, "Fuck you, fuck off, don't react." Wow, to my wow, mm -hmm. look at that! I'm fine with react content. It just requires a substantial or significant reaction, a substantive or significant reaction, and proper credit. I hope that you very vehemently go, "Oh man, I was totally wrong. I jumped to an insane conclusion." Yeah, As it turns been... out, I was the unreasonable one. Uh, I am no, very no. sorry, Jay. That he, was my error. He already accounted for this. He said you can easily interpret that from what Jay said. Ah, okay. Even though we have the opposite, literally, like, explicit <laughs> text Doesn't matter. documented. Dude, which, as far as we know, could it. just be a transcript of his script. This is a lie. This is lying to me. <laughs> any lie. Lies. Something he says, oh, this person doesn't want me reacting to their content. If you don't want me watching your stuff, I will gladly never watch it. I'm really sorry. I apologize. This was primarily the tone. In to the, the tone. video that he did with this. He was clearly fucking incredibly upset with the tweet thread. Dude, this is so not fair to him. So, our it's, point here. It is exceedingly fair. So, Hassan has said, fine, I won't watch your stuff anymore. And Jay has said, that's not a response to what I said. And Irrelevant said, uh, that's, you, you, you're being disingenuous. This is Hassan's response to your stream and your tweets. Now, unless I'm wrong, I don't remember any tweets where Jay said, fuck off, stop watching my videos. And mm -hmm. I don't remember in the stream, Jay doing anything other than satirizing and then explaining very calmly after like a half hour of satirizing him that uh, this wasn't cool. There are ways to do it. I'm totally chill with you doing it. The funny part is Hassan didn't even see the video. I don't know why that's mm. getting referenced. Like I said, he was surprised about what was in it in the first few minutes when he does this response that our relevance uh, referencing. So you're simping hard right now. You're inventing shit and you're covering for Hassan in ways that Hassan himself has proven he doesn't have. So this is mega simpery. What are you doing? Jay is right. You just gotta gotta concede. You gotta do it. I believe in you. When you include the context of the video that it is under, the video in the comment section it is under, it was really inflammatory towards Hassan. No, it and wasn't. It's really inflammatory. It's, it's shocking. It's really shocking inflammatory. That you can watch that and come away with Remember, that. you'd have to, you're insane. Um, Jay eating a, a leather pizza <laughs> is more inflammatory <laughs> than when Hassan said, what the fuck is wrong with you? Of course, credit the person. You fucking idiot. Like, remember he was ben. like, well, that's pretty chill. Keeping, keeping in mind the subsequent developments as well, you know? Mm -hmm. I know that this happened afterward, but still, it's just funny. He's just got a very interesting view of who's the who's the angry one, you know? Mm. Especially especially when Hassan has no right to be angry because he's the one who who did something wrong, not Jay. 
And the same for our element at this point. You did the exact same fuck up that Hassan did. He in did. the stream where you well, did you catch that part where he was he was reviewing Hassan's video and he just did the exact same thing? Oh, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. he's he's in the exact same trouble now. <laughs> like, and he's just, yeah, exactly. Doesn't even realize No. No. Tweet context, it was really inflammatory towards us on, but whatever, we'll just we'll just amend all of that if you'd like. That's I'm, fine. Not amend. You mean omit, uh, not amend. Yeah. Apologize. I will never watch. I literally remember watching the video. He I remember when the video remember. that Hassan is referring to, that that comment is under, I remember when that video came out, every, there was a bunch of people that wanted me to watch it. I stopped watching it because of how cringe it was. This person was just sitting there. Dude, I had to watch your stream. <laughs> I, I, I imagine that nobody should have to go through. I had to- I've seen all these, these clips like twice. Can you have some pity for me? Come on. Um, as for Jay's video- It was cringe, it was funny. It was funny as fuck. I loved it. Cause like- it, <laughs> God, what Um, so the thing about it is as well, I was going to include Jay's stream like a portion of it or something to prove how not inflammatory it is at all, but the fact is Hassan didn't watch it, so there's no point. You can't no, say Assam was motivated to do anything from that video because he didn't fucking mm -hmm. watch it. There and doing this and just shitting on Assam for an hour. I personally stopped watching it. Oh like, god. That takes a lot. So this was the original <laughs> drama. So here we go. He's loaded up the page, right? And he scanned to halfway through the video. He just left it there. He left it because you see Assam's got loads of tabs. That's like his stories for the day, right? And he cycles through. And he, and he clicked, 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 and went, this is a drama, he's about to scroll down. But, um, he, this is a famous clip, you guys may remember this one. Uh, I mean, this is, like, not that relevant, to be honest. Yeah, I walk away while this video is going on, because I'm fucking, uh, what do you call it? I'm cooking and I'm eating. <laughs> and, uh, they didn't like my, uh, react. They were like, react harder. Hassle, hassle, hassle. See? Hassan understands the point Jay made as well. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's got a warped view of it, but he's not under the assumption that Jay said stop reacting to my videos. Because Jay didn't say that. I guess they did one on Charlie, too, recently. You get yelled at for pausing and talking too much, then you get yelled at for not reacting hard enough? What are you supposed to do now? I mean, what, what the fuck do you mean? I I'm literally going to do exactly what I've been doing. Which is, whatever the fuck I want to do, bitch. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah. Good person, yeah. right here. Yeah. A really good guy. Remember when Jay said bare minimum? I see Bernie. I see the Bernie thing right there at the back. Remember dankies, when Bernie dankies, Sanders dankies. ran for president? Wait, he did said, he walk I do away? The fuck, I want to do. This is the part that I felt was I'll important. I'll do whatever the fuck I want to do. <laughs> All right. So. All right. Is this the important part? All for, right. For, for context. We, we got the claim throughout this mm -hmm. that Hassan has seen this video, it was inflammatory, and that's why he said what he said. Dankies, dankies, So then dankies. explain to me... Wait, did he walk away? Wait, what the fuck? Why? Why? What? Why did they walk away? Oh. So Hassan like, is shockingly he, stupid. First of all, he hasn't man. seen the video. Secondly, how fucking stupid this man is. Yes. Hassan is, like, it's, it's mind-boggling how stupid this person is. <laughs> it reminds you that these when people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm good. He I said, wonder why we didn't watch Hassan's reaction to the video. It doesn't exist. You don't even know what you're talking about. Where in which. He felt as though there was inflammatory statements made towards him. Wonder why we haven't watched that. Maybe he will. As most YouTubers don't mind that. Do you really think Hassan went through this video? A, vi a video of Jay just parodying him. No. 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 I mean, all Hassan relevant couldn't even be bothered to go through the fucking source material until after he already judged Jay. But I've been told, I have it from a reliable source, that Irrelevant is a journalist. Oh. And he's doing his due diligence by silently watching and cataloging all of these historical documents. Well, I guess like thinking that Jay was on those episodes of EFAP, somebody in his chat told him, so. I actually love that shit.
when Twitch streamers react to their videos. He's talking about just Twitch reactions in general, which yeah, most YouTubers do appreciate. I appreciate that. I really like it when that kind of thing happens to me. But what Hassan seems to not understand is that most YouTubers do have a line where they're no longer okay with the reaction content. This line is gonna be in a different place for different creators. Most YouTubers like to receive reactions, but far, far fewer are comfortable with being used as filler as the streamer has some downtime. This is a distinction yep. that it's- I'm sorry, that's yes. the way that every streamer uses it. Let's be fair. That's, all right? oh, yeah, okay. that's so a problem, all my dude. That's great. That's a problem. <sighs> I can't no, believe that, like, like everybody like, does it. It's just being used as a point. Like, come on. Can we, can we... Also, we're not doing the, it right now. The, I could highlight the irony here of he says all streamers do it with EFAP in the background. That's pretty perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are on the opposite end of the scale, my well, dude. Is, is this poetic irony, is it? I think so. Is it all streamers <laughs> steal people's content. That's just how it works. No. So, what is the longest EFAP? How 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 long have these pauses actually been? Thirty one hours is the longest one. That was Jeez. uh, was that one hundred or one fifty? Uh, fifty. Okay, yeah, that was thirty. Was that? Oh wait, no could, way. It could have been no. one hundred. No, because yeah, because fifty was thirty, and then one hundred was thirty one, because we tried to beat out the previous year. Yeah. Right, right. Also, sorry for being uh in and out. A little bit. I, I had two little boats there where I wasn't around. Uh, so I got demonetized and then remonetized all throughout EFAP. Hey. Really? <laughs> yes. So had a problem, solved it. I guess we're good. <laughs> um. All right, let's be on. Come on, let's keep it honest. All right, let's 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 stop fucking around with the fuck around. Let's be honest, okay? We all like retreat to you guys when we're out of content. That's what you're there for, okay? You're. Uh, Jesus. Man. Um, yeah. I mean, if you wanted you know, if, to. If you're, out of com if you're out of content, you should just, like, end the stream for the day. The, Go do something else. This Don't comment, this content. compared to the rest of them, is a little less funny. It's just like, oh. Yeah. So there it's it is. Sad. Yeah, he's, he's just like, we retreat to you guys when we're out of content. It's like, dude, what content? You don't have any. Do your job, Jesus. That's what I mean, man. Take pride in your work and you wouldn't be this shit. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad for you that you're so comfortable with it. Streamer uses it. Let's be fair. All right, let's be on. Come on, let's keep it honest. All right, let's let's stop fucking around with the fuck around. Let's be honest, all right, okay? <laughs> we all, all right. like, retreat to you guys when we're out of content. That's what you're there for, okay? Your YouTube content is there when I ain't got nothing else left to talk about. Dude. Man, wow, what a thanks so much. What a, Thank what you a, so much. Wow, thanks. what an a it's like, so, Why the fuck are you here, then? <laughs> it's doubly worse coming from someone who just sits their ass in front of a webcam and sits there in a chair and they're like oh yeah all these people who like edit videos with programs and look up all this information and do video editing and they retake and retake the recordings and they watched it like fuck you what a piece of shit for someone who's doing this to be like oh yeah you people only exist fuck off man you got no clue have you ever made a video <laughs> I don't know, no, right? I, I don't know if he's ever expended that level of effort. I <laughs> that is, like, what is this? Why is there not anything that like stops you from? Yeah, you guys who make stuff that takes like t some amount of time, you're just here to entertain my viewers while I take a shit. That's all you. <laughs> that's the purpose you serve. Why it's would you say that? Incredible disrespect why? for people. Why who... would you say that? <laughs> Mm -hmm. he, like he is someone literally makes the extractive he, he's, he's literally the extractive capitalist that takes from other <laughs> exactly. people exactly <laughs> he's a fucking lefty the level of type, irony the, most, the level uh, of irony is is off the charts these parasites man andrew ryan yeah, yeah, was right <laughs> these people they're, are they're, fucking they're, parasites yeah, they're, they're playing content that isn't theirs and even though those are the people might get a little bit of a bump they're extracting out that level, that level of capital that shouldn't be theirs. It, it's, it's ex like, it's... They it, are extracting it's all of the utility <laughs> from someone else's work for free. They gain yeah. everything. Siphoning the them, yeah. might get something. Maybe. Maybe. A little, a fat bump <laughs> of maybe 200 people. Maybe. The fucking pair... You know, I... A lot of YouTubers, the vast majority of YouTubers, they do it... And they just don't get any money for it. They do it because 
they are really trying to make a living out of it or because it's a hobby that they're pouring work into and any dollar that they get is just amazing. You know, they're working their asses off to maybe get to the point where it can sort of start to give them some money in return. And these people sit there and 500 assholes watch them and they just got no clue what really making content is. And it, it's kind of like it, it should piss you off. It should make you upset it's hard, hard to hear this to. kind um, of idiocy. Especially when, right, so I'm currently working on the next big project, but I've also got Goodell to sort out, especially with the days closing in. Um, meanwhile, I needed to get this all sorted, which meant I needed to watch the stream, make timestamps, and then chop it up in <coughs> Vegas, and chop in the references from Jay's video after rewatching that to get the correct context for everything he was saying on timestamps. Then, of course, just mix it all up into something that's a bit quicker and chop out all the fat, render that, and then have us react to it on a stream to the point where we're at, what, nearly five hours in 37 and a half minutes. Um, compare that to... Mm, I woke up, had some food, sat on my stream. Whose YouTube video can I watch today? There we go. Uh, I'll stay silent for 20 minutes and then go, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the, thanks for the donation. Oh, boy. This is such... It's such a damning clip oh, that yeah, it's tells bad. you so much about this person. The way that they view what they do, the way that they view the work of other people, and, and, and their position in this sort of, this sphere of content creation. Like, I, well, you know, I am better than you. You exist only to fill my time when I don't have anything to do. I imagine that's that what you do. Because he's laughing while saying it, maybe we can infer that he's not 100% serious and he understands that there's a yeah. negative sort of thing to this and that maybe if he was pressed on this, he'd be like, yeah, okay, I agree. It's not a good thing that it happens, but it does. Well, it's, it's almost the problem like is that it's even, YouTubers that's almost worse as it, well, it is worse if he engages in it after deciding that he thinks it's immoral. That would be bad, yeah. Yeah. But he does do it, he, so... Sorry, what are you saying? Views, he views YouTubers as content creators for, like, his amusement and streamers on Twitch are professional watchers of things. It almost it you it almost comes off that way, right? Like YouTube is just this nice library of stuff for you to use to, for to my whatever job, ends that you want. My job is higher than that. <laughs> my job is to watch. Okay. I mean, and and he's in a how did this? He's in a lucky world uh, where most YouTubers will first of all not do anything at all, or secondly, be like, "Oh, did you like my video? Cool." Right. And then Jay comes along, a very civil and calm way of explaining that this is not cool for a lot of people and for a lot of reasons. And what happens? He gets fucking head bitten off, called a liar, and a disingenuous clout farber. Disgusting. Well, I mean, we're closing in on the end of this section, and uh, Thank let's God. say our relevant is not exactly, uh, he's not great. Not this is great. the best video. This is the best yes. of the three. Dude, the <laughs> it is. Per wow. person two may drive you wow. insane. Um, Oh no. ...about our business. The Welcome to the Game series is a phenomenal series of games. It is my personal favorite game to watch on Twitch. It is my personal favorite game to watch on Twitch. Of, of all time. Favorite game, number one. Is Welcome to the Game. And, like, scrutinized. The creator of that game publicly stated, I don't know if they stay to this, publicly stated that that game, more people watch it on Twitch than they do buy it. And that is an issue that they have with the game. Because people would, or more specifically, that people would rather watch the game be played on YouTube or Twitch than actually buy the game itself. Would you say then that those people are out of line for streaming that it game? It depends if they transformed it. Yeah. That's just how it works. Let's so, play and streaming games is very complicated. much in that gray area. Yeah. If I, you know, long plays, those are the ones that I'm really like, how is that allowed? It's basically just silent commentary. Um, especially if it's through. a narrative focused game. I was well, going to say, a long play, yeah. of, long play of The Last of Us and The Last of Us 2. It's like, oof, that's, mm. uh, hmm. I would not uh, blame a developer it? for saying you can't do that. I wouldn't blame them. 
wouldn't blame it, them. isn't it isn't isn't the reason it's allowed because gameplay itself is performative so every person well, so you can i think it exists the in thing this... is the thing is i don't think that that's there's a reason why nintendo did a lot of the things that they did and initially and nothing happened about it and it was their choice to make changes because i'm pretty sure that that's not going to be a good enough point that it's a video game and it's necessarily going to be different for everybody how they play well, it. I don't know that that don't, would be a good enough point. I don't think point. Nintendo was ever taking the court, though. I think YouTube just says, okay. Like, they just kind of capitulate. Well, so the thing is, so, like, a video game is another thing that is protected by copyright. That Someone sure. made it that belongs to them and they have the right to distribute it and disseminate it and, and do whatever with it uh, as they want. Playing... I don't know what that would mean in terms of how it is transformed. I think that it's simply that with video games, it's at least a little bit clearer that you are not getting quite the same thing. If I just, if like, for instance, if someone streamed them watching, like, Avengers, you've mm -hmm. watched well, Avengers, uh, you've watched it. That's well, it. Whereas I, I, if I watch someone play Dark Souls, I've watched them play Dark to Souls. To be fair, I haven't I, played Dark Souls. It would still depend on what they do. Um, it, I think so, yeah, we'll go, right. and, and you're right with something like Dark Souls, because like if we compare with, let's go with Dear Esther. I know it's, I just need the examples. So we'll go with that. Uh, streaming that in full with very little commentary, it's just like so. I may as well have played it. Uh, there's really no difference. Um, mm -hmm. However, something like Dark Souls, League of Legends, or uh, Killing Floor, wh whatever game that has a shit ton of variables that depend on the player, that's where it does get complicated for me, because it's like, well. You didn't play it because they've played it in a very specific. If you're watching someone who's incredibly skilled and naturally they don't have commentary because they're focused, like so, is that not transformative? And it's like, hmm. I, I think it wouldn't be if you just play a video game silently. I don't think it'd be considered transformative because you're still the game is intended to be played the way you're playing it. You're not transforming the material outside the bounds of. Of its intention or existence. If it's a, if it's narrative focused, I think I agree with you. But if it's mechanically like, and that's it, it's like, well, the person watching isn't playing at all, right? Well, no, I think that would be that would fall more into like, does the video game company really get damaged by people watching it? Like, if it is people watching like you know a fighting game, you think like, well, who's you know who's really in the market of watching people play a fighting game than playing it, as opposed to uh, yeah, if it's a complete I mean, model. I that market is just quite players. large, right? Competitive? Isn't like yeah, especially, you're watching, especially you're watching a competitive thing. It's a little different though. Well, sure, is but it? that means that there are a lot of people sure, who would that's rather like, watch people. You're watching do it a specific play, right? player who's really so they're good transforming at it. Right. Well, so, because, so once you're good enough, it's transformative. Well, no, but I'm saying I don't like know that that's an argument that you could put forth ever. I don't I don't know that that's No, no, I'm saying there's a difference between the, the the argument in terms of like the narrative focus like that makes sense if you're just like i don't know about the game he's talking about if it's just a narrative game with no real mechanical elements then yes it's very easy to see how streaming that with no commentary would definitely not be transformative well the, I, I think that's the reason why it's complicated because um i know that it's i think it's something that's kind of just been accepted at this point um it seems like often there is a utility in letting people just like stream video game content gets more eyes on it like a lot i i think that, oh yeah i feel like that would be the way to put it video game yeah, companies it's often tolerate worth it. yeah video game companies really tolerate what's happening i don't like know Disney that, that necessarily yeah exactly like the trailer is technically copyrighted material um that can they're be like yeah fucking play the trailer want. as much as you want it's literally um, free advertising yeah um, I also think that intention matters because do you guys recall that one story a year or two ago where a guy was streaming on Twitch the pay per view of a UFC match? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he had himself in the corner with, with a PlayStation 4 controller pretending he was playing the actual <laughs> UFC game. And it's like, well, <laughs> like, that's like that, that, that is clearly transformative because it's like, it's its own kind of little show. Like, look, look at what this guy's getting away with. So, like, that has its own. Well, I don't, but I also, don't that. I agree with that. <laughs> well, I, I, I do, I do, because like he was in the corner as like a little, little green screen, you know, little, little head thing. And he has his, he has his controller and he's like, like, like miming playing. So, like, that is, that was its own, its own little show. Seeing like, oh, that's, look at this guy doing that's, this. That's, that's what we call an exploit. Just, like, that's not transformative. Yeah. That's an exploit. <laughs> but but also but also it's the fact that he he was 
he was doing it specifically to get around those rules. Exactly. So, yeah. so, so I, th I think I think the intention also matters. Well, that, that's, that's true. It does complicated. Legally it's complicated. It's, because... Well, this is, this is the thing. Well, all, all we're highlighting is how it's, it's a murky area right now. How to transform a video game? Well, it's like, well. Ugh. I, well, because remember, I, like, copyright as a principle and a lot of the law surrounding it arose before the I'll internet. Because, I mean, right. of course, video games have been around for a while, but, like, video game content on the internet is, what, like, 10, 15 years old? Um, mm -hmm. And it's all constantly developing and changing all the time. It's really... Because the goal... The goal with um, copyright is to protect the the creators. Like that's that's the idea, and fair use is meant to exist to a uh, mm -hmm. befit some sort of public utility. That's the reason why criticism is allowed, is because there's a public utility in allowing people to freely criticize other like uh, work that exists. So it's kind mm -hmm. of a, a question at this point, probably of well, what is the broader utility of let's plays or any of these sort of more murky gray area stuff versus how ought uh, the people who created that stuff be protected and be able to enforce their rights. That's kind of like the balancing act that we have to try and figure out. And it feels like we're naturally going towards the point where video games are going to kind of be an exception. It seems that way. Like video game content really is much more so tolerated well, um, than film, television, music. I mean, if you're only look at the transformative principle, I think there's a strong argument that if you play any video game with no commentary, it's not transformative. But the the other question is, with fair use, is you have to see is the person by using your copyright material are they affecting your market? And I think that's that where a, a lot of the yeah, 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 kind yeah. of gets through is because the perception is well, people aren't going to watch a game over playing it most of the time. Which I is think that's why the narrative. Now, I yeah, I think that's why the narrative true, but... distinction exists. Right. Yeah, I mean, some people might watch a let's play because they they just want the experience of the game without actually buying it. Some people watch a let's play because they like, they, they like the personalities of the people doing yeah. the let's play. Right. Yeah. Commentary and... or not, it's fair use. I. Uh... We I have do not, not established know. that. I, I, I wouldn't want to jump on that one. Well, and someone I, um, uh, super ahead. chatted with, uh, is your playthrough of Little Hope transformative? It's like, so every single clarification oh, we've been making is that um, <laughs> com no commentary. We keep saying no commentary. commentary because matters. commentary yeah. transforms it for sure. In, yeah, yeah. And I was going to say, in the same way with the Avengers example, Fringy, if, like, if I talk over the whole thing, it's like that's not the same as watching it, right? Sure. Well, so that that's kind of the interesting because because it's, it's good to like let's not get confused. Like, if you ideally in an ideal world, I should be able to play a full minute clip in like a review that I'm making of a film and not have any problems as long as I am reviewing. You know, I'm using these references to support what I'm doing. Right. YouTube doesn't work like that though because YouTube is shoot first, ask questions later. YouTube doesn't let you do that because yeah, this is your if you do that, you can upload clips. You have been. You have been prevented from doing something that you really ought to be able to do because a lot of other people didn't do the right thing. Um, yeah, well, that, well, a lot of this kind of, kind of ties in. You, you actually go. You go ahead. You go ahead. Okay, thanks. Um, I'm also thinking now because you can buy audio files that are um, that are riff tracks of of various movies. They don't come with the movie, right? They they could because right. it's because it is it is technically transformative. Their their commentary of the movie. But they usually so don't. So much simpler for them. Well, that's, yeah, that's I'm why. About it's that, also yeah. the same thing with, like, you. we have to remember that YouTube's copyright laws are not the legal. Well, uh, YouTube's aren't copyright laws. laws. They're the yeah. ways that they enforce the terms of service. Yeah. Which yeah, are the, obviously dictated uh, by U.S. copyright law. Yeah, YouTube um, shoots first and asks questions later. Because technically, you should be able to upload, like, I was listening to Red Letter Media commentary of Justice League the other day. And, like, <laughs> theoretically... Legally, they should be able to have the video, the movie playing with their commentary. That would, I would say, that'd be transformative well, enough. It's it close. Is, it's not going to happen. It's, it's, it is because remember there are there are a few factors that play into it. But I, I guess it's the idea that ideally, EFAP movies should be able to show without having to do the like great, yeah. you know, the transparency thing because we are, tr and when you're doing a review. I shouldn't have to chop everything up into like little five second chunks to not get hit by copyright. I should be able to play the scene in full and then talk about the scene. But the system is designed to prevent the things that aren't allowed because YouTube gets in trouble if that like this is this is kind of the reason why it's interesting with Twitch because it feels like a house of cards that's inevitably going to collapse 
because YouTube's had all of these things happen before yeah. where like Twitch Nintendo no or been able to get like away. music companies or especially music companies back in the day or like, you know, uh, film studios that they've like come at YouTube for these things. That's why YouTube has the system. They want right. to prevent as much as possible people doing things that infringe on copyright, which means that people who don't infringe on copyright have to abide by rules that they probably should be allowed to not have to deal with because they're actually transforming it. Twitch is going to have the same thing happen eventually. All it's going to take is like a company to go, wait a minute, you're telling me they're watching like all of MasterChef? Yeah. Like they're just watching MasterChef. When we, Fox, like who are now part of Disney, I guess, have our own methods of monetizing this work that is just not being used. It's entirely like p pulling away from our market. We own it. All right, we're coming off to Twitch. And then that'll be like a reckoning. Um, mm -hmm. And it's probably going to happen eventually because this um, can't go on forever. And from chat, uh, you cannot get the same experience without the exact same input from the player as to change the experience pacing, little details, these all change. So I actually mm. think that's about as relevant as saying you cannot say that our relevant watching Jay's video with no commentary is the same as watching the video because you'll hear his breath, you'll see him looking <laughs> around, you'll see, like, yes, there are changes right. But there's got to be a line, guys. There's got to there's yeah. be, like, if we highlight one simple change to the experience and then it, it's done. As I said, narrative-driven games that are like walking simulators, not to be disparaging to that right now, my point is more so that it lacks mechanics significantly. And, you, and, and say the devs worked really hard on the fucking story, and then you just re-upload that and everyone watches it and no one buys the game. It's like, it feels like something's wrong there. Something, something yeah, it doesn't feel right. Happening. Nintendo is suing you for streaming of... their game would be like Fender suing your friend for playing your guitar. Do you really think that that's a good analogy? Speaking of analogies... Yeah. No, like going back to the earlier thing with our relevant and his amazing oh. analogy. <laughs> but like, yeah, what? that's... Uh... What? Like the guitar, they sold you the guitar. They didn't sell you like the music or someone else's capacity to use your guitar. Like what? Well, yeah. To be fair, that people are making money off re-uploading like the full stories of games that release on the market themselves, and it's just like, is that cool? It's like, hmm. I don't know. No, I would say I'm not no. sure. I, I there's I no mean, I mean, I like, like it. Yeah. I don't want to be too definitive, and there's loads of complications to this. Hence, why there's no clear laws on this yet, but there will be. Give it time, right? In, in especially time. if people keep doing like there, there is an element of respecting the spirit of the law that should go into responsible content creation. Going like saying "ha ha," I can't believe I'm getting away with this. Ha ha ha! Isn't this great? Is not the attitude you want to have because you will invite that hammer coming down one day, and mm. you. So, do you guys? know why at least in america there is no actual alcohol consumption in alcohol commercials some law or... oh i never thought about that you're right yeah. now your your first thought was because of a law but actually there is no law that says that they don't have to do that it is a pretty much agreed upon set of rules that alcohol companies abide by so that there are no laws on it. Well, they are very stringent and very they're they're, keen, they're quite keen on playing it very safe in their commercials, so mm -hmm. that there is no reason for a law to happen. Is it? Uh, is it? Is that the standard that the alcohol companies have, or is it a standard that most broadcast that a, stations no, that, have? That's a standard that the alcohol companies did, okay. and it is it is. It has become normalized, maybe just because it's been happening that way for so long. But it's right. kind of like the Hayes Code in a way. Yeah, it's like where, it's like the movie ratings. Yeah, hmm. yeah. It, it is not like, and it's it is not a legal thing. You know, there's not a law in the books. But because these groups of companies or whatever come together and agree on these rules and follow them well enough, that means there doesn't have to be any laws. There's no pressure to make legitimate right. you know, legal declarations on these things. Yeah. The and movies rate themselves because otherwise, you know, they don't want the government to have to do yeah, it. Yeah, there's so. an understanding here that, you know, we're kind of, yes, we're competing in a business level, but we are all alcohol, you know, providers and we do, you know, provide a, a product, a service, all that sort of thing. We don't want to have the legal hammer come down because, you know, the government is at the very, very top of everything. 
And I feel like a lot of streamers in particular have this attitude of get it while the getting's good mm -hmm. and fuck the rules. I can't believe I'm getting away with this. I'm going to do it to spite the rules. Me, 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 me. Super selfish. Fuck everybody else. It, they have this attitude that is so harmful. To they, it, It's just, it comes across as selfish and irresponsible, and it doesn't respect the spirit of a lot of these rules. Um, and it, well, it will bite them. It, it will, eventually. It's only a matter of time. Um, but obviously he brought up video games just as the like, so what should the rules be on that? And it's like, these are still being figured out. It's tough. Mm -hmm. We don't know yet. Yeah. It's video complicated. Games definitely, video games definitely You know what's not complicated? Playing someone's video on your stream just fully, because you can't be yeah. able to do anything with it, and they have to your orders. That's just not, that's unambiguous. I feel like, just because you can highlight, well, what about that thing? That's not unambiguous. It's like, okay. Game? Like, that is a fair, like, legitimate thought process. Is that an unfair thing to do? You know? And I personally, I don't think it matters unless the creator explicitly specifies that they don't want the game streamed. Well, then, then I would care, but in, in, until that happens, I don't think you have a moral responsibility. Uh... I don't think you have a moral responsibility. Well, he's, he's, that he's, is, it's consistent with what he said before. You can steal as much as you want until someone says, hey, don't do that. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, your work exists for me, says a lot Conveniently, about how moral responsibility of content. Conveniently, the system means he has to do the littlest amount of work. Hmm. Crazy. But uh, that's all from me today. If you've enjoyed this video, good. <laughs> I, 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 oh no. I honestly just straight up believe that video was just a second video about that Hassan shit. I, I don't buy for a second that it was about, honestly, anything else. You're an idiot, then. It, it, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, it was broadly that? about reaction content. That's what the whole thing was. Yeah. It, it felt exactly like the other video, but it was just... I'm sorry you feel that way. He thinks that that video was just like the stream that Jay did with the parody. How in the world could you possibly say that? I don't, I don't Jay... know. There was no commentary in the other stream, right? It was just Jay sitting there with the, the fake pizza. Yeah. You told you're telling me that I have to show the channel name Relly you leech. I if I get anybody who does that in earnest, I know you're memeing. Well, if uh, they did it in earnest, if I get not anybody memeing. that does that in earnest, bro, I'm gonna have to log off. All right. Someone is telling you to, to show what you watched and who did it, and you're like, fuck you, I'm gonna log. I'd rather log off. I'd rather quit streaming than give credit to the person whose content I just watched. Actually, fuck you. Well, I, I, the, the title of this stream is the absolute state of Twitch streamers. It's like, yeah, that's pretty mm -hmm. bad. Uh, do better, as my hero Jeez. would say. Do better. Log off, alright? Twitch streamers are... Twitch streamers are, you know that kid who was never spanked by their parents and they just could just get away with everything? That, okay. That's what twi uh, Twitch streamers are. I ain't gonna agree with you on that one, buddy. What? What do you mean? I think spanking's bad. No, right. Well, I was using it as a general. Oh, oh Mahler is anti-spanking. Fuck yeah. Screw spanking. Screw anyone who does it. I think that you should be able to achieve discipline without that. But what Absolutely. if you can't? Um, like, then you shouldn't resort to violence. That's an even worse decision. I don't know, man. When you see that kid screaming in the grocery store, you're like, I wish that mom would just. Pop yeah, take them out. Mouth. Yeah, take them out. Not Turn with a spank. <laughs> um, I am very pro spanking with consenting adults, of course. Oh, okay. I see how it is. I would even guess that one of the podcast uh, dweebs told uh, Jay that Hassan said on his stream uh, his mom is not there and he will start cooking food in AFKing on stream again, so it made them make themselves uh, relevant again with a, a second go at the video. I don't know about anything like that. That was read so poorly, I, that, I almost like, I, didn't understand. I was about to say, yeah, did what? any of you guys catch that? Because I yeah, actually missed they, it. <laughs> fuck me, you are so bad at reading that I... I uh, I didn't even like catch that. It was it was like a clumsy journey down a down a goat path. And he will start cooking food in AFKing on stream again, so it made them make themselves 
uh, relevant again with a, a second go at the video. I don't know about anything like that. I think that well, uh, uh, you're saying like that's the motivation for making this video. I, I have no idea. Honestly, I got no fucking idea. I don't. Does it ever bother you that all you fucking want to talk about is the motivation behind it, never the arguments themselves? Like, never the thing itself? Jeez. Yeah, well, it's all ad homs. Because he can't actually attack the argument. Keep super up to date with that. That just felt like it was a, another it. video to just shit on his son. To be able to get back to that for whatever reason. As, <laughs> for whatever that reason. <laughs> That's all that really felt. It, 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 it was literally a video about Hassan. Anybody that says otherwise is... Hassan is in it. Hassan is part of the video. He is, in a way, what inspired the video. Ugh. But if you think I mean, it was a Hassan video, then you're a fool. Why does that even matter? I don't know. <laughs> what you should be able to do for your job is just understand information that is presented to you, and you can't do that. Just it's like, like that sounds like reading. Read. God, and we've talked about this before. All Hassan had to do to avoid all of this was go. I know. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Uh, JX is the channel. Link in chat. Uh, it was a good video. I'll do better. Yeah. All you have to do. Being stupid. Like it, it was just a video like about Hassan, and it felt like the original video that they had before was like whatever. I'll be willing to take an L on this in the future. There you go. In their reaction, I don't think I don't think you're telling the truth. I don't think you will. <laughs> I don't oh, think that you. A, I don't think adventure. that you can do it. That is it, everybody. No, 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 no. Or, this is just the first step. You said of it, terribleness. Well, yes. This part one of. But, but tonight we're at five hours. We're probably gonna go to super chats now. Um, oh. And besides, everyone I think <laughs> oh. needs a break before they they encounter Fleem cringe too. I would Fleem say cringe so. Being too. well rested ahead of the next one, otherwise. Is, is, is going to be a hint of who, whom the streamer is, or is it going to be a surprise? Um, I don't know. Is there any reason to keep that a secret anyway? I, like, I guess not, right? There's no reason. Uh, maybe not. Uh, it's a, it's a lady. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jay's responded to this lady and had a debate with this lady, which is all in the coverage of her. Mm -hmm. So that oh should be God. enough for several people in chat to get it. But, uh, uh, it's the queen. Her name is Denims. Oh. Do you know her? Why'd you make her? I know who Denims is. God, she's a fucking. She has, she, has a, she has a black hole for a brain. <laughs> <laughs> she has a black hole for a brain. No thoughts go in, no thoughts go out. No, only <laughs> thoughts come out. I guess, I guess no thoughts come out. Only it, she. Well, I don't. Hmm. What, if you have a black hole for a brain, doesn't that mean you just absorb a lot of information that, that I but guess you can absorb it and happens do nothing as a with result. it? You yeah, take it the light gets, from the world. It, it, gets, it gets squashed into a little singularity at the center, <laughs> the size of an atom. The I'm size of an atom, right? Or my THOT thoughts is what comes out. Wait, hold on. Is, is the singularity is like the size of an atom, isn't it? Or is it smaller than that? I don't know how big a gravitational singularity is. I, I, I do not uh, know. I'm going to say uh, it's... A, uh, it's no, I, it is compressed down to an infinitely tiny point. That's right, because we don't understand how things work in black holes so very well. I looked it up. Yeah, we don't know. I mean, of course we don't know, right? We can't send anything in yeah. there to find out and send Maybe that we could send her right into out. one and see what happens. See which one's denser? <laughs> do, they, do they cancel out, or...? Fringy, is that Wiki Andy? No, I got that one from space.com. I'm sure that they know a lot about oh, space. They're oh, called space. Yeah, space.com, uh, that's right. I find that so fascinating that there's just like this part of the universe. Well, I guess many parts, right? There are many black holes out there where it's just like, yeah, things just don't really like work the same in, in this place. <laughs> they just, everything, like, everything that we understand about the way that things work doesn't here. And also, I mean, it's the same with like, isn't isn't the idea that particle theory and string theory are like incompatible but both work? Right. It's like the difference between YouTubers and Twitch streamers. They're just different. What? There's one's rule. particle theory and one's string theory. When one of them is flame theory. Hmm. Flame theory. I've never heard of this flame theory. As long as it it's not flame cringe. cringe. No. <laughs> no. No. Not do it. Uh, anyway. So yeah, what will likely happen is next week will be person number two. And of course, uh, 
Dev, Stitch, you will be welcomed back if you wish to join us for that escapade. Of sure. course. Sure. I thought we were doing it tonight, but okay, sure. So well, does that wow. mean there's going to be three weeks of this? <laughs> so we could Listen, I hear, I hear you guys go for like 12, 15 hours. We really start Super so Chats. Going. That's actually lost as much as three hours usually. Like I, So... Mm -hmm. We this is the thing we uh, we could do another one, but it would probably mean that we wouldn't get to get to super chats at that point. Um, right. General relativity, relativity and quantum theory, right? Oh, right, 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 right. That sounds about right. It, look, all these people in chat, do it, continue, do it. It's like <laughs> fucking, do you know how far behind we are in <laughs> we super wanna, chats? <laughs> we're gonna get to super chats. Well, 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 if that's the case, I'm gonna go make a sandwich, and I'll be back in a minute. Very well. All righty. Sure. Oh, and I guess since we're at the since we're at the end, uh, what yeah, what ended up happening during the thing is, um, I got demonetized on my on my main channel. The entire while, channel. While you, oh, channel yes, white. The main channel's gone. The monetization was gone, and I was like, "What the fuck?" So I was looking into it, and I was typing away, and I have I was emailed an, a Google AdSense pin I had to put in like three months ago. I just forgot about it. <laughs> so um... I was like, "Oh shit!" So I put it in. And they want me to like confirm with my my bank account. So I was doing that. I was doing bank account stuff, That's and I got right. the monetization okay. back. Good. But it was still, it was it was a fun little adventure that was happening in the side there. Yeah. So wasn't you'll never yeah, catch up. Let's be honest. That is not an excuse to never try. <laughs> even yeah, plus, it's, it's right. to be fair. Even if we never did catch up, it is like a cycle where we're constantly making through. It's like a treadmill in a sense. You'll never get to the end, mm -hmm. but you're constantly like sort of making it your own form of progress, right? You're going through everything. It's just there's so many. So Journey. super chats get read. So it's not like it's not like there are super chats we'll never get to. It just means that we'll, we're doomed to have a backlog forever, but we are cycling through them. So they will all get read. Oh, they will. But we will get through them. Um. Yeah, you good for me to you guys good for me to start? Yeah, let's yeah, go. Sure. Let's get going. All right. Hey Fringy, did you play Tetris Effect? I'm all it. Tetris Effect. Maybe? Uh no, actually, that doesn't ring a bell. Uh no, I don't think so. Um That looks it, wow, look at all those crazy effects. Wow. It's, it's, it's almost like it's a Tetris effect. Whoa. I'm look that up. <laughs> oh, you're scaring Rex. Maybe that'll get added to the list. I want to play Kirby. That's that's what I want. I want mm -hmm. to play Tetris Kirby. Kirby. No, not Tetris Kirby. Just Kirby on his little adventure in the Forgotten Land. Who forgot it? Everyone? Yeah, it would seem that way. It's all run down, but it's all lush and pretty and colorful. Neat. So and on Kirby's on my there. gaming channel last night, I actually played that. It's an incredible yeah. game. It's Ooh. really. Good. I've heard great things. I've heard very good things, and I've actually never played a Kirby game uh, before. But yeah, I want to. I want to give this one a shot. It looks like a lot of fun. It's Ooh. it's pretty fun. Uh, Wait, two player mode is not great because the second player can't use copy abilities like in most Kirby's. But okay. it's it's a pretty fun game. Cool. Uh, Victor Shep, fake and gay. Sorry, Victor. Apparently a fake and gay. Metal Slug's art style aged like a, the finest wine. I know Metal Slug's art style. Yeah, we, we, we talked before about how, like, graphics are one thing, but how you stylize everything is likely going to decide how, how long you can last as you age. Yeah. Um, hey, what's a good question I can ask you guys? Um, hmm. I don't know if that was a great one. <laughs> um, well, I mean, there's a lot of questions weird. you could ask us that we haven't been asked theoretically, right? You just got to try and think of them. Mm. Like, what what kind of villain would you like to see in a movie that you think hasn't been done yet? What about that as a question? Uh, Ooh, a raccoon. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. If you were stuck on a deserted island. With a with a tree that grew one kind of pizza, and it was a pizza tree. What kind of a pizza would it be? Oh, I thought this you was you explaining the raccoon thing. Oh, tree no, no, no. We're moving on mm -hmm. to the pizza tree. Yeah, yeah. The, this that's a standard one, right? If you only have one type of pizza for the rest of your life, what toppings would you choose? I guess. Yeah, and. Which I think should be a, a pizza with quite a variety on it. So you want veggies, and you want meat, mm. and you want, you know, the stuff that you could eat constantly, and it at least gives you a, a variety of nutrients, you know. 
Probably yeah, thin just, crust so you don't overcarb. I just realized the Oscars are tomorrow. Ooh, nice segue. Exciting. That wasn't well, a segue, he just real, said. No segue, it's just an observation. <laughs> nah, I know, there wasn't any segue involved. Didn't, like, the last Oscars get the lowest ratings ever? Yes. Uh, yeah, they, they they've seem, been I think pretty they consistently, consistently on the decline. Isn't Amy yeah. Schumer hosting this one with Regina She's Hall? Oh, that'll bring him in. Yeah. Oh, they'll come in, like, it's droves. Regina Hall, Regina yeah. Hall, Amy Schumer, and Wanda Sykes. Mm. Oh, Have no! you ever accidentally said Regina? No. Not really. Okay. Oh, the ratings are just gonna go fucking down a cliff. Well, I, hope I mean, so. in oh, their dude. defense, last year's ratings were probably pretty low just because it's like the COVID year. There weren't a lot of movies and everything got disrupted. Yeah, but like, but man, there's nothing else to do. People are just at home. Well, yeah, but I guess it would be that um, the number of films that have the potential to be nominated is uh, I guess that... much lower. But we'll see, we'll they have been consistently on the decline, to be fair. Like, throughout the whole, like, last decade, they've mm -hmm. been consistently going down. Fringy, why are so many Twitch, th Twitch thoughts from Ozzy? Oh, no. Are they? I didn't know that. Well, I guess that just why means a lot of people in Australia are hot, right? Uh, I mean, I guess that's true. I, I would imagine that Australia has a pretty good ratio. There you go. Based on, yeah. Based on what? Uh, watch Maggie There are a Mae... lot of pretty girls around in, uh, in Australia land. Watch Maggie May Fish Fight Club analysis video. Anyone yeah, you want... Know? We gotta do that at some point. We're supposed who, to do it on my who channel. Who that? Who, who... It's this woman who... She has this in, insane take on Fight Club. What what is, what, how, what's, is, there a, is there a TLDR? Or... I can't even explain it to you. It's insane. We'll have to watch on our, in my channels. Oh, good God. This isn't it. Is it Fight Club Cultural Fascism and the Colonization of Victimhood? That is it. Why does what? that sound like a parody already? <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. yeah but it, you know what? You should invite the three of us onto Adam and Session. We can do it there. <laughs> do you want to do it tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow? Do you not guys <laughs> have a planned show for tomorrow? tomorrow? I'm assuming you guys have a show planned, or? No, actually, it's kind of a problem. Um, the only problem is I'm booked for drink a catch up stream, so okay, we'll do it later. Well, you can have those two on those two chuckles. I'm probably gonna be playing Kirby, so <laughs> 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 I'll be streaming Kirby. Fair enough. Uh, today is Saturday, March 26th, 2022. All right, on time. No, it's not, it's the 27th. Actually, you're right, it is the 27th, yeah. It's the 26th for us in the proper country. Damn, Fringy, we're outnumbered. Run. Oh, no! <laughs> no, the majority of the world is in. The majority of the world's population is on. It's the 27th. Actually, yeah, but I was going to say, a dev is muted, so it's 2v2. We're fine. The majority of the world in the best number one country in the world, which is America, is in the proper time zone. So. Oh, it's the in the 26th right but now. But you're, you're in four time zones, though. And those are the correct time zones. No, you, more like than 13. four, sorry. Don't you have like six? Because you got. No one cares you got, about you Hawaii. Got, no one cares about that. No one cares about Alaska or Hawaii or is Puerto Rico in Eastern or are they. Okay, the around? contiguous United States. Yeah, has four time zones. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah, we, we have more than that because we're weird. <laughs> we, like in daylight time, uh, we have some that have daylight time and some that don't. We are. Uh, I think right now we have six time zones at the moment. Hold on, let me yeah. let me see. Are you guys in daylight saving time? Do you? Do uh, so, well, some of us are. Uh, so hold on, let me see if I can find the map. Yeah, we Did have. You... Uh, we have. We have. Um, one, two, three, four, five time zones during summer. Wow. What about in England? Do you guys have daylight saving time? Uh, no, it doesn't, you can only have one, it's too small. Oh yeah, we, uh, <laughs> London is like how everyone, uh, used to, yeah, but we're tiny. Greenwich. Um, Greenwich. That's no, I just mean by like, is. like, it, when you, you choose time zones on, like, uh, websites or technology, <laughs> whatever, it'll always be listed as London. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, oh, do you China guys use... only has one, right? Or no? What was that, sorry? You do the spring back... Uh, oh yeah, well, so fun back. funnily enough, um, literally, I think an hour ago, our our clocks went forward. So I oh, have today? to now, 
this so going forward i need to wake up an hour early yep, awesome. it was and tonight then, that that and then when my clocks go Time back then the it'll be two hours Oh boy, back to the very, very, very early starts. Uh, Sitch, that... remind me to change my alarm clock, because it's, it's a, I'll, I'll an analog one, okay? Thank you. I thought you in the US one? it was based off of, like, the equinox or something. I thought I didn't think it was something just random, like some random day. I'm sure there's a reason uh, they might well be when based they did, on... and I'm not sure when that is. Yeah, well, because the... usually here it's uh, early April. For us, I think it's something like the last Saturday of the month or something like that. I don't know. Or Sunday of the month, oh. sorry. Because that was the beginning of the month. I don't. Um, I don't know. I, I'd have to. I should know this, but I just don't because I've never cared. Oh, my bad. But I wanted it to does go mean away. I will start telling people that EFAP is seven PM BST now instead of GMT. Yeah, bullshit time. Um. All right. Anyway. Well, it Did is. What? It's early. It's early for me. <laughs> Did one of you ask how many time zones does the sun have? Three. And China only has one, don't they? It's uh and it's aligned for the east. So if you live in like super it is far the west party China, approved time. Mm-hmm. The people's time. The people's time. Our time, comrade. Oh, it doesn't change till one AM apparently? Okay, so it's changing in half an hour. My bad. Um so I'm gonna it's gonna go from one AM to just jump to two AM suddenly for me. That's terrifying. Uh, oh. Congratulations on 100k on Moolah. Yes, we recently crossed into 100k subs on the old right. EFAP archive channel. Nice and neat. Uh, we're thinking of doing something for it. We'll, we'll figure something out. All right. Yeah, calm down. All right. We'll do something. Potty hats. I don't know. Um, you said each TFA pop would be two weeks apart. It's been three weeks. This is sarcasm <laughs> in brackets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Two weeks apart. The I, fool, naive fool. You I were. believe I have at least two years before people will consider it late to get TFA part five, so we're all good for now. Uh, just finished Community. Glad it was only three seasons. Otherwise, it might have gotten bloated <laughs> and ridiculous. <laughs> Season five's pretty good. Season five is pretty good, yeah. All bad, is that six, cringe. The second to last season? Yes. Yes. The comeback season, which was live and well and clearly had passion involved and then the next one was sort of just made because oh fuck yeah I guess we carry on I mean it's I good but it's not... seasons in the movie you know yeah it never reaches the first three seasons again no that's definitely peak community yeah. especially with Chevy Chase he's funny as fuck yep also when is EFAP when going to start you choose to... oh sorry <laughs> interrupting when is EFAP going to just start doing Troy and Abed style end scenes <laughs> I don't think we can. Well, Who's going to be we, trying we to have got three people. Yeah. Mother Rags and Frangie. All right, good dude. After what has happened to Destiny, I'm even more blackpilled about online politics. Hoping he goes scorched it. <laughs> uh, he kind of has been. You should see how... <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's been doing some scorched earth stuff. He's I'm back fucking... from... I got my sandwich. Hello. I got my sandwich. I'm ready to go. Listen, I watched a bit of that video, Sitch. The Which one? Fight Club one. Oh, yeah. It's fucking insane, isn't it? I know. Jesus. <laughs> Leave Fight Club alone. <laughs> Fight Club is one of those, uh, it, I think it's been lumped in with like Rick and Morty and, um, isn't, isn't it, they always show like, Joker. oh, you've, you've taken the wrong lessons if you yeah. like Tyler Durden. Basically, like, yeah. it's a little, it's a little more complicated than that. <laughs> like, you went, you want in on the eventual stream of that, Dev? You're welcome to join. Sure thing. Nice. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm we, we don't want to. We don't want to be a part of it. Don't even bother asking. We need. We would. You already never. did. <laughs> Earlier, Rags was like in the bathroom or something. Rags misses I, stuff I, sometimes. I, he has Biden oh, moments. Damn it! That was a very poorly timed poo. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, but yeah, I've uh, I've already seen tweets from him. Where I'm like, well, his tweet Twitter is going to get banned any second now. Uh, <laughs> and there are people who are like let's get him sort of thing and they're like this is an account that's been banned before get him twitch support get him get him get him it's just like i fucking hate online dis discourse that this is <laughs> the horrible. culture that we have now get rid of him get him yeeted out of this like, place these, these you know, spooky you, you robot what, policemen you're just like over there there's there's a bad man get him they're just like, just like yes. what? 
I will X-tab say, I, I have wanted liberals to separate from the left online for like three fucking years now, and I'm glad it's finally happening. <laughs> well, I mean, right? it seems like that's shit. the thing right now. Hasn't liberal been turned into a pejorative? In a little yes, bit? to be fair, by like both sides. By both what sides, happened? Yeah. What happened? All the commies <laughs> happened. The commies but, happened, yeah. But like, we, for, for a long time, the commies have been trying to take liberals and turn them into more commies, and right. that's been like, you know, kind of successful. But finally, this is the moment where they're just like, nope, expel them. And I'm like, thank fucking God. Because I hate the fact that I can't, you know, talk about healthcare on the internet without being called a fucking communist. Like, right, Jesus. Right. Well, do we well, know exactly why he was banned? Not yet, no. Um, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's known quite yet. We probably never reasonable. will find out, to be fair. That's always That's great to no. know that your career, you can just get fucking banned. And it well, to be, to, be, to, be, to, to, to to I mean, you know, he already got departed, so I guess he wasn't making a whole lot of money off of Twitch yeah. directly. Oh, but I guess this is the final nail. He had, an affiliate, button. He had an affiliate button. Oh, did he? Um, okay. Yeah, he did. I, I I think here's the thing. He he went over it on stream, and I watched the stream, and it wasn't clear. But from what they said, it seemed like it was probably because of the stuff he was saying on Twitter. Uh, yeah, saying? there's there's a lot of theories right now. Because to be fair, there's lots yeah. of stuff that it wouldn't surprise me that he he would have been banned for, but only in the sense that Twitch could use it if they want to. Uh, they don't apply right, it equally to everybody. Little, uh... Yeah. Well, and then also it's, that it's... that that uh, Keffel's woman basically got a bunch of people to to like mass report his channel. Right. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of campaigns so, man, to destroy man, him can, right can, now. Can, holy shit! H have you guys seen what, what Keffels has been saying? She she's she she accused him of being a rapist. Mm -hmm. Is she, the, sat, is she, she the one that she said, like, on I'm going like to take seconds. your revenue sources or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on stream, she said Destiny's oh. a rapist. Mm -hmm. And then she waited 30 seconds, and then she was like, oh, that might not be true. <laughs> but, like, it, it, it was it was clean enough so that clearly it could, it could be made into a clip and, like, passed around. And right. that went viral. And so there's so much there's so much deep lore on this current situation. It, this Keffel's person just seems, seems fucking insane. Yeah unstable but is is twitch now doing the patreon thing where they're gonna judge your out off platform behavior as means to that, ban you i they think have they uh wasn't that years. something that got mentioned okay. like i remember because yeah. metal showed me like that there was yeah like last year that that was the thing that got mentioned the off platform stuff can, uh, impact. yep well it just feels like um yeah whatever <laughs> just another you know chapter in the long running history of Oh shit, the internet's getting. Mm -hmm. uh, always down for more of the EFAP Twitch arc. Also, SFO is looking surprisingly shadowy. I think they mean because you weren't here at the time, but that's okay because you want to. Oh, sorry, sorry. Also, also, high rags and others. Hello! So, except Sitch, go make a video. <laughs> who, who said that? <laughs> uh, that was GSPI? Thank you, GSP. Oh, I know. Yeah, okay. I know. Ah, my favorite Nazi kill stream. Hey, spoilers, okay? That's gonna no, be... That's coming in part three, probably. Yeah, that'll be part three. <laughs> um, Sitch, why you like Peacemaker but not Suicide Squad? Oh. Uh, Suicide Squad was just boring. I don't know. I just couldn't care about it at all. Did you guys like Suicide Squad? Hell yeah. The Suicide Squad? Yes, quite no, a bit. The, the second, the one with the starfish. Yes, the Suicide Squad. I don't know. I just I wanted I to like. It. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I really liked the characters, and I thought they were really well done, and mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I like Suicide Girls. Ooh, nice. Um, also, we thought Peacemaker was pretty lame, so it looks like we got the opposite opinion to you. Really? Okay. Which means you're wrong. Anyway, <laughs> why didn't you like? Peacemaker? Um, I thought the jokes were really bad. I thought the plot was nonsense, and I thought that they had screwed up his character from the Suicide Squad over to his show. From what well, I, I hear, mean, it's uh, it's very good the further along you get, though. The, the big problem with Peacemaker is that it's overwritten. Like, a lot of the jokes, like, they'll say a quip, and you're like, oh, it's funny. And then it just keeps going, and you're like, oh, my God, like, stop talking. And it feels like they're really trying to stretch the episodes out. Hmm. Uh, that's apparently a mistype, Rags. That that article is supposed to say uh, Marvel movies, not movies or films. It is, yeah. I 
Someone just posted it on my server. And I was like, this is funny. Yeah, it looks funny as fuck on its own. No, I'm going to get up. <laughs> Jared Leto says he doesn't think movie theaters would still exist without films. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So what he what he meant was well, what he said was Marvel films, and then still people are like, to be fair, oh. if Marvel films didn't exist, something else would have just taken the spot because uh, people like watching films. Well, especially with how many people want to, you know, who who really want to jump in on that Marvel Cinematic Universe style thing. Why is he saying that about Marvel though? Because he's, he's he's in Morbius, so he's promoting it. He's in Morbius. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Oh, how's Morbius doing? Morbius. Uh it's not out yet, I don't think. But um, let's see. Apparently, the director's just been answering questions pertaining to the post-credit scenes. April first is when that comes out. We'll see if that <laughs> is coincidental or uh, appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any reason Jay isn't here on this stream about Jay? I think Jay's asleep. But um, as was pointed out, Jay's been on like 70 faps in a row or something ridiculous. We should probably shake up the guests and we haven't actually Jay is had recharging. good old uh, dev on for a while, nor Sitch. I would have invited Adam, but he just hated the idea of coming on. Isn't that true, Sitch? Uh, it is. Well, no, it's it's true that Adam said that he actually hates you specifically. Mm, me, yeah. Frangy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what? And he would only come on if you weren't on, so... Will he and come I on said, next I don't week? Oh, Invite yeah, we're, I'm glad we're cool. He's my N-word, so we yeah, can he get really likes to work, but not yeah. Frankie for did he, at least, did he at least watch this while doing his work? Uh, no. Wow. He refuses to watch anything with Fringy in it, so... Damn. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think well, he if, just if we like boot Fringy for next week, will he come on then? Oh, yeah, if we, if we, uh, if we, uh... If Fringy's sleeping, if he's asleep mm -hmm. next stream, mm. we could bring it. He can be our, our sub for Fringy. Each one of us needs to designate a sub. <laughs> uh, normally, I'm the designated sub, but what we'll do is we'll find somebody who can replace us if we are asleep uh, or horrifically inebriated or if we die. Well, why can't we just play a video at that point and all sleep and let it play? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I'll entertain our that's chance. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We can just um, play all relevant stuff. No, I don't want to lose. No, anything. we don't want to hit people. <laughs> no, we don't. I want to come back and have people still here. So, I, uh. Uh, hi, Rags. Hello. The whole EFAB crew has a great way of articulating speech and getting points across. Is there any advice or recommendations any of you could give to someone like me who stutters and trips over my own words a lot? Hmm. Hmm. Um, I, I guess think... if you stutter and it's like a problem that's somewhat medical, then I, I'd, I'd probably be like a speech therapist, right? An elocutionist. But if, if it's just An like within the bounds of normal sort of uh, stuttering and, you know, normal... Yeah, like if it's if it's within the realms of sort of just regular issues with getting points Yeah, across, not like a probably... diagnosable sort of thing. Yeah. Um, if, the, if not, then it would just be... I guess it's practice doesn't help. Like just saying practice probably isn't. It's not super helpful. Well, um, uh, talk to your. I I think that games I have. And talk. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I've benefited greatly from talking to myself a lot, I'm as if here. I was making a video, or as if I if I have a, a thought that comes into my head or a point, then I'll just say it as if I'm making a video, just kind of out loud to myself to practice and speaking. I. I think a lot of it comes down to, I think this certainly applies to writing. Um, I'm not certain how it applies to being able to speak, but reading a lot, I think, might help quite a bit. Um, out loud, you mean? Or? Listening. Hmm? Reading out loud? or? Uh, yes, reading out loud. Oh. Uh, I, I think that being able to have a template that you use to sort of practice your mouth, because your mouth is not just a muscle, it is many muscles, your, your, your lips and your tongue. Um, so just having something to read that takes off the you thinking as you go element, but sort of just literally helps you, like with everything else, if you want to practice long jump, then you, you go out and you jump long i guess or if you want to pole vault you know you, you do your every every exercise kind of builds up um you know muscles and so I, I bet there's an aspect of that that comes with speaking the more you speak the better you get at the actual physical aspect of speaking if the problem is you don't know what to say then maybe speak slower 
always think in your mind to plan ahead what you're going to be saying in the future. Uh, try to eliminate or, or be conscious at least of those filler words and verbal tics. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know, things like that. Other than that, I'm not sure. I mean, in real, seriousness, I'm, depending on the severity. You should... I was being serious. I know. <laughs> so I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was being serious. But uh, if it, depending on how severe it is, you should see a speech uh, therapist because, I mean, part of the problem is like, when you have these speech problems, it can be very weird because you can read, you know, maybe if you're by yourself, you can read and you're totally fine. And then it's only when you're talking to other people, they get a problem. Or sometimes you can sing songs clearly and then you stutter in normal speech. So it, like it's it's such a complicated problem that I would I would really if it's if it is an issue to go see a speech uh, therapist. Fair enough. Uh, it's embarrassing the amount of showrunners happily stating they never looked at the original material and who are just happy with that. Poor John Halo. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, John Halo is the main character of the Halo show. Poor he's Master Mr. Chief. Chief more like. John I guess Halo. it's not poor John Halo, it's just fuck John Halo, I guess, would be the... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, guess, I suppose. Uh, even Angry Joe said Halo was bad. Yeah, I, I heard. Uh, they then say even a get Joe... Even a get Joe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to think of what that would be. Even Joe? Maybe they mean get Joe on or something, which... You know. They even got Joe? They, oh, get maybe... Joe and yeah. Honey. Joe and Honey. I was subjected to Spider-Man Twitter for a whole week. They are weird people and they compare Spider-Man 2 to everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I once... I once mm, in, encountered them. They are... Uh, well, they're just as bad as the rest of Twitter, let's just be honest. Um, try finger rag hole. Good morning, love Sev. That is a please don't put your finger in the rag hole. <laughs> I don't appreciate that, Lord Muller. Have you considered a longzilla by Roland Emmerich? It had been on EFAP for the ages. Also, high fringy, <laughs> which is for the good boy. Ah, oh, thanks. Longzilla is definitely on the cards. Definitely yeah. on the cards. Uh, S-Class and R-Tards rise up. Also, hi, Rags. <laughs> Hello. Thank yeah, you. what was in the... Is, it rags is the R-Tards, and mine with Mongos, right? <laughs> Mongos the R-Tards, yeah. <laughs> Mongos and R-Tards. Mola, <laughs> uh, how would you rank the From Software games? Hi, Rags and Green Bird. Right. Um, so... My Hello. favorite listing goes Dark Souls 1, then Bloodborne, then Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3 are kind of oscillating right now, I'm not sure. And then after that, DS2. After a chasm, you know. Big ol' thing. And then that happens. And Sekiro is not something I have played yet, and a lot of people want me to, and I'll get around to it. Um, hi, Dev, please squeak. Squeak. Oh. Ah, that's a clever onomatopoeia there. In the Swedish dub of Arcane, Vi calls Caitlin a cracker instead of cupcake. Realizing what that would sound like in English made me laugh out loud. Better be careful, you should get banned on Twitch for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Vi is a cracker, though, as we know. It's getting banned? It is. Different. Doesn't matter. Can we get banned? Suppressing the truth? Wow. EFAP movies of Murder on the Orient Express? Hi, Rex. Hello. Which one do they mean? Because there are multiple murders on the Orient Express. I wonder how many there are, actually. Like, how many adaptations? I there's think there's a lot. There's two that I know of. But, who knows? Maybe it's like the uh, Three Musketeers. Sure where there's where like there's shit tons and we're just like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be down for it. I think that would be interesting to take a story that's especially a mystery or a... A uh, whodunit style movie, and then watch different versions of that story play out to see the differences. Hmm. Uh, EFAP is art. Here go. It belongs to everyone, comrade. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no. Our it, it, oh, we should change our name to WeFAP. <laughs> 
Uh, thoughts on someone taking stories posted to Reddit, putting them through a text-to-speech bot, monetizing it on YouTube, and shilling a Patreon. It happened to r slash hfy. People argued you couldn't claim copyright on something you posted to Reddit, so it was wrong for the authors to flag the videos. It's like people who go to, like, clip compilations, they pull from Reddit, or they pull from things like that, and they have channels that are just compilations of stuff that they've taken. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, you know, it's I, not I their stuff, say, they're not doing anything transformative with it, uh, it's, it's kind of... I'm certainly uh, not comfortable with it, uh, if someone no. took the time to write out a full story onto Reddit and then you just took it, botted it, and then monetized it, it's like, ugh. That is not, I don't, I do not think that counts as transformative. But you know what? They're a guilty pleasure of mine when I'm working out. They're quite convenient. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. listening to them is one thing. It's the aspect of... Well, I like, guess it's just more about them being able to get away with them and yeah, how far does that it. go, you know? Now, if well, if people were doing that and, like, these channels uh, that take this Reddit compilations of things that happen and it's just, a, it's just a clip show of things that they've taken and they say, all right, all of the money that I get, it's donated to charity or something like that, I'd be so much more willing to be like, oh, okay, you know. I think that's why they specified text to speech as well, because you get those creepypasta channel, uh, channels that are like a lot of voice acting comes into it, and so there is something about yeah. like, okay, and then visual work and stuff, and it's like, so it is written. And if you credit who wrote it, like, you know, there's more to say on that than there is on these, where it's just like. At least oh. there's an argument to be made, yeah. you know? Because, mm -hmm. like, the radio shows of old, a lot of work went into the sound effects and the voice acting, and especially knowing that it is audio only. It influences what the the kind of stuff that you're going to have in your story, the things that you can actually convey to an audience. Some of those are good, by the way. So some of those old ones, those old Twilight Zone episodes that yeah. would be on the radio. They're neat. Um, if this situation gets bad enough, can't Jay or anyone else start striking the Twitch streamers, whoever they may be, especially if they react or transform as badly as Hassan? Jay doesn't want to do it, uh, and a yeah. lot of people don't. It feels really fucking lame that you have to DMCA mm -hmm. these people. You don't want to do that. It's one. the tools of the fucking oppressor. That's what YouTube does to <laughs> us our whole lives. And then it's like, yeah, well, it's time to use that system to stop people stealing your stuff. And you're like, oh. Why can't they just not steal it? And then you, you see the arguments we went through for the past five hours. Ugh. Rags. Opinion on deep dives plus elite. Deep dives plus elite? Is that something to do with Deep Rock Galactic, maybe? I I don't have an opinion on it. I guess I just don't really know what that's referring to, I guess. Maybe um, I don't know it by its proper name, or if that's like a game mode I'm not aware of. I I'm yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm, yeah, someone in chat said Deep Rock Galactic Deep Dives. Apparently it is that. Maybe that's a mode I haven't played yet and I'm not familiar with it, because I haven't played that game in a little while. I need to get back into it. It's been on my to-do list for some time, the peeps I normally play it with, but there's a lot of games that we like to play together, so sometimes you just... It's just a while before you get back to some. Uh, Fringy, play Kirby yet? Not yet, but soon. There's a, it's, so you've got it, right? It's available and stuff? I did buy it, yeah. yeah. So uh, I shall play it soonish. Mm. The best way to describe it is it's just it's Mario 3D World for Kirby. Yeah, that seems that's the impression I've gotten. Yep. Mola, stay long. I will. Rock and Stone Rags. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Rock and, uh, oh, that's that's a that's a voice line from Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, like right. Rock and Stone. And the Those dwarves, the man, they love mining. And, and they ended with Love and Engineer Main. Alright. Today's animal of the day is the Slippery D-Word Rassy. The Slippery D-Word? I don't know. It's, huh? Oh, it's the Slippery Dick. Okay. <laughs> they pulled an the animal, the Slippery Dick? D okay. The Slippery Dick. I got an animal called the Slippery Dick. I mean, so. the animal of the day is a new trio, we learned. Like uh, it's a little fish, a little fishy. Nice. 
Uh, hi, Fringy. Is a nest your city? P.S. You're a bird, Fringy. No, I'm not. Not, not a nest. No. Alright, let's... Stop that right there, didn't you? Done and done. Yep. Um, you can't take my piss. It's mine, and I own the rights. Some people do just take the piss, man. They just take it. You don't want them to, but they just get in there. Rush It's out. a dark world, the yeah. one where you can't own your own piss. Oh, yeah, I think so, yeah. That's, a, that's how I express myself. Uh, the one thing I don't understand about copyright is once you put something on the internet or YouTube, haven't you shared it with the whole world technically? So isn't it no longer yours once you share it, or am I just dumb? That, I, I don't want to say it's you being you, dumb, but... You I can see why you're having this thought. Um, the idea is that you are allowed to share it on your terms, basically. So, like, you can share the video with the world, but that doesn't mean that... Like, to, to watch, right? That's the main thing, to watch it. I would argue that this is something that wasn't necessarily anticipated. It's like, everyone uploads and then everyone views the things that other people are uploading. And then it's like, well, wait, what if someone takes the ones that people uploaded and uploaded on their own channel and claim it to be exactly. theirs? And it's like, mm -hmm, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, what? You're perverting the whole system. And it's like, yeah, just give it time. People will do it. Uh, no, no, he's right. Hassan doesn't have low effort reactions. He has no reactions. Hmm. Uh, all I'll say is... He he does have times where he'll like talk for ages after pausing and stuff, and that's great. But for some reason, everyone thinks that our only concern is that he improved the ratio, and then they're like, "The ratio is fine." When we're like, "No, it happening at all is bad, and you shouldn't do it." But for some reason, that doesn't quite come through. Uh, why does this dude look like the Chinese ripoff of Chang's nephew? Are relevant or Hassan? Because <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're not relevant. I guess so. Yeah. Also, hi rags. Fringy, tell us about Hello. tell us about a Simpsons episode. Uh, just any Simpsons episode. They didn't specify. So there's an episode where uh, Homer decides that he wants to go to clown college after seeing an ad for it, and then um, he does do that. And the reason why the clown college exists is because Crust needs to repay his debts to the mob, uh, and it all culminates in a case of mistaken identity. When uh, they they believe that Homer is crusty and they try to kill him, but then it all works out in the end. When oh, uh, now I'm just thinking about one of the funny jokes in that where like Krusty shows up again, and then they're like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I almost made a terrible mistake. Goodbye, Krusty." As he points a gun at him. Wait, they can't tell us. You know, they can't tell which one of us we are. And then they just start doing the weird flop thing to confuse them, <laughs> like switching places. And then the mob's the mob guy's like, I am confused, to which Homer says, ha, good one, Krusty. And then they just <laughs> point the gun straight at him. <laughs> yeah. Because of that, you will both to go through the loop. And together. And then they do like all of these crazy things. Dude, I love the like, fucking... oh, without the loop, it isn't nothing. <laughs> the, the speed holes joke. I love that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, and then, oh, and then, um, yeah, he starts putting them in his own car, and then Ned's like, what are you doing there? And he's like, they're speed holes, they make the car go faster. It's like, well, maybe the old Flanders mobile could use a bang, and then he gets <laughs> shot, and it's like, good thing I keep a Bible close to my heart. <laughs> well, it's a good thing today I'm wearing a piece of the cr the cross, <laughs> like, the, like yeah, I think it was inside. the true cross. A piece of the true cross. I think I'm going to go back inside. <laughs> and then um, they shoot it one more time and it hits the pickaxe. It's like, damn it, I told you we should have brought more than three bullets <laughs> to just grab him. Three Takes care bullets. of that plot hole. Huh? Takes care of that plot what? hole. How is it a plot hole? Oh, no, that's said take care of it. Like, why wouldn't they shoot him more? Because like, they only brought three bullets. Oh, right, because they didn't know. They, they only brought Yeah, they only brought three bullets, bullets you know? It's... And just well, it's kind of funny as well because they shot like fucking fifty the at him in the other scene, times. and then they're yeah. like, uh, <gasps> "We need to reload. Like, let's go to big five or something." So they they already got three bullets from the shot. <laughs> they went to reload. <laughs> There's so many layers of jokes. Oh, then when the car gets destroyed, it just gets blown apart. The salesman's like, "I really think you should take this car." <laughs> 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 that episode is really. Oh, and then there was that joke. Some funny names for cities. Walla Walla, Kiyokup, Cucamonga, Seattle. <laughs> ah, Seattle. It's just like, 
Oh, there's a lot of great jokes in that episode. That that was the one where he like stops with the oh yeah, he stops in front of the billboard, and then one of those trucks that's used for carrying cars, all of the cars just ramp up, and he's like, <laughs> what does he say, mine now or something, and then just drives away with all of them. Um, God, so many good memes. I uh, was wondering if you guys had seen the deleted Joker scene from Batman yet. With the way it was executed, it got me thinking that it might be cool to have Joker in a Batman movie more as a sort of Hannibal Lecter than a main antagonist. Maybe. I, Maybe. I am glad that they got rid of the uh, that scene, though. Not because I, I dislike it, but because I don't think that it slots in. I think it spells out too much. Yeah, and it can create plot issues in the... Whenever that takes place, instead of Batman having figured out what's happening, he's, like, told it by the Joker, by which Joker. isn't as satisfying, I think. Uh, when is the politics arc starting, starting, guys? Never! Never! You guys don't want to do a politics arc? No. no. We'll do it as soon as you guys have good media takes. Wow! <laughs> Shots fired! Oh my god! That with love. You know what you're better for? Politics is a toxic cesspool of... Yeah, that's why I don't want to go anywhere near it. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, I just smart. want to talk about shitty movies. Yeah, it's, you're, you're very smart. It's pretty rough. I wouldn't mind talking about shitty movies, but I don't think, I don't think my audience would go with me if I, if, if I switched over, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, what if you just play other people's videos about media? Would that work? Oh, there's <laughs> an idea. Uh, this one just says, Sitch! Hello. <laughs> Currently, 2200... Maybe a thousand words into an Assassin's Creed critique. The first game's modern day is awesome. I never played Assassin's Creed 1, actually. I think I did, but I don't remember much of it anymore. It's a cool game. There you go. Cool. Uh, PSA... It has not held up, though. It has not held up. I played it recently, the original. It has not held up. What's the main problem? Mm. The clunky? It's very clunky. And also, their, their open world contains nothing in it. Mm. To be, well, to be fair, that's most open worlds nowadays anyway. But, <laughs> but wow. like, it's... Yeah, oh, man, it, it feels like, like a game that released 15 years ago. Because it, it is, you know? Well, it is 15 weird. years old this year. It's weird playing a stealth game that there's no, like, stealth crouch or anything. You're just kind of, like, wandering around. People are like, hey, look at that guy standing right there. Yeah, and they have these giant cities, and there's nothing to actually do in them, except find flags. Oh god, the flags. I remember the flags. PSA ditch on ANS87. You said Australia did not exist. Do you still hold this position? Uh, we, everyone knows that Australia is a mythical kingdom, like, where the elves and dwarves come from. It's not Narnia? a real country, so, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty clear whenever you hear all these stories about Australia and the people there and the strange creatures who dwell Having in the weird woods. toilets it's, that with no sinks in them. Obviously, yeah, that's a fantasy. Yeah, world. it's obviously bullshit. It's obviously bullshit. There's no way that's actually a real place. And some people, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, all right. See, Fringy agrees. I didn't say anything. Now you said something. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, the only place thumbnail of the day is Crash 4. Which I is... think I might have seen that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we seen that one, I think. That was a good one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> best piece of content on EFAP. Snort, grunt, hmm, heavy breathing, grunt, snort, <laughs> snrexy noises, hmm, 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 grunt, snort, sneeze. I don't think anyone could be more poetic. Uh, just, <clears throat> what can you say other than take more pride in your work, please? What can you say? Hello, objectively, the GOAT podcast. The Final Fantasy music of the day Ooh, is nice. Boss Battle from Final Fantasy 3. I hope these are given Rags nostalgia. Heil Doggo. Hello! I'll have to open that in a second. Boss, the boss music from Final Fantasy 3. Now, I think, because I played the one on DS, I mean, I'm not sure if that was originally Final Fantasy, because they have, like, different numbers and stuff, whether they're Japanese or in the Western release, so it can get, I guess, complicated for some people, but I, I just call them by what they were when I played them. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. 
Uh, Finding Dory, a movie that regressed Marlin's character and uses a heavy amount of luck to progress the plot. Sad to see the director of Wally sink this low. Oh. Well, I mean, Incredibles 2. That's did they? Uh, did the director of Wally do Incredibles 2? Or? No, Brad no, Bird I just did like Incredibles another one Pixar answer. sequel uh, that seems to have the same issues. Because Brad Bird did Wall. Uh, no, Brad Bird did the Iron Giant, and then he did the Incredibles, and then he did Ratatouille. So talk about Fucking three hell. slam dunks in a go. Uh, and, and then he did Mission Impossible Four, um, which I remember liking, uh, but I haven't seen it in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that was Ghost Protocol, Com right? Yeah, that's the one. The one where he climbs. I remember liking really it good. too. Yeah, but it's been a long time, so who knows? It has been um, a long time since it came then out. Then he made Tomorrowland, which uh, didn't do no so one well remembers. in the box office. Yeah, and then he did The Incredibles 2. Mm. Yeah, Incredibles 2. Oof. Oof. Uh, whenever you use content that is not your own, whether you stole it is not a binary yes or no. It's a sliding scale. Even when you go the extra mile, you're still making content from someone else's work. Okay, but that's, that is not the yeah the definition of stole at that point. I bet this dude didn't even invent English. What a loser! What but, a um, thief! I mean, yeah, I think everybody agrees that there's a fuzzy line in lots of areas of it. But the thing is, we don't have to worry about that. Hassan didn't make it difficult to understand that he's definitely stealing it. That's it. Um, lazy Twitch Mubschla breathes, um, hello ladies, swallows, snorts, gentle, chews moistly, man, vomits. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, I follow Brown Table on Twitter, and he sometimes retweets ticks from Spider-Man Twitter, which makes it worse. Please help me. Oh, just leave Twitter, man. There's nothing else for it. Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, Tom Scar spoke on how some of the suicide jokes in later ASDF came from his struggle with depression. You could talk about how you feel. Uh, uh, you can talk about how you feel can leak into your work, especially creative ones, or speak on your experiences with that. Dude, it, it is unfathomable to me. Like that, he, he was just arguing as as though it's completely obvious that there's just nothing to be said about this video. It's just like nothing. Nothing you can do. It is an incredible failure of talent and imagination. It's his whole job. He's supposed to Shocking be better at it than your own. average person. Yeah. It's like movie critics who are constantly wrong about movies. And they need to be shot out of a cannon into the sun. Futurama style. In Minecraft, yes. Yes. Uh, Twitch seems to be a perfect cesspit of greed and sloth. How are these people so stupid as to give these people attention and money? So... A big part of the second person we're gonna watch is is that they argue that like Twitch chat basically creates this industry by being so interested in it and wanting it. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it's like, okay, yes, you don't, you know, it's still on you for providing it. You don't have to do the unethical thing. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, Twitch viewers, I don't know, man. And then they're not. They're uh, well, not. the worst part about Twitch is that it actually was a quality site like ten years ago. Ten years ago, didn't it start? And in then they invented no. bathtubs. No, no, no. <laughs> long time ago. When did it start? So here, here is the deep lore. Twitch used to be called Justin, Justin TV, yeah. and that was in like 2006 or something. Oh my! Oh wow! Yeah, and that's way over. On, than I on Justin TD, you could stream. On Justin TV, you could stream anything you wanted, anything at all. But the gaming stuff got big, so they spun gaming off onto its own platform called Twitch. So Justin TV was just chatting, and then. Twitch was gaming, but then Justin TV basically died because no one cared about just chatting. Um, so then Twitch became gaming, and then for a while it was just gaming content, and it was great. And then you got, and then you got. I think it was, I think the split happened in 2012 when basically before that you had all these people who pretended to play video games so that they could just talk and have parasocial relationships, and then eventually Twitch gave in. We'll give you the the just chatting. Mm -hmm. side and there were there were like the, the the you know the the ethos of the time they were saying things like oh thank god i don't got to play video games anymore gee it's like holy shit really and then basically now that just just chatting has grown it has dwarfed the video game side and completely destroyed the company justin tv justin that TV. sounds like a porn site for people with small penises 
<laughs> Fair enough. Let's see. Uh, 2007, it was just it was when Justin TV came around. And in 2014, that's when the, the old switch happened. Okay. Yeah, Twitch is kind of a nightmare place right now. Um, you know, if you're just doing gaming content... It's chill. <laughs> it, you're, you're not, you're not going to get popular, because that doesn't happen on Twitch anymore. Unless you're doing... Unless you have boobs or something. But the people that you do get, and the vibe that you can create, feels like old Twitch. But that doesn't... Yeah. Twitch doesn't care about that anymore. Uh, EFAP truly is the high-end, top-shelf shit. Also, high racks. Hello! I mean, if we've decided that top-shelf, high-end means reacting at the highest amount, then, yeah, according to our relevant, we are top-shelf. Nice. We are top-shelf. I'm just saying we've got his approval, too. Not bad. If all the insects around the entire world suddenly coordinate a massive war against humanity, do you think the insects would win? No. Um, hmm. I mean, haven't we got all the tools to wipe them the fuck out? Well, yeah. Uh, could we survive it's numbers, without insects? It's, though? it's the well. The, I guess we're assuming that we could. I guess it's a numbers thing, though. There are a lot of ants. A lot. Um, a lot of ants. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, if we if we cleanse and, the and entire planet too. of insects, we would be fucked anyway, right? Uh probably. Right. I, I so I I guess the thing is is think about. How difficult it us? How difficult it is for us when there's like a locust swarm, or um, and then to be fair, we don't only have that, but we also have like ants and. Under um, this scenario, though, the world powers would be like we need to. They would be militarized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah um, we would do all the things that we do. Uh, yeah, I think it's a matter of a a bugs uh, or they're even even together their capacity to do damage against uh, us with all the things that we can do and that we have, it would yeah, create like, things Yeah, like, I don't think they win. They do, I don't know they, the they can do some damage, for sure. Win, they do some damage. Yeah, the world would be changed forever, but I could picture, like, our capacity for destruction would... Have you ever, have you ever read Leningen versus the Ants? No. No, it's about it's basically about a guy named Leningen. I think he's some British dude in one of their colonies, and he is protecting against this massive like man eating ant invasion. And so they've got like dugout pits and gasoline and fires and stuff like that. And if you imagine that on a a, a global human scale, it's like damn I'm oof. Well, yeah, I picture us making like really big compounds and they're just surrounded by like electrified traps that just grab up and destroy all of the insects that try and get in in some way. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's it's just insects' ability to physically be able to do certain things is just dwarfed by like how like like how can insects get away from and plus they have ex they're in, bugs are really stupid. So but if between, they're all working like, together, I guess we have to presume that there's some level of intelligence right. and strategy. Right? Only only, only enough in that, that they're working together. Yeah. yeah. Just that they're cooperating. Um, well, yeah, yeah, like, I imagine that we would be smarter than them, for sure. I guess I just don't know what it means for them to cooperate. What does that mean? It would be difficult to um, eradicate them, if not impossible. And even if we did, like I said, I'm pretty sure that it's going to destroy the food chains around the world. Yeah, yeah we would, oh, it would. It would definitely be a different world. Well, they wouldn't have to, like, attack people. They just have to eat all our food, basically. That, that's Starve true. There are ways for them to. Um, there are ways for them to fuck with us that are well beyond just attack us openly. But the thing is, like, if we yeah. start to say if they have the level of strategy behind them that's human and above, brain wise, I just be like, uh, I guess I don't know what happens then. Well, well if they destroyed our crops, the only way that we could kill them would be uh, through some level of, I guess, pesticide usage that uh, that might be dangerous to us. We can't nuke them because we'll just nuke all of the land that we need to grow food. Right. Well, so um, at least we can agree the the worst case scenario is we wipe each other out by wiping we wipe ourselves out by wiping but, them out. But the thing is, is that I don't know that we would wipe ourselves out in totality. There'd still be some of us left. Well, same for them, right? Just be, uh, oh, true, true. Probably, yeah. yeah. I don't think either of us has the capacity to really kill off the, the other. End. Yeah. I guess worldwide insects that are all acting as cameras in this huge hive mind, they might be able to find most humans. It'll be tough. Maybe. Make the movie. Go on. 
uh, Roland Emmerich do it. <laughs> yeah, Leonard and vs. the Ants would make a great movie. A it's a short story, ants, so the it's very ants simple. Ants the ants. Except it's the ants are taken over. Uh, we could all just go to the moon. Like, yep, fuck this. We're out. Oh, sorry, and, and yeah. it, that's the end of the movie, and it like zooms right well, into some guy's pocket, and there's an ant in there. It looks like dun dun dun. <laughs> It'll be like what's that movie? Like Apollo 13 or something, where they have the moon crabs or something. What? What was that? Yeah, there, no, you're there right. was that yeah, movie. I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> Apollo something, where it's like, oh, this is the last moon mission that they didn't tell you about. Ooh, and there's spooky monsters in the Brad moon, but it's like they're just rock crabs. Um, neat animal I found today is the suicide <coughs> ant. Not the most extreme in terms of looks, but they have one heck of a defense mechanism. Hmm. Have a look, see. The suicide ant. Uh, apparently they can explode aggressively. As, uh, as explode. explode. They don't explode as, passively. As an yeah. ultimate act of offense. Uh, let's see. So, um... Hmm. Uh, defenses. So yeah, apparently they can blow themselves up. <laughs> All right. What are they? What are they like? I'm assuming it's not. So like... this is what it says. Its defensive behavior includes self-destruction by uh autothysis. Self-destruction <laughs> by autothysis. Two oversized poison-filled uh mand mandibula glands, mandibula glands run the entire length of the ant's body. When combat takes a turn for the worse, that worker ant violently contracts its uh, abdominal muscles to rupture its gaster at the uh, intersegmental fold, which also bursts the man uh, mandibular glands, thereby spraying a sticky secretion in all directions from the anterior region of its head. The glue, which also has corrosive properties and functions as a chemical irritant, can entangle and immobilize all nearby victims. This sounds like a video game. Like, right. like a I, I was literally just thinking banelings. Yeah. That really sounds metal. like mechanics to understand about an enemy in a video game. Yeah, if they bet. roll to make, yeah, if they want to go faster <laughs> so they roll, it would, it would. Be well, it's banal. like the enemy that you fight, and then it starts going beep beep as like the indication you got to get away from it. Before yeah, like it blows it's up begun like channeling. It's getting contracting its muscles. Yeah. Rod. They get to go to Ant Heaven with their 72 queens all to themselves. <laughs> uh, S class is best class. Dev is fat. Go team. Thank you. That sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> it's like they do the Sitch was thanking them for the dev comment. Oh. For both, actually. <laughs> uh, actually, guys, I think I should take off. It is, it is near time to sleep. No problema. Thank you so much Fair enough. for joining us. Do you want to yep. tell chat? Where to find you and what you're up to. All right. You want to find me? I have a channel called Short Fat Otaku, where I do politics stuff. I have a second channel called Game Boomers, where I do gaming stuff. Both are good. Either or. Um, I'll come back next week if you want for the second part, because that actually sounds interesting. Hell yeah. This is I would so like that, yes. To entice right. or terrify you, uh, our relevance <laughs> video was 40 minutes. Uh, Denim's is an hour and... I think 40 <laughs> minutes. An hour and 40 minutes? Hour and 20 or hour and 40, I can't remember. But it's long. She says a we lot got of it. stupid Let's shit. Fucking do it. Oh, God. All right. Don't be a pussy. Th thanks. thanks for having me on. I'll see you next week. See you, dude. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Doodaloo. Bye-bye. See you later. Uh, your best impression of Gandalf bumping his head. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That bit's great. Uh, remember when they called you a bunch of neo-Nazi kill streamers because Sargon of Akkad was on uh, for two out of the several thousand hours of streams? To be fair. That's enough. That's the, the, the taint, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Spoilers, alright? That's in part three. We're gonna get there. That was, was that my fault? Uh, uh, sure. Sure. No, I'm, no, I'm pretty sure it's Sargon's fault. It's not your fault. Oh, okay. Sargon's existence means that we're kill streamers. That is true. Dude, if you didn't know what the kill stream was, if someone just out of context says, are you a kill streamer? You'd be like, the fuck is... Do I kill what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> like... uh, people are still in denial at Hassan away from chair gang. So, yeah, people still don't really believe that it matters at all, nor does he really do it. It's, uh... It's, it's just... They'll get there eventually. Or are you gonna believe Hassan or your lying eyes?
and lying ears. You can hear that he leaves the seat. You can hear the be, silence. That could be anyone's chair. You don't know if that's Hassan's. I imagine the silence would be the most pleasant thing about a Hassan stream, though. Was it ants will attack us by re-uploading our vids on Twitch? No. <laughs> Entire colonies. Yeah. Twitch streaming. Those bastards. Uh, well, I guess I need to evolve. Not sure what that's in reference to, but yes. Uh, on the Assassin's Creed topic, I thought that each game was supposed to close in on modern times where Desmond would be the ass assassin you play, but they backed off and decided to off him, which is why I stopped. That's why you stopped? Oh, I was... The less Desmond I saw, <laughs> the happier I got. Yeah. I, I got same. nothing for this, so... Yeah. Uh, look up Hassan became Halo streamer. Depends how long the video is. One second. Oh, it's 18 seconds. Okay, one, one sec. Let's have a look at what this is. It's gonna get us in trouble. Oh! It's the, um... I don't know if you guys ever saw it. It was a clip from uh, Halo Infinite gameplay, I guess. A streamer left their, um... Their... Like, they left the their stream, and, and the game was still going, and it just shows the auto-aim, because people are walking by them, and then the... the... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, and it dragged the, the yeah. reticle drags across. The Fuck auto-aim, I hate it. That's I hate awesome. it so yeah. much. Uh, that urethra muscle sounds like a superpower. Yeah, yep. Sound bad, yeah. Especially if it spewed, like, acid and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are not even reacting. Shake my head. We did a whole bunch of reacting tonight. It was wonderful. Sitch, but no Adam Heresy. He was invited, know, right? but apparently hates Fringy. I don't know. I know. I tried, guys. I tried. Did you really? No, I actually didn't try at all. Hassan Brain Small. No room for lot words. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Does this mean we're getting some EFAP in our Sitch and Adam show tomorrow, or is that just wishful thinking? Well, I guess I, I asked. I, I wouldn't tried, be able to yes. make it. Um, I tried, but I can. I think I should be able to like make time for you on s next Sunday if you want. I think we're debating to someone on next Sunday, so maybe next next Sunday. Yeah, next next Sunday. Let's, let's okay. do it. Uh, just ask Short Fat Otaku about eating on stream. Mm. I'm gonna assume he's okay with it. How do you yeah. think he got to be fat? I don't know. <laughs> what are you going to say how he got to be short? <laughs> yeah, about it. That's how he got to be short and fat. <laughs> the otaku thing is irrelevant. Uh, I stayed at a place with several toilets next to each other. It was jail. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they uh, probably have that kind of setup. Uh, has anyone kept a counter of how many times Hassan has used the word literally to emphasize his bad takes? Dude, that's just a, a Twitch culture thing again. They all constantly say literally. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure who's to blame, but that word, it's just, um, it's, like a, it's like a filler word. It just exists to be said. It doesn't really add anything to anything. Oh boy, another Nazi kill stream. Jay can be accused of being on. Oh yeah, they'll probably say Jay was on this one too. Jay was on all of them. Uh, Rags, when you said, I don't care if you're a nice person during the Kenobi stream, did that not sound like you were joking? Your tone didn't indicate it. Oh, that did I not sound like you were joking. The... I don't know the... I legitimately don't remember the context that I said that. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't care if you're a nice person. You should I, care. Yeah, I just can't remember saying that or what the context was around it or what I, what I said what I said it to, or who I said it to, or what it was about. He was I was going to say, not caring if someone is nice might be relevant. It's going to depend on the context, I guess. I can't remember what Yeah, because you, you can act nice. Like, you could say, like, Christians do that all the time when they're, like, preaching to you. They're very condescending, and they're very, like, they act kindly, and they say very, they say things in a nice way, but what they're saying is incredibly, like, offensive or really demeaning and dehumanizing and stuff like that. So it depends on how you actually mean it. Um, and it depends what we're talking about. Like, uh, like Zack Snyder is probably a really nice person, but I don't care when it comes to him being a filmmaker. You know, his movies are terrible. 
So I I feel like I need some context behind a lot of that stuff. I said I would help you out if I remember, but I can't quite. Uh, yeah, I just I just can't remember. Have you two seen the boys are back in town to kill you and the sequel Kiss Me Kill Me? The excellent modern horror, especially the second one. The first one is mostly context. I have no idea what any of that is. I'm sorry. Any of you guys know what that is? No, I never heard of it. Okay. Mm. Uh, Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins passed away. That's yeah, funny. I heard about that. It's unfortunate. Um, have you seen The Boys Diabolical? It's an anthology series, but only the last two short films are good. The rest have same punchline. Justin Roiland's actually makes me look away from the screen. Hmm. No, I haven't actually heard of that. I haven't heard of that. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Might have a look. Though. I'd be curious what format that is. A TV show, is it? Anthology TV show? Yeah, I've never heard of this. Okay, well. Hmm. Have you considered that maybe the second toilet is the bathtub? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, oh, very, for very small people. <laughs> It's mm -hmm. the midget bathtub. Getting water to a room is half... Uh, getting water to a room is half halfway easy. Drainage slash sewer is way harder. Yeah, all that. It's, it's not just getting water in. It's where does the water go? How does it drain? How does it link up with the sewer system? Mm. All that water that comes in and out of your house, it's got to come from and go somewhere. There's a reason you don't have to deal with it all the time. Uh, we have a bucket in our bedroom. Ah. Uh, oh, that's so nice to stand on. Yeah, it's a efficient way of doing it. My house has a bedroom that has two sinks and two baths, but in that bathroom there is a door that leads to a smaller room with just one toilet. Yeah, you don't typically see that in Britain from my experience. Like, a, you have en suites, but you don't typically have a bathroom that then has another room attached to that that leads to a, a room that's just a toilet. Uh, a bit strange, but you know, I saw, we saw pictures of that, and it's interesting. Is that a spacing thing, though? I don't know. I, I'm not sure if that's something that they want, or if that's something they end up doing just because that's the way that the house worked out or something. I don't know. Uh, Fringy proved Australia isn't real with toilets. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Fringy's poop closet. I love EFAP's expanding law. <laughs> <laughs> Not a poop closet. <laughs> uh, in Europe, we have a poop room and a shower room. It's disgusting to shit in the same room you take a shower. I don't understand the logic there at all. Um, I mean, you don't shit in your shower. <laughs> <laughs> preferably not, no. I hope not. But, um, yeah, you know, just, uh, you'll be all right. As, as I say, saying in Europe, it's just like plenty of Europe has that uh, set up. Fringy, check Twitter. You're not crazy. These gentlemen are just uncultured. Well, I mean, we've already gone through those references, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I accept that you have a culture, uh, and that's fine. It's just the wrong one. <laughs> But Fringy, it's what if two people want slash need to shower at the same time, but there's only one shower? Are you going to argue that there should be two <laughs> bathrooms <laughs> with one shower each? No. Like, yeah, no, Fringy. that's not, a, that's not comparable. All right, then. What if someone takes a shower as you are finishing your poop and you have to wait 20 minutes to wash your hands? That's quite uh, we'll wash them in the toilet, yeah, right? I you mean, can just flush the toilet, get rid of your well, poo. Yeah, it's clean now. You flushed. <laughs> All the poo's gone. It's, yeah. The water's fine. You can have a, yeah, have a nice refreshing beverage while you're waiting. Oh, <laughs> lovely. If I walk into someone's bathroom and there's two toilets as some kind of flex, one of those toilets is getting an upper decker. Screw your flex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <Decker>. god. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, imagine imagine having someone over who did that and you have a wonderful evening, things go well, then they head off at the end of the night and then you walk into your bathroom and that see smell? that they've just dropped this massive <laughs> otter right on the top of your toilet lid. No. Uh, 
That's terrible. That's the uh, the ultimate flex, the ultimate sigma right there. That is the ultimate flex. I am going to shit in my host <laughs> <laughs> on my host's toilet. Um, oh wow. <laughs> so from Dr. Bot. No, no, upper deckers when you shit in the tank. So it's hidden. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. I thought it was when you shat on the lid. <laughs> no, no, no. It's oh. in the tank. So they, they walk I in like... and go, oh, it smells terrible, and they flush. And oh, it, just... that... it doesn't okay. go away. It doesn't go away. Oh, my God. That's awful. <laughs> but eventually you... Oh, yeah, man, to get that out. Hey. Yeah, that's a big problem. Uh, so that's no good. From Dr. Martin Luther Pepe. Uh, <laughs> bringy poo hands <laughs> Wise words from Dr. Martin Luther Pepe. In Australia, if oh. you get poop on your hands, you will be stuck in the bathroom. You must use the emergency help needed button to get an emergency service to come and let you out. <laughs> Emergency help button <laughs> located in every bathroom. Well, the dude just comes and opens the door for you. And he has a little wet wipe. He's like, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got he's he's dressed head to toe in like full fire firefighter <laughs> gear. Hazbat suit. From, <laughs> he's got a yeah. He's got the <laughs> oxygen tank around his back and a mask cooked up. And <laughs> <laughs> he so like, like you, you step forward to get the wet wipe, and he goes, oh! <laughs> like, <laughs> <they're> still. <laughs> Uh, Fringy was struggling to win the poop debate because the MI6 didn't give him the law behind Australia's bathroom. The only cynical explanation. Well, you know, the MI6, they have the same restrictions a lot of us do for getting information out quickly. You gotta update, mm -hmm. downloads, all that shit. Mola, we need to get through these quickly. It proceeds to have an hour-long tangent about the structure of bathrooms. Did I... S oh yeah, well I guess that was under the assumption that we were going to try and do two in one stream, but... It never, that, uh, ever... That was naive of us to ever think that that was going to happen. It never Every time we way. say that, it never happens. True. Yeah. We're always like, Pretty yeah, much. we can cover both videos today, and then six hours later, oh, I think we finished one. I saw a lone toilet in the UK. A guy stole the sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's stole my it. sink now. What a bastard. He stole everything but the kitchen sink? Oh, no, 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 no. The opposite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, in Greece, you have to throw the toilet paper in the trash can. You aren't allowed to flush it with your poop. Thank God I oh, ate no. before this. Wait, but, but that, but, but, but. Why is that but, a rule? But it'll, but it'll smell, right? Like, what's... So, <laughs> smell it's horrific. the same thing in Mexico. Like, a lot of the, the plumbing is not good. Like, it wasn't designed to handle paper Who? or something. Oh, right. Well, uh, we, th there are problems with that, uh, where I live every once in a while, if people flush too many, um, like wet like wipe wet type, yeah, yeah, like it'll clog. Um, We're not really supposed to technically flush any of the wet wipes, but... Well, the wet wipes and stuff here, they will say if they're... they Generally, they'll say that they're flushable on the packages. They say... I don't know. Every plumber I've talked to is like, they say that, but... <laughs> Well, All I've of this is summer. making me realize how much we take for granted that there is that you can just like make the poo go away. Like you just press a button, <laughs> it's, it's, just gone. It's, it's removed from your life. You never civilization have civilization is when the poo goes again. away. It, it, it's it my really dog. Is. Yeah, it's Wasn't an it? incredibly so cool. useful thing that we have. Where it's just like I need water. I have water now. I just turned a little thing, and I have this life sustaining force. And I yeah, need to get the, the fact group. that water comes out of the there wall. It's it's not just water. The fact that pure purified drinking yeah, water pure drinking comes water. out of the wall for so mm -hmm. cheap, it might as well be free. It, and it's just yeah. always available to you. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. When it's not available, it is bizarre and scary. It is, yeah. Because it is so used to us that the water is just available. When for a Yeah, I just time, don't have infinite in pure history. drinking water whenever I want. Like, you mean no. I have to actually go to like how how did they do it before? Was there like a couple of the taps around town? This is well, where the water stuff, comes out. Well, yeah, yeah, like aqueducts and stuff would carry it into uh, particular places in town, and you'd go and you'd send your kid yeah, off or whatever go, with a big old a jug, bucket, and you'd bring it back. Which was, by the way, home. amazing that if you lived yeah, in that a, was nice enough to have it. That was better than when you just had to go to the fucking lake or something and just get the water out, it, all filled with shit, like. <laughs> all sorts of bugs and everything. It's not healthy for you. 
And this is, and even then, there was a time where we didn't have buckets. We had no buckets in which to collect water. You had to just go and drink it. Honestly, the I think I've done because those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm like an Eagle Scout and I did search and rescue and a lot of stuff. I spent a lot of time camping and in the woods and stuff like that. It's it, it was way easier to get like because so I have gone in many many outhouses and red roof inns as we as we called them and stuff like that. It's not that bad. It's the the availability of toilet paper. If I had to choose between having indoor facilities and readily accessible like toilet paper to wipe with, I think I might even go with toilet paper because I'm used to just being able to go into essentially a, a nice but essential a hole in the ground where you just poo and it goes down below and it's like a composter sort of thing. But I think I mean, it's it's about what you're used to and what you know you can live with, I think. That used that to be someone's job. To just it's like a, get that poop and get rid of it. Get that poop. Yeah. You yeah, turn like we we wash the poo away with purified drinking water. Yeah, that's what we yeah. use to wash right. the poo away. With outhouses, how did they how did they get rid of the the poo? It just, you, I guess you don't have to, or you or very rarely. I don't know how it works with and outhouses. They just dig a really just big hole, and then they it go until it's what, filled, and then they move like, the house. Is that how it works? Well, that was part of the reason why, like, um, in the mid mi Middle Ages, right, people just tossed their shit out to the street. God. Like, that, Neat. the sanitation was so bad. I don't know. We'd have to have Shad tell us if that's a thing they really did, or if that's one of those overblown things. Um, all of Australia is crazy, not just Fringy. <laughs> well, we know portions are definitely crazy. They've got like T Rexes and stuff over there, you know? Pretty nuts. Green Man Bad, also high rags. Hello! Green Bird Bad. Um, a square movie Poopa, Poopa Fring versus the Pipe Syndicate. <laughs> The pipe syndicate. <laughs> <laughs> Poopa free. Bringy, no one is bullying you. You're imagining things. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Uh, today on the EFAP Twitch arc, Fringy gets bullied on behalf of all of Australia. And they're nice. backwards, upside down, and sanitary ways. <laughs> hey, upside know. down only from a point of view, all right? There is no up or down in space. It's just... Every which direction. Tell Sounds like something Skywalker the Sith would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You're the one dealing in absolutes like up and down. From my I'm point not. of view, you're upside down. Yeah, and nobody believes Obi-Wan is right when he said that, okay? Yeah. Totally a Sith deals in absolutes. It's just Come funny on, because it's an oxymoron. <laughs> Uh, imagine I, using... I saw like a 10 minute long video trying to explain that line saying that it was really wasn't. I thought most people why just go... Obi-Wan was correct when he said the yeah. absolute thing I've seen a lot of people say that um, it's supposed to represent the flaws of the Indicative Jedi of the Jedi yeah which like I find much more appealing than no actually he's right because and then just garbage <laughs> trying I can't to remember their it. argument I wish I could because they were saying that the, he didn't mean he used like a different way of meaning the word absolute that's kind of like archaic or something. I don't know oh, well, um, one of the things people say is that he says deals in absolutes. Mm -hmm. like, uh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I understand that. Yeah. Maybe. Imagine using a toilet when you can just go in a sandwich bag. <laughs> <laughs> desperate times, as they say. Well, they're saying that's not desperate. That's just good time that's a luxury yeah just, i mean it makes sense you just go you just zip it up and throw it away <laughs> <laughs> i still love you fringy even though not having a sink with your toilet is weird also hi fringy uh hi in elden ring there are mimic toilets miyazaki has gone too far mimic toilets sounds uh sounds like a horrific final fantasy villain mm-hmm Mimic toilets. Kate Bishop in Hawkeye episode three. Well, at least you don't have to listen to Imagine Dragons. Funny, since Haley Steinfeld also voices Vi and Arcane. Was that a line? In uh, Hawkeye? I don't see why they would lie. So yeah, probably. Um, 
That is very amusing, all things considered. I guess... There's no reason to read into that beyond just, like, say, for example, they, she actually met them and then they referenced that. They'd probably say it with, like, a smile and just be like, eh. Probably. It was just a line in a show that yeah. she had to do. Welcome to this EFAP stream discussing the ethics, morals, and behavior of Twitch streamers and reaction content. Also, 30-minute tangent about the definition of half-baths. Also, also, Australia doesn't exist. Well, well. You never quite know what you'll end up with. Mm-hmm. In the year 2044, the renowned gen genetic scientist Raggers makes a breakthrough in genetic dilation that led our most beloved pastime sport, trick shot pissing. Oh. Well, it's a cool. muscle like all the rest. Exploit it for uh, competitive gain. Man, what a future you got ahead of you. Uh, does Fringy have his mouse and keyboard next to his monitors, or does he have to go to the next room to use them? That's not a good comparison. <laughs> All right. A <laughs> mouse and keyboard are right here. And my keyboard right here, too. Four doors and four wheels stand at the edge of a cliff. Nice. It's, it's a reference in a whole bunch of things, that is. Muller, are you familiar with the possibility that this famous place known as England could be more than likely your city? You know? I've been told this a couple times. I'm starting to get an impression. Uh, finished Mr. Robot and episode 70. Rag Ralph, sorry, is a big dumb. Now I can catch up to the current EFAP. Hello, future me in 2023. Uh, Ralph the Movie Maker, presumably? Ralph Bakshi? It's, it's gotta be one of those two. Kid Ralph. Um, yeah, I, I am very... Out of the loop on Mr. Robot, I'm afraid. Uh, check out The Render on Patreon. Making some free MCU essays. It has a picture of Data with a pipe. Alright. Also, what is the oh. best and worst game you've played? I uh, don't know what the worst game is. <laughs> I don't... Uh, <laughs> worst game? Um, that is a good question. Hmm. Um, Fallout 76 might have been up there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Because that game was so bad, it was fascinating. So, um, the one that would automatically win was me trying to boot up MK... Uh, was it 11 or 10? Bringing the one that didn't even work on launch. Uh, which one, sorry? The Mortal Kombat game that you could only like go to the menu. Oh, and 10, 10 like, didn't work. 11 was better, but even 11 had... It was like 30 FPS in the menus... Go 30 FPS when you're doing like your crazy super duper moves and the fatalities. I'm pretty sure it's still there, but if you go watch uh, Tall Biscuit's initial impressions of MKX, it's funny as fuck because he's just like, here's the menu. Now let's try clicking something and it just like freezes and he's like, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then as for best, uh, let's default to uh, Metroid, Super Metroid, Metroid Prime. They're some of the best. Yeah. Lots of games you can pick for best. And Selma. And, uh... Dark Souls 2. Wait, I won't specify which of the two categories that one falls into. <laughs> um, yeah, anyone, anyone want any, any more answers on that? Or should I carry on? I think, uh... I, well, I give my answer for worst. Um, best... Uh, it's probably like Soma or something like that. I it's really easier like, for me to say worst, I think. I really like Subnautica, but supposedly that's a contentious Is it? choice. For best or worst? For best. I don't want to say like the best, but one of my top. I, I mean, yeah, I've, it's really I've heard hard lots to of good things about it. It's great. Well, there you go. Alrighty then. Um, long man bad. I don't read books. Yeah, <laughs> books are of the long. You don't want to be touching them. Um, a book I recommend is Forged by Fire. Uh, I do not know that one. Uh, the naming of a I weapon... Of what? I haven't heard of it either. Mm-hmm. Uh, the naming of a weapon can strike fear, so it's no surprise that the Chaos Blade of the Harbinger Moon sounds intimidating. However, one should absolutely fear a weapon called the Throngler. You don't want to be the Throngled. Throngler? Yeah. 
just just picture being throngled. That would suck. That probably wouldn't be great. It doesn't sound like something that's amusing. No. Uh, we also need Filmento's enemies so unlike us they're an alien race in the Hall of Fame too. Yeah. Yeah, that needs to be in the Hall of Fame. You know about that one, Sitch? Mm -mm. So, um, uh, Filmento compares the Tomorrow War with the Vietnam War, and he says that the creatures in the Tomorrow War are so unlike us that they're practically... Well, <laughs> he's, I can't remember which one he's talking about. Wait a minute. He's talking he's saying about... the Vietnamese are like aliens? <laughs> he basically says the Vietnamese knew, are yeah. so unlike us, they're aliens. Oh, no. <laughs> Just returned from the shower to the stream. First thing I hear, no context given. It's those fucking cripples, man. Rags. <laughs> Classic. Have you seen Mitchell and Webb Avocado Bathroom? Um, no, I have not. I've seen most of their sketches, so I think I would have seen it, yeah. Can't remember which one it is, though. Do. I want to hear more from Rags about the plumber's code. Do they still partake in honor killings? I'm fascinated. <laughs> I remember talking about the honor killings of the plumber's code. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what happened when Jenny said they saw an 11 hour mark and thought she was getting roasted for the whole 11 hours. Yeah, well, it's just easier to assume reality. Fuck finding out about stuff. No point. Uh, Wings quote of the day. I have an army of people that want to see me fail. I think, yeah, th that's probably true, actually. You know, it's, it sucks for Wings, I guess. Uh, bonus quote. I'm the most cyber-bullied person on Earth. He's probably right, but it's still hilarious. That might, that it's, might also be true, it's yeah. probably true. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Because it depends how you quantify it, right? Like, anybody who gets, like... I'm trying to think of... You know, like certain when a Twitter mob goes after somebody, but like the biggest. Well, yeah, like that moment. that uh that person with the dog, right? Like she uh. Oh yeah. She uh got yeah, and then I guess um, what was that? The one who made that like fat people video back in that was years ago. Oh. Nicole Arbor, that was her That's name. That's it. Yeah, she, yeah. Uh, yeah, she got uh she got massively. She was a uh, big enemy of the internet for a while there. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like it's. It feels like it would be a pretty competitive category because it'd be hard to quantify. <laughs> yeah, it would. Um, Do you would remember the the first ever canceled white woman? Oh, there the was internet? that woman who did the tweet, and then she went. Yeah, on the Justin Sacco. She'd been canceled. Yeah. Yep. She said, uh, "I'm going to Africa. Hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding. I'm white." And then when she got off the plane, she realized her life was over. Yep. Pretty much. Sad. Uh, Sad sure, story. he graped me, but he left a twenty dollars, so it's okay. I just you profited uh, financially from it. That's right. Shut I mean, the fuck up. Are you retracting consent or? Oh god, the arguments are so bad. Uh, why is Fat Weeb joined censored in YouTube chat? I don't know. You should be able to say Fat Weeb. I think YouTube chat. I think it, it actually censors different people differently. Because I've had some people say they can't type in certain words, and then other people can. Hmm. Maybe you get, so like, strikes kind of like, on your own account or something for things. Yeah, like a shadow ban kind of thing. It's a hidden mechanic. It's like a video game. Yay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, New Zealand exists, and we are here. It's like a Resident Evil 4 dynamically just difficulty. That's how YouTube is. <laughs> the more slurs you use, the more creative you have to be to get past them. There you go. New Zealand exists and we are here. Hello. Hello, New Zealand. Hello. How you doing? New Zealand is my city. Are you going to try Jack's Films game Be Funny now? I what? didn't intend to. Uh, didn't even know you'd made a game, but good for him, I suppose. Lol cow milkman used to bring the lol cow milk twice a day to the kitchen door. Nowadays, Hassan, the modern day lol cow milkman, brings the lol cow milk straight into your face on Twitch, eight to ten hours daily. Modernity. Yeah. 
Uh, choices might not be on a spectrum, but this guy sure is. Oh! I'm convinced that Hassan is a rogue self-learning AI like Tay AI that got corrupted by the internet and escaped Microsoft. <laughs> Tay was a blessing. I believe that to be true. Calcium for the long man. Thank you. Howdy, Mola, Fringy, and guests. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Hello. I'm just reminiscing about Tay's tweets. Oh, yes. Very amusing. Glad to catch this EFAP live. Love you, lads. Looking forward to the new Gadelp. Ah, oh, yes. Not long now. Uh, our relevant should just paint his walls and door green. Yeah, movie Bob style. Do it. Yeah, the handle and everything. And then just oh, stand, right, he but then just stand of... in front of it and don't, like, use it as a green screen. <laughs> Uh, don't feel insane, Fringy. I live in Texas, and my master bathroom has a separate cubicle toilet with a door that is in the bathroom. Oh, was that Jamie? Okay. No, that was Tempest Inferno. There's a couple oh, people okay. that have that, apparently. Bunch of weirdos. All right. Toilet. Vanity area with basin and mirror. Bathroom with bath and shower. Who puts the basin in the bathroom? Civilized people have a separate area. <laughs> well, well. Caused the ultimate debate. I'm sure this will spread through the internet. My headcanon is, in the past, a book didn't let him retract his consent. <laughs> so he hates <laughs> books. Uh, EFAP on my wedding day. I'll be sure and catch this one later. Thanks for all the laughs and insight. Don bless you mad lads. Thank oh, you glad you're enjoying uh, EFAP on your wedding day. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah uh, I assume he means he'll catch us later because he's busy yes. getting married, which, you know, have fun, be merry, have all of the things. Uh, these are people that legitimately believe that you can't be forgiven or redeemed, so they do everything in their power to be the victim. I, I, I'm, confu I'm pretty sure they would be okay with, like... This, this is what I mean, it's weird. He's like, there's no way out once you've done the act. You can't do anything about it. It's too late. You'd have to have a time machine. It's just like, why is that your opinion? <laughs> Very strange, my dude. Uh, fuck today's super chats. We need to see the set, the other videos. And you're not going to catch up with them anyways. Wow. And look at us. We're, we're already catching up. I'm sure of it. I'm exactly. feeling it. Um, dollar meat store. That's a risk with no reward. Dollar <laughs> meat. That is a risk with no reward. <laughs> Good. Give yourself a reach around like Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, why not? I mean, if you have the power. What was that in reference to? I don't know. I, they, they, I think they just wanted to express that, which, you know what? Good on Go them. For it. Yeah. yeah. Our relevant needs to touch grace. True. Uh, you said this was one of three people you're covering, with our relevant being the best one. Why do you choose to suffer? Also, hi, Rags and hi, Fringy. Hello. Uh, Fringy's just grabbing a coffee, I think, so he would say hi. And uh, yes, our relevant is the best of the three. You've not even begun to suffer, chat. You've not even begun. About the background, so if we say that people should absolutely not source their desktop, that's a problem. That creates an easily abusable loophole. So this is actually uh, something I, I meant to bring up, but I guess I didn't. If somebody has a desktop that's a gorgeous piece of artwork that they just ripped off like DeviantArt or whatever website against the will of the creator, didn't credit them, and didn't pay when it was a charged thing, they just found a way to like grab it. That's not like, you know, and you see it every once in a while in their stream. Not like you're Satan. I would just be like, why not source it? It's just a nice thing to do. Pop it into some description. Be like, this is the, yeah. the screen you see a lot. This is from this creator. It's over here. I mean, I guess I would say you're kind of a dick for not paying for it if, if that's the only way you're supposed to acquire it. But, um, mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the idea that some people can get like indignant and insulted when someone tells them, maybe you should give this person credit because you're taking their stuff. And they're like, what? I cannot believe. Fuck you for telling me that I should do. I can't believe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like a how, how to tell everyone you're a bad person. Fucking glitchless any percent speed run. Fucking hell. Yeah, like, there are there are degrees when it comes to morality. This is not a enormous condemnation, but the second... Honestly, it's less important that you did it. It was more important how you reacted when you found out. And, uh, it wasn't good. 
Ooh. Yeah, that was the thing. It was his reaction that like spread this. If yep. not that he did in the first place. Uh, kick the smooth brain. We can't. We can't kick the people in the video. It's just, I mean, I guess we could, but. <laughs> No, oh, I was about to say Fringy's a host. We can't kick him, but that would—that's mean. And wow. That, I wouldn't say that. It was more mm. of the concept of the joke, that not the actual like joke itself. It was like, oh, ho, ho, ho. you just oh, did that. Ho, ho, ho. You didn't even. Oh. And then we we give him a nudge, like if we, you know, like how when you're with your your mates, like Fringy, Fringy's friends, he's from, he calls them his mates. When he's with his mates, and they sort of just like ah, and they nudge each other with their elbows just a little bit. And they make that noise, ah, yeah, and that's that's like what we're doing. Dude, if Fringy retracts consent for you to make that joke, you're screwed. <laughs> retracts. Uh, that was in my hands now. He's like, ooh, I am so close to retracting my consent with you. <laughs> Don't make me retract my consent. Uh, his self-awareness level has reached the negatives. Yeah, kinda. And all the people fucking that we will cover, none of them have any self-awareness. When will Hassan make the sequel to Chair in a Room? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We'll have to keep an eye. Um, I like creative powers, so I'll send you powers I've seen in media, and you choose which you want, and I'll send in next chat. So you got Moody Blues. Yes, after the band. It possesses, it possesses the ability to imitate the form of individuals and reenact past events with precision. That's just a JoJo stand. I, I have no idea. So it's you can like recreate events in history as like an in in world video sort of thing. Is that kind of like what it is? I remember like this. Yeah, the stand re just it like it it like can recreate someone's life or something. I don't know. I don't remember. And it's well, called I mean, it, you know, it sounds neat. I don't know. Yeah. Why are they bringing this up? Well, so they said. You gotta choose between that one and this one. Main, main, no, me. Allows the user to turn into a physical double of anyone they have touched. Do you want that power or the one where you can reenact past events with precision by imitating things? Probably reenact past events. I feel like the, um, the amount of good you can do by reenacting past events with precision. Is that based on what you know or is that based on some other. Something you source? observe? No, you don't have to have observed it for it to work. Dude, at that point, that's an incredible power. The the I know you could be like, well, you can do a lot with impersonating someone too, right? And it's like, no, I'm talking like super altruistic stuff you can do by creating precise past event versions of things. Well, it's only a single person. Yeah, but like what if you choose you'd be like reacting what a single person is doing basically? Okay, but maybe I would need an example of what exactly this power does. It's it's very complicated, yeah. I was going to say, like, yeah, could, if could I you had, impersonate the president and just see what they're doing right now? Oh, that no. would be um, weird. Mr. President, what are you doing? Streaming on Twitch or whatever. But you're in my office. Which one of you is the real president, though? I yeah. guess it's like, basically, it's like you control the replay, so you can kind of, like, skip around to see what they were doing. At that point... You could you could have access to a lot of information, you know. Mm hmm. What was the other option to, to transform into someone? Yeah, like a physical double of them. Would I have their physical attributes? Could I just progressively change into a new person with a younger, healthier body and live forever? <laughs> forever. Because um, if that's on the table, and you're just immortal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I could, yeah, be able to live forever. With how they're described in the super chat, I'd probably go with the reenacting thing and then try to find the best way I can to use that to benefit things. Lots of information you can discover, presumably, if it's how I understand it. Um, the other one, of course, there are lots of benefits to it as well. <clears throat> Your Honor, I'm just built different. Yeah, you can try. <laughs> See what happens. Uh, base dev. That's fair enough. Not sure exactly what he said to get that, but yes. Uh, what they are assuming is that they will have successfully transformed the content. That's the issue. They can't see themselves purposely not transforming it. Does that make sense? I yeah, I think that's one hundred percent. Well, no, I, I think don't. that's what he thinks. It's just that. Yeah, yeah that's what it says. The, they are assuming that about themselves when they can't even conceive the the the, the thing that they're stealing it. 
Mm -hmm. But I guess they just don't know what it means to actually transform shit. I don't know. Which is weird, because it's something you should, should just get accustomed to. Hello, Massives. Why does Hassan think popularity is a food group? Why? Popularity what? is a food group? What am I missing? Why am I, I, I misunderstand? What is happening? Rags, help. Huh. I can't help you. No. Oh. Popularity is a food group. I mean, Chat. maybe for mean? Twitch streamers, it's like popularity, clout. Like, those are their, uh, their food groups. I'm trying maybe like feed off clout. Is that like the idea or fat bump? Perhaps, perhaps. Our relevant source, uh, 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 no. Yeah, there was a couple of things where you just said no. Uh, a sane source. You want me to? Uh, I'm gonna go get nuggies, BLB. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Irrelevant to the stream, reminder that no argument against pronouncing gif jif that holds up. Okay, bye. Gonna s going scuba diving, shooting lasers, and having some gin with my NASA friends. That person is NASA objectively friends. correct. NASA? <laughs> oh, NASA, oh, sorry. That, Fucking hell. That, did you do NASA's. that on purpose? Was that a meme? No, no, that was accidental. I don't know why I pronounced oh. it that way. Maybe he's going to NASA. Let's go like to NASA. NASA. Um, as for the gif gif thing, I've I've heard friends debate that for a long time. Yeah, I have no idea at this point. I just call it a gif. Yeah, anyone who calls it gif is no friend of mine. True well, and based. <laughs> True and based. I like a free, uh, I free point of view. Is like, yeah, it doesn't seem to be a correct answer on that one. But they're just like, fuck anybody who says <laughs> no, gif. There's an answer. <laughs> now, if you call a PNG a pung, that's another <laughs> thing. Png. <laughs> A or if you or a pung. A jpeg, a jpeg. <laughs> That's a jpeg. yeah. Seriously, I'm I'm like having flashbacks. They had a they had a fight for like hours on a Teamspeak call about how you're supposed to do it, and the, it just leads <laughs> you down a rabbit hole of discovering that language is very complicated. <laughs> yep. You just say it sounds stupid. Jif is a peanut butter. Period. Ew. Periods. JXE is toxically fair. <laughs> that's, a, that's the best way you can try and criticize Jay. It's like, you are very nicely evil. The animal of the day is the super glide. Oh no, sorry, sugar glider. Oh yeah. yeah. I think I know what that is. Hold on. It's a little squirrel thing. Oh yeah, look at him. He's like, look at me. I'm Batman. Wee! As <laughs> he flies around. I'm Possum Man. Yeah. Look at him. Look at this little critter. He's just hanging out in the forest, flying about. Pretty He's adorable. got a nice life. He just mm -hmm. sits in the forest, eating sugar, I guess, and gliding about. The Look naturally at him go. for sugar. Look at him. He's just, he's got it all worked out. He eats sugar mm -hmm. and flies. It's a simple life, but a fulfilling life. True. True. Yeah. Uh, frosk these kind of people. They can go frosk themselves. Thank you, gents, for quality content. High ranks. <gasps> oh, I didn't know sugar gliders are Australian. Hey. Oh, look at that. No, they seem get... cute and friendly, and they don't even have fangs or massive claws or poisonous poison. <laughs> stingers. Or they I'm don't sure explode. I've, no, now that I think about it, I'm sure that I've seen them before. I don't know why I... Because they look so much like the possums we got here. Uh, well, it is because it is a nocturnal gliding possum. That would probably explain it. Belonging to the marsupial infraclass. See, Wikipedia... So much valuable information here. Yeah. You can learn about them and how they glide around and then you have the oh i something i will say i really like those old like 19th century illustrations that a lot of animals got you know what ones i'm talking about mm -hmm. like uh because like the ones that are just have, clearly wrong or well i mean like that one it's really cool oh yeah um, i know oh yeah yeah those are neat yeah that was oh yeah john gould i'm pretty sure he did a lot of, i'm pretty sure that yeah because he did the platypus one that's the one yeah this uh, this awesome image—it's so cool. 
how they you just had these artistic renderings of all these uh critters. He did a whole bunch of them. What a fun job to just draw these with these little critters hanging about. E. Now we just got pictures because we're boring. Oh, pictures can be cool. Uh, hi, Wags. Hello. The theory on gameplay betting transformative enough or not had not been tested in court. It's a looming threat on game streaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as far as I know. That's not surprising. Yeah. Be the first game company to say, just like have a blanket total ban on anyone being able to stream your content or use it in any way. Ooh, be the first company to do it. You will make I a lot of Nintendo enemies. Nintendo tried to do that. Theirs was, they had this weird thing going. Um, and I think a lot of, they, you had, they had like some partner fucking program or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was like it was it was weird. They had a lot of weird rules around theirs. I don't know if it still is a thing. I'm not sure. I'd have to look into it. They, just, I know they did just weird things. Um, you should have Nick Rakita on when discussing these vague legal distinctions. Also, because it would be hilarious. Um, I mean, if it, if it's a good suit, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. Yeah, sure, you bet. Absolutely. Uh, is your playthrough of Little Hope Transfer... Oh, wait, we did read that one out. Streamers like Hassan oh, yeah. are glorified, overpaid watch later playlists. Pretty much when mm -hmm. they're doing that. Um, so can we never have a full non-commentary playthrough of Until Dawn where you save everyone or kill everyone? I mean, it's a bit... It's a bit I don't know. Mm, a bit... Ah. I don't know, man. Like, bit sussy. Yeah. Because that game is so narrative focused that, like, a lot of the work that they've done to give you a particular experience is getting duplicated over, and then money is going to the person who just uploaded their playthrough. There seems to be problems there. Um, I'm not 100% sure. One last thing. Someone made a video called Spider-Man No Way Home, a bad masterpiece. Have you seen it? I thought it was kind of bad. Also high rags. Uh, I have not seen it. Hello, though. Uh, with, a ma it. with a name like that, we might agree with it or we might not. Depends on what his points are. Yeah, I can see myself agreeing with that, theoretically. I don't know. Did, well, I haven't seen it. Did you guys like it? Yes. Though there's lots okay. of problems. <laughs> mm. it's, a, it's a big old complicated wombo. It's very simple. They got caught doing something wrong, and rather than embarrassingly apologize, these people doubled down like children. Uh, yeah, desperately trying to grab at any and all arguments that may kind of, sort of, look like it could help. That's about it. Um... Have you seen the commercial for Jeremy's Razors? It's objectively the best commercial ever. Why have you not subscribed, Owen oh, High Rags? Hello. Well, uh, no, I have no idea. Did any of you guys heard of the commercial for Jeremy's razors? Yeah, what? No, the, I do not know about Jeremy's razors. Some, there's some razor thing people complain about it was like woke or something. Is that what they're talking Gillette? about? Gillette? No, like recently. Oh uh, no, I have no clue. I don't shave. Oh no, this is it. They made an this anti woke razors, supposedly. Anti woke. What does it mean for a razor to be anti woke? I couldn't <laughs> tell you. What, what does that mean? <laughs> All right. Daily Wire CEO discusses new razor company as alternative to woke Harry's razors. <laughs> couldn't tell Maybe you. it's. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, oh, I then again, if we were to ask, like, with, when the Gillette thing came out, how could you make woke razors? It's like, well, basically saying that dads are bad and dating is never a thing you should do and don't be interested in women. That's a good start. So I don't know. If it feels weird to me, right, that you saw a Gillette ad you didn't like and then you're going to do, like, what, a brand of, of specifically razors that are anti-woke? 
No, so what maybe it's a like marketing that. thing to be like, hey, maybe there's a market for people who don't want to, you know, do that thing. So I'll give the right messaging with my razors, and regardless of the razors, people will give me money. I mean, so, I guess, but it's just razors. <laughs> like I don't know. I'm not. The, I don't know. Yeah, the maybe. Daily it's, yeah, Wire, uh, the Daily Wire, which is uh, Ben Shapiro's outlet. Apparently, they had a company called Harry's Razors was advertised on their website for a long time, and then they cut ties over the fact that the Daily Wire believes in the concept of biological sex. Oh, no. So, <laughs> not that. So in response to this, the Daily Wire is like, well, we're going to start our own razor company. Oh. What a bizarre thing to cut ties yeah. with a company for. You believe in biological sex. Yeah, that's... I remember when that was a thing that we all just like... W- that took would... for granted. <laughs> yeah. I thought... <sighs> Remember that, I remember when that was like the basis of uh, human reproduction and evolution, but maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, it's a probably oppressive or something. I don't know. This one just says keep going. I assume they mean about covering people. Yeah. You already got like is. five hours <laughs> of, of jam-packed with memes. Uh, Rip Taylor Hawkins, drummer for the Foo Fighters, died by unknown causes at 50. Gone too soon. F. Damn. Damn. That is too soon. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, read super chats. What else are you gonna do? Die. Die. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Thank you, Hassan. Maybe the super chat was the friends we made along the way. I think so. I think that's it. Uh, super chats are for hippos. Play the vids. Hippos. Oh, the hippos are fine, right? As long as they don't kill you. They look like they're having fun, the little... Isn't that, like, the main thing they do, though? I mean, if we leave them alone, what's the main thing they do? They kill other I've, animals? I've heard they're hungry. <laughs> hungry, hungry hippos. Hippos are, like, the horsemen of gluttony or something, I don't know. Probably. If Tetris is objectively perfect, and I build a Tetris game mode in Halo Forge, does that now make the Halo Tetris objectively perfect? Kappa. I don't know. I don't know. Bring, do you have the answers? To Maybe, this? but I'm not sure. I have no idea. No, I'm not prepared to... to answer these fighting questions on game design right now. We're gonna. Have no, to... not really. My, <laughs> my brain is <laughs> frazzled. A our, little bit. Our science team will have to take care of that. We will get it to them. What the EFAP science division? Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys going to watch the Yellowstone verse? The Yellowstone verse is that like a cinematic universe featuring like volcanoes? State Park cinematic universe. State Yogi Park. Bear cinematic yeah. universe. The Yogi. Well, not that did just be the Hanna uh, Barbera cinematic universe, right? Mm-hmm. Which I think they wanted to do, but maybe that's not. We've happening. gotta go collect the Infinity Baskets. <laughs> Sounds all awesome. no, pretty good. <laughs> uh. uh Finale season six of Community ended in style. Hashtag and a movie. I can't remember the last episode now. Do you, Frank? No. Me either. I can't, no. Hmm. I don't remember a lot of that season. The last season was the one with Spawn in it, right? Yeah. Uh, well, can't Keith David was name. in it, yeah. Keith, yeah, Keith David. Did Keith David... Oh, he voices Spawn, that's right. Yeah, yeah in the cartoon, yeah. Uh, you can be an awful, evil, angry person and still be right about things. A perfect example is if the famous German dictator said 2 plus 2 equals 4, he'd be right. <laughs> People you hate can be correct. This is just Angela in general. Merkel? Uh, oh, wow. the other one. Gotcha. Wow, the other one. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I, thought, I, I thought you meant Third Reich, or no, Fourth Reich, sorry. That sounds like something a Killstream Nazi would say. Yep. Oh my goodness gracious, I do not agree with Hitler on all of his points. <laughs> Uh, thoughts on the D and D combat wheelchair con- controversy? What is there? A, I've seen I've seen like models for the D and D combat wheelchairs. If you run a, if you want to run a game where you have a combat wheelchair, go for it, man. Sure, that's the joy of D and D. You can do whatever you want. I w- if I'm not going to do it myself, but if you want to do that, man, go for it. Enjoy your D and D combat wheelchairs. If I, it's it's not going to be in any game that I run. It is silly, but that option is there for you if you would like to explore it. 
Uh, this stream is a weird way to say Jay is the new host. Jay, Jay's not even here. I, just, I, just, I, just, mm -hmm. I don't know what you mean. Um, I survived EFAB 93 shirts when? I mean, I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, it's been some time since then, hasn't it? Yeah, over a year. Uh, hello there, Longlings. I was wondering, of course, the Nolan trilogy is just perfect, every one of them. And I know you all agree, but hypothetically, when do you think <laughs> you guys would talk about it? I love you guys. The Nolan trilogy, I mean, at some point... Is there any reason to talk about it at this particular point in time or in the near future? I wouldn't know of any particular reason other than it just being some films that we can talk about sometime and maybe we'll cover them at some point i do well, not know you know what is the objectively best batman movie right uh batman and robin, batman and robin. no lego batman i've heard Me that's very good I mean, like i remember really enjoying lego batman i need mm. to rewatch it you should if you haven't seen it you should check it out it's very funny I've heard good things. Very cool animation, as all the Lego movies yeah, sure. basically have. Uh, can you make a Gedelb of you getting saying getting angry is a bad look while sounding very angry? Hi, Fringy. <laughs> um, I hey. Guess, I, guess, I guess so. But uh, I'm afraid the current Fun. Gedelb is kind of locked in at this point. Uh, what's your opinion on multi-point locking mechanisms? What what is what? a multi point? What is that? They sound kind of neat, I guess. Uh... Point yeah, gonna be honest, oh. I don't really know what a multi point locking mechanism is. Um, if one, if a single point locking mechanism is good, then I imagine that a multi point locking mechanism is even better, perhaps exponentially, but I'm not certain the um. That, yeah. yeah, I just don't know the engineering behind it, honestly. Maybe maybe it just adds unnecessary moving components that will hurt its, you know, longevity, make it see you know, make it break, make oh. it more prone to failure. But I'm not so sure. So it's like you know how like a normal lock, it's just there's the one lock where the physical lock is on the door. The the multi point lock is you lock it, but it has like locks all around the door that like go into the frame. Oh, um like a vault door or something. So, yeah, but like you can get it with like a normal looking door. You know? I feel like it's sir. It certainly sounds secure. I'm curious if it is secure enough to justify itself. I feel like that's a good way to get a broken window. <laughs> you have like this very convoluted security door. It's just like a normal window, like right next to it. Yeah, it's like if someone, if somebody wants to get inside of your house that bad, yeah. then they'll go through the window. They won't fuck around with this multi-point metal. Well, I guess unless you've door. got those, uh, unless you've got the the things. Super can... windows. Multi-lock well, windows. I mean, not super, not super windows, but the roller, the roller blind things on Laser windows. Laser windows. Shutters? Uh, I guess that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah rolling shutters exactly. or yeah. Rollinods or whatever they call them. Maybe. Maybe. Well. Those I would imagine that you're not going to be able to get in without making. Well, I guess if you smash glass, you're going to make a shit ton of noise too. But like, it's it, it'll make it harder. Is that's all? Bong Lord Long of Abslington Mubsley thought more oh to have a Kong Fap you given. Less this going on when on. It will movie fab for ages. B A P S. Wagsies scritches hero for the boy good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice. Thank you very much. Uh, quotes of the day. Fringy, by hitting her, you have watched it. Mauler, Morse code, not with the penis, the hand. <laughs> Rags, it's amazing how I can spell the words with the letters on my keyboard. <laughs> Some good quotes. I just don't, I just, I feel like sometimes we need to remember how incredible that is. Some good quotes. Mm hmm. Uh, is duct tape safe for keeping the poopy in? It can work for a bit, oh, but um, after a while, you know. Like on just... your butt? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like if you duct tape I your presume. butthole? I think so, yeah. It, it doesn't work I forever. Mean, it gets weaker. I don't think so. Yeah. It'll I just, it'll just be, it. it'll just be caught inside of your, your hole, the rim, if you will. 
You should keep reapplying it and reapplying it until you have a big suit, and then it'll fill your suit and kill you. Um, that's just the ultimate go. ultimate end, yeah. Fare thee well, Fringu, you fabulous feathered froggo. Also, y'all should play Hades. It's exquisitely entertaining. Hades is amazing. I always hear that Hades is great. Oh, Hades is great. There you see, right there. Yeah, that's one of my, that's one of my favorite games. Mm. Oh boy. Uh, what up, all my N words? Had some pizza in memory of Wolf. Cheers, fellows. Rans, Raz, and all. Here's some money for payroll. Why, well, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, pizza, pizza, good shit. Hi, Rags. Mm -hmm. Hello to you. Is High Top a subjective critic? Uh, I mean, he does cry a lot. <laughs> he does eat, so, I don't know. That's all you need, really. Also, at Sitch, I watched your conversation with Jay, and you and I agree on like 95% of the gender stuff. Cool. All right. Yeah, I had a good conversation with Jay about that. Um, Ants will attack us. Oh, wait, I read that one. I remember. I'm way behind, but in English Mining Village, there is a toilet room on its own near an entrance on the ground floor so you don't mess up the house from walking down the mines, then head back to work. Hmm. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, that's, uh... That's fine. Fight Club video has H Bomber guy in it. Well... I'm sure that means it's gonna be good. <laughs> um... This fair use topic would melt a Rakita invite. No, sorry, merit a Rakita invite, not melt it. Uh, yeah, no, it, uh, it would be interesting to see if he's um, he's got some insight on that one. Does the toothbrush belong in the same space as the toilet? Well, so most people, um, like, like like Sitch was saying, you know, you, you don't flush with the toilet open so that particles can move around. Yeah, put the lid down. Yeah. Uh, do you think a silent speedrunning record video is transformative? Although that was one of the know. things I brought up as a complication. Hmm. It's tough to think. It is a because, complication, yeah. Because uh, what is being presented to you is like a mode of play that is going to be very much unobtainable to many people. Yeah. It's pretty extreme. And you are specifically there for that person's engagement with the game. Right. Um, That's a good point. As, a, as opposed to a long play where it kind of doesn't matter who doesn't. It's the game, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting one. Well, it's the same with like uh, watching someone just for their skill in like a competitive multiplayer, right? It's like, well, well, and also they have to be taking away again the market share of the product. So I mean, I'm assuming someone watching a speed run would have gone and played the game if not for watching the speed well, run. Either they would have, or they wouldn't have, and it probably would have nothing to do with that speed run. I think that's right. the, yeah, exactly. the important part. Whether they make that decision is probably ir irrelevant. You know, it doesn't, it's, it's not relying on the speed run. Right. So. Rags, would you rather poop with the door open or have no toilet paper? That's pretty easy. Rags is gone. He's pooping with the door open. Oh, right no. Now. Damn. <laughs> Unless he's in deep thought. Who would choose to to poop with the door closed but no toilet paper? <laughs> I guess you just dig just... in there with your hand. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I, I I've just been sent a very funny meme uh, yes. by Eli, who does a lot of really cool uh, illustrations. Dreamer feed. <laughs> oh, I remember. Oh, the, uh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Rags trying to save you. Yeah, I'm getting nuggets <laughs> after this, though. <laughs> I do like the little dresses on the nuggets. Yeah. Well, I'm just sitting in that sauce, man. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> tempting. Uh, which is more advanced, a society that uses purified water to flush away poop, or a society that craps into mass-produced and disposable plastic bags? <laughs> Um, I like how I can hear Rags in the background yeah. <laughs> doing whatever he's doing with his stuff. So, I'm gonna go with the the the. the Wait, the, what was the question again? 
Well, so they say, what's more advanced, a society that uses purified water to flush away poop, or a society that craps into mass-produced and disposable plastic bags? Oh, I don't know, actually. I mean, one of them is clearly more convenient. Yeah. As for which one proves to be a part of a society that's more advanced, I suppose both of them could be more in a society that's more advanced than the other. Depends on the other technologies at play. Yes. <sighs> the um, real advanced society lasers their poop away. Uh, cinematic or transforms it. Cinematic Venom official has restarted his channel. His first vid shows the room with the hole in the wall from his Lord of the Rings vid, and it's fallen more apart. Oh. Hope he's doing alright. Uh, finally watched Smiling Friends. Animation put me off for a moment, but the comedy won me back. Great recommendation. Thanks, Massives. Well, uh, good stuff. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, we, uh, we're big fans of it over here. Uh, hello from Texas. The older I get, the more impressed I am at how late you guys can stay up. Hi, Rags. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the, the long men are a dying breed, okay? But they, they still, they're still out there. Uh, Sitch is 100% right. My account is so heavily censored, it's BS. You know the mm -hmm. H word that you use when you really don't like someone? I can't even say that. Oh, when you call them a heckin' bad person? Fuck, you can't say that, man. Rude. I'm back. Oh, right. Someone asked, what would you rather? Yes. Poop with toilet paper, but the door is open, or poop without toilet paper, but the door is closed? I'm keeping, I'm keeping toilet paper. Toilet paper is incredible. There you go. Toilet paper is insanely incredible. You don't know what you've got till it's gone. And That's if true. the price is pooping with the door open, I'm keeping toilet paper. Toilet paper is insanely useful. Uh, I live within day trip distance of the dollar meat store and I have my passport. I'm doing it, bros. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Be careful. Who knows what Make will sure happen? Make sure you send your before and after pictures to Rags and Mahler. Don't. Like, of you and then you and your before coffin? Before and after. <laughs> sure. Uh, also... Oh, also, I'm the guy giving the wings quote, so being heavily censored makes it pretty difficult. You can probably imagine why. <laughs> Big ups, Liquid Richard. Does he does he typically swear a lot, wings? I don't think so. I think it's just that he sometimes gets uh, controversial saying things. things that are yeah. Well, I appreciate the the Liquid Richard quotes. Uh, will y'all ever address the Southpaw beef? Also, high Rex. Hello to you. Uh, I don't. This, I'm not aware of any like beef. I just I haven't spoken to him in like ages. And uh, as far as I know, he's still making videos and stuff. I I hope he's doing all right. Mm -hmm. What's more capable of being memed, the Star Wars prequels or the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Star Wars prequels, right? The prequels, yeah, easily. Is, yeah. Prequels are the meme value of the prequels is off the charts. I wouldn't want is... to understate Lord of the Rings meme ability. True, 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 but true. Yeah, the prequels. There are a lot of legendary memes. Yeah, the prequels. What is a king? Of, yeah. um, There's something about. Like, I mean, Episode Three alone, probably of any film ever made, has the highest concentration of memes. Don't I think ask so. me to explain it. It just does. It just does. If, I think. I think. Yeah. Like, is there one that beats it? Oh, I don't think so. Episode three. I don't three, know man. how there could be because we've got do it. Um, <laughs> this is where the fun begins. We got execute order sixty six. My powers have doubled since got, the last time we Yeah. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> and, uh, um, liar. Uh, yeah. Li of course, li liar. <laughs> There's a lot of good memes in the. Uh, I love of democracy. <laughs> Oh, I oh yeah, this is yeah, that's, that's I love right. the Republic. Oh, and of course, yeah. it's it's treason then. Yeah. At someone said, yeah, episode three is the king of kings. It's like pretty much of memes, it is the king of kings. Yeah. It's, and it it really adds a layer of entertainment to that film. Just just being like, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. I don't know what line. year it was. Oh, and of course, ironic, isn't it? That's, that's the one. Ironic. Too. Forgot about that. 
Did I ever tell you the tale of Darth Plagueis the mm. Wise? Did I ever tell you? <laughs> I can't even say it without yeah. laughing. Oh, no, I have the high ground. This what is what I mean. Like, you go through the, the list high of, like, how many? Like, yeah. 25, 30 memes? Do you guys remember, um, I can't remember the nature, I think it was on Reddit, but it was basically this whole spreadsheet of, um, like, a thousand pixels up and across. Also, it might have been more than that. And you have an account, and you can color one pixel per hour, I think. And so everyone just goes nuts doing it. And like lots of different communities try to draw their own things to compete with other ones. And one of the things that was successfully through was the Darth Plagueis fucking speech. <laughs> it was just all there. Um, I just abused the Mimic boss fight so bad. All I had to do was get rid of all my equipment before the fight so it spawned a dude in loincloth to fight me and then switch to a greatsword. Yeah, oh, it's go. it's pretty manipulatable, but uh, nice nice idea. Have you ever used a toilet with those seat coverings? The weight of it means the lid threatens to snap down while you pee. It's so awful and selfish. Oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh no! And if it's got the heavy lid that's got the carpet on it, that makes it even worse because the pee's gonna get soaked up and absorbed. Oh no! It's, it's like a quick time event when you pee. It'll be saturated. <laughs> you need to be piss. ready to kick it back. Over ready to and... catch the lid. <laughs> wow, well, cat, kick it back quick over. Time of it. Uh, we had two of the in the claws of the eagles players on this stream. I miss lolly vampire rags. I'm probably gonna watch again tonight. Hi, rags. Hi. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, ask PSA Sitch for permission to observe Bright since he and Adam are the Bright Understanders. What? I, you don't I, have permission to watch the movie Bright? Do you, I guess we have to have permission from you guys. Do we have it? You have my permission to watch the movie Bright. Oh, very well. Would you like to watch it with us whenever we eventually do the Free Fat movies? Sure. Sweet. I, that's that's one that's a very contentious movie that I like. That I, people really hate it. It has problems, but I don't understand the the hatred towards it. I've heard it's on the nose, but that's not reason enough for me to hate a movie. I'd have to see it. Yeah, well, Rudolph um, the Red Nosed Reindeer. That's on the nose, I mean, but people really like that. I think True. it's a great concept. It's a funny concept, like Lord of the Rings races in you know modern times. Hmm. Uh, and like just, the orcs are discriminated against, you know, because they cause sided with Sauron and, and the Dark War. But just hooked up with Thanatos. So lucky I've got the gems to buy a new pillow set from the house contractor. Uh, I feel like that was meant for a different stream. I don't understand. Thanatos pillows, house contractor. Thanatos uh... pillows. Thanatos. I legitimately do not. Oh, do wait, wait, read it again. Just hooked up with Thanatos. So lucky I've got the gems to buy a new pillow set from the house con contractor. Oh, he's referencing Hades. Ah, okay. There's a character named Thanatos. Wait. I thought you meant Thanos. Thanos Tos. Thanos. Gotcha. Uh, how long should I keep the poopy in? Um. <laughs> well, you know, just until it, until Probably it becomes. I shouldn't keep the poopy in too long. I mean, you should go. Shortly after your body tells you it's time. Yeah, to your, let body, go. your body will be like, hey, do you mind? And you're like, yeah, okay. That, that's usually the relationship. You need to, don't be like Elsa from Indiana Jones. You need to learn when to let it go mm -hmm. or it will destroy you. I mean, you let your body tell you what to do? Often. Wait, Elsa from Indiana Jones let it go. Am I thinking, did you mix the Elsa from Frozen when you said that? Nope. No? Or is, it, there's, is there a separate. Elsa let it go reference and oh of course there is wow I, oh yeah let it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I completely <laughs> blanked because I was so distracted by Elsa and let it go I was like that's gotta be frozen right <laughs> I've never what seen frozen thing. and hopefully I'll die with that uh I frozen's fine like it's not it's not a bad movie it's fine um, it's fine yeah. oh you've never seen it I remember I remember nope. when I watched it, I uh, I was I was like, man, this is the film that I've been hearing about like all year. Everybody's been talking about how amazing it is. That it just re you watch it, it's fine. Hmm. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, has Wolf seen the Batman? He like it. Rip my N word. Um, I would assume the maybe maybe not. You know, that's the kid. I I think it would be his preference that that sort of stuff isn't mentioned. Uh, if you were a Souls-like boss, what would you be called? 
Um, Rex. No, you need a subtitle name too. Like oh, the, the dog. Well, Maybe like no, the art killer or something. <laughs> the art killer. Oh, yeah. it's Slayer of Art, something like that. Yeah. I mean, it'd probably be Fringy the Goo Alchemist or something. <laughs> Yeah, mine would just be straightforward art killer. It's just, it's just like that's well, not the right. Goo, the like, goo lord, the goo, goo lord, lord. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Lord, lord of goo, lord of goo. That's right. Um, gosh, I don't know. Um, I'm not, I'm not really familiar with Dark Souls boss names and stuff, so I don't really have much of a reference to sort of be like, oh, you mean like such and such. Um, hmm. Well, it maybe it'd be Rags the mischievous shibe. Could be. Uh, I've yeah, I honestly one. don't know. Maybe yeah. Lord Longmall of the art killers. Long, like, long bone of Mewblin to Nabby, maybe. <laughs> yeah, could be maybe that. Maybe that yeah. would be the name. What about you, Sid? Rags Defiler of Grandmothers. Rags the Scritches <laughs> Hoarder. Great Gold Cheese Rags. <laughs> Rags the Good Boy. Yeah, I would be like, oh... Like, I'm fighting him, but we could have been friends kind of name. Hmm. Stitch, you, you got one? You got oh, I don't, I've never played Dark Souls. So wow. All, what what about just fantasy name? name for you as an evil boss that has to be slain? Um, Feld. <laughs> Feld, <laughs> yep. Sitch the always right and never wrong. <laughs> Sitch oh, the always, go, yeah. always right. <laughs> Uh, Sitch the forever right. Get Kurt of Uncivil Law. He's a funny friend of Nick Rakita. He said he's jealous of Nick because all the streams Nick is on. Also, Kurt does IP law. Hey. Oh, then I guess he would be uh, more... Well, yeah, the only concern I have is that we don't want to have too many people, because, especially next week, because the video is like twice as long as the irrelevant one. And also, it's um, I guess I guess uh, it is what... The legal stuff is obviously interesting and relevant. Um... It is, it is also a, a principled argument as well, I would say. Yeah, well, I'm so much more concerned uh, like with the divorce. ethical side of this than the legal right. one, but still. Well, sure, I, but it, it, the legal side helps us because uh, there are so many examples with like fair use and things and the doctrines that are around that just help inform some of the arguments that are made. Mm-hmm. But hey, yeah, maybe. Star Wars Breath of the Wild when? Definitely worth a watch. High rag. Star Wars Breath of the Wild? I have no idea what that is. Uh, I assume it's like a fan video of some kind. Could be cool. Maybe we'll check it out. Uh, Dark Souls boss, Mola Monger of Hate. It can work. That can definitely one. work. Maybe it could be several mm. of me. The Long Men. Oh, and is that, is that all of them? Oh, the Mongers of Hate. is like the Knights of Ren. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, that well, is, we know things about the mongers of hate. That is the last super chat for tonight. Oh, wow, means we shall be uh, shutting shop now. But before that, Sitch, do you want to tell people why they should go and fucking subscribe to your channel, like little weirdos? Yeah, on Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern, we uh, do long EFAP style streams on political content instead of movie content generally complaining about woke stuff and socialists so if you like that come on down if you don't like that then don't come on down we'll still i'll still love you it's okay well uh what's what is the topic tomorrow does anyone know that's a great question <laughs> <laughs> i hope i'm figuring that out while i've been streaming today now, what you're supposed to do is say oh it's a big mystery you guys are gonna love it but we can't reveal oh, it yet yeah, it's super big mystery oh my god you it's like You'll be shocked that we covered this. So how is this allowed on YouTube? I can't believe it. Well, uh, yeah, I was going to say, if it, 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 it does feel like a sister podcast in a sense, because uh, I think you and Adam, along with us, run the longest podcasts possibly on YouTube. And I know it's a big claim, galaxy. but Lengthful? seriously, yeah, though, I'm pretty like sure that. we come close to running the longest podcast. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, we never did the 31 hour stream that you <laughs> <laughs> We so held the record. Say, you do have the record. Um, so yeah, uh, what about uh, Fringy Rags? Anything you guys want to want to say before we stop? Hmm. I guess nothing in particular. 
I got things in the works. I should have a uh, I should have a a collaboration with someone done uh, this week that will be posted um, either maybe the first of April or the last of Ooh. March. I'm not exactly certain. Uh, and then I'll have another video of mine that should be done shortly after that. Mm. Some dog bite stuff I have in the works that would have been done, but I got to work on this uh, collab because it is time sensitive. And um, yeah, you will see things from me. Absolutely. Wait. Um, I'm just still working away at the big old project, but uh, I think at this point I can say that it's 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 drawing near to a conclusion, mm. which is good because I've been working on it for a long time, and I already got an idea for what will be next. <laughs> but I'm keeping that one to myself for now. Uh, and also, I guess yeah, I might be playing Kirby tomorrow or potentially tonight even Whoa. uh keep an eye out playing the kirby lands and having fun yeah it'll be a grand old time uh that's all i got for you now i on the other hand it was only this morning that i sorted out the second half of like so i've split denims into two pieces um so wow damn i've still got to sort out the third person which is not a secret at all if but it's fine um <laughs> So that'll be the stuff that I'm working on. Once all that's done and Gadelb is done, I can then get full on with my next project. Um, but I guess, yeah, you got Gadelb on the way. You'll see us on Wednesday. I'm doing a catch up stream with Drinker tomorrow. And then obviously Real BBC. And then I think next week, uh, myself, Drinker, Az, and Gary are all going to talk about Return of the King on uh, oh boy. Open Bar. Or is it happy hour? I, I think it's called. I think that one's called happy hour. So, uh, you know, you've got all these different things happening, and of course, you got Adam and Sitch doing their doing their wombos tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. So I'm actually I'm being bullied into making a video. Um, oh my oh. god! Our, our one of our our editor bet Adam five hundred dollars that I'll make a video by the end of next month. So you can't let so them I, win. <laughs> I can't let Adam win. Yeah. So. <laughs> so there you go. I'm being forced. Spider is a powerful motivator. That's yep. true. Um, but yeah, that's that. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, like I said, we'll we'll just we'll see you next Saturday for part two of this arc. Yeah. Pip. And cheerio. Totally pip. Yeah, goodbye, bye, everybody. Bye, 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 oh, of course, bye. thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for donations and thanks for just uh, the members as well. And um, yes. yeah, okay. Good night, everybody. Bye, 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 bye. 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 bye.